we'd rather be called Dubby or Dobby. <laughs> Call me Andrew. Andrew? You gonna throw that curveball at us? <laughs> no, okay, you can call me uh, either one, it's fine. Like, yo, what's up, Dub? Let's get this Dub. Let's get this Dub, Dubby Dubby. first we are gonna be watching smgs only versus the underdogs so the zoomers versus the breakout guys smgs only right so breakout 1.0 is with the smg and the pistol so smgs only i'm assuming they're really good breakout players versus uh slots zoomers the so ceaseless ranger last shot mclegs and ginger It's going to be exciting. What's up, Spider-Man Killer? How you doing? Turny hype. Let's go, DJ. Tonight, we're just getting things started. <clears throat> I got some uh, exciting announcements for today. I got some exciting casters. They're uh, taking their their Midnight Halo casting virginity, throwing it out the window. Hello, hello, hello. Out the window it goes. Somebody said my name. All right, sounds good, Serial. I'm sure you know no one's gonna finish their rounds that quick, anyways. Uh, guys, reporting scores. Uh, you can always type exclamation mark report. Serial is there to report scores as well. What's up, Fallen? What's up, Mist? Thank you for having me, Nat. Your pleasure. It. It's gonna be a fun time today, man. Let's have a good one. Hell yeah! In about a minute, yes, kick things off. Uh, show the little bro bracket. We'll get a little introduction. A bit of... Yeah, I love it. Yo, what is up, Groovy Ninja? How you doing? Guys, there's a bit of a delay, so sorry if we're, uh, you know, not responding to you right away. And there's also a delay in the Cappuccino Casino, by the way. Yo, last shot. Good luck first round. We're going to be watching you, man. Pressure's on. Main stage. Pressure is on. Don't choke. Don't choke. Oh, I have faith in last shot. I played him the other day. In he's champ one in SWAT. On accident. Right now, he, he's got to represent. And no pressure. I got to tell you, Nap, normally I don't have fear in my body when I play a game, but when I matched last shot last night in SWAT, I got to tell you, man, it was a tough time all around. Every time I turned a corner, it felt like he knew where I was before I did. <laughs> DJ Denied, we uh, appreciate you swinging by. Groovy Ninja, hope you're having a wonderful SWATter day, baby! Kyle, how's it going, man? Good luck, round one. The SMG's only captain, Kyle, in the chat. I'm just going to call you the captain, all right, Kyle? Is that cool? Let's get into it. Um, Let me switch over to the bracket real quick. Ten minutes, we're going to click this little orange button, start the tournament. But until then, let's take a look at the bracket here. Let me pause the music and turn up my teammates... So you guys can uh, let me know in the chat if you guys can hear my teammates. Can we get a mic check. Mic check one two one two. Mic check three four three four. Oh, three for three. For three. Let's four, go. Four, four. Definitely the cap. Oh hell yeah, Kyle, love to hear it, dude. You're running the show. Let's get it. McLags, good luck today. All right. Yeah, good luck to everybody. Yeah, so we got some sad news, guys. The reigning champions will not be able to compete today. 
That's going to be Super CC, Talek, Z-Mani, and Jazeera. They won the Spring Breakout. This is the sequel, the Summer Breakout. We're going to start this tournament in nine minutes. So if you're round and your lobby is ready, you're good to start it in nine minutes. Lots of exciting teams. Let's go over some of the matchups. We got Battletoads. That's Harzo, Panexel, Bucktender, and The Sign going up against Wolf and the Worms. So that's Raised Wolf, Spartan Army, Craig Dury, Elite Fusion, uh, winner of that series goes up against Alone Together. Nutrice, I got your mojo. CX27 and Mr. Sexy Panda. We got Jumpman. Uh, they came second place last tournament. Going up against Bad Kids. VIP is good. God. Uh, Subject Toad, Chillin' and Money3MM. Exciting matchup there as well. We got Toe Cake going ham. Sleepy Letty, Turtle going ham. Pappy and Miss Heartburn going up against the Perfect Kills. King, Economy, Ska, and Orban. We got... Prom and his Hedrons, Prometheum, Wisdom, Turtles, and Tempology going up against Dark Beetle, Hypothy, Devil Breaker, and Rockstar. Uh, Danny, I'd like to have an eight late entry of a team of me, Steve Downs, and the 7-Eleven Crack Addict, and Ashley. Uh, well, yeah, I can actually throw you in, Visceral, <laughs> if you're actually interested in playing. The team is dropping out. <clears throat> um... Yeah, so this team, the reigning champions, can't play. It feels bad. We got Mango Juice, HK Brown Boy, uh, Reaction Dem Demolitor, uh, Supremacy versus Guns, Dallas Snipes, Kells, and Riggy the Rod. Winner of that series advances Oof. into round three. That's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the oh, main man. stage, we got SMGs only, Debo Smokes, Dessel, Nirvana, and Kyle going up against Underdogs. That's Ceaseless, Last Shot, McLegs, and Ginger. Uh, we got Intra Gravity, Terrorize, Scholastica, and No Lose Bro going up against No Pro Angel, Juan, Guardian Flies, and Hyes. We got the Lethal Stands, team. Rejection, Ioko, Stag, and Legend going up against Palm Villains, a scary squad here. Diagram, Suppressed, Falcated, and Boo Boo Doo Boo. All right. Oh, man. That is a great team. And the one thing I love about Breakout, when you think about Breakout, and I'm looking at the teams right now for this tournament. This is a game mode where obviously teamwork matters. It's a 4v4. You get one life. You got to make the most out of it. You got to work with your team to push the objective that you're going to push. But at the same time, you really get to see the individual players really break out and show that, that how good they are individually as well. And what I'm most excited for, when I look at a lot of these teams, there's a lot of amazing individual players on all these teams that can make a play when a play needs to be made. When it's a 1v2 or a 1v3 and everything's on the line. And I think that is what's going to make this so exciting to watch today. And I am so excited to be here to cast it. Tubby, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, Nap, I'm just a small town boy from Palm Harbor, Florida. Living the big dream on the main stage with you, my man. Thank you for having me. And thank you for coming out. Yo, Fax, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. You excited for this tournament? Yeah, I'm excited. First time casting. You know, it's going to be a good time. You know, really no strats to the breakout. I'm going to learn, though. But I'm from Philadelphia. I'm an electrician, you know. I love playing Nalo. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, huge. Got them electric hands, man. Right. Huge uh, SWAT Nation community members as well. Uh, very experienced SWAT players going to be casting with me today. Excited for the sequel of the Spring Breakout. We got the Summer Breakout in five minutes. And yeah. W, I don't know. That was a. Did you write a script for this or something? Because I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> no script, man. I just like to say things as it is. I, guess, <laughs> I mean, you, you know? were writing some puns out there, like about, about to break <laughs> out, like, and I'm like, whoa, we're playing. What? About <laughs> the, okay, wow. <laughs> let's get it. Hey, let's walk girl. How you doing today, everybody? Thanks for coming out. What's up, Easy Five Shot? How you doing? Uh, all right, five minutes. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's get an invite to the lobby here. Who do I submit sc scores to? Yeah, what's up, Natrice? Um, let me just write that in the chat for you. Uh, just report your scores via whispers. Actually, it's not Pious Rampage. Here, let me fix that real quick. Serial is replacing Pious Rampage. Let me fix that. Thinking... <laughs> yeah, visceral. <laughs> facts of Israel, facts. Who was pacing the floor? What am I going to say? <laughs> I just turned the page of my script real quick. <laughs> you got to make sure you lick the fingers, though, you know? Oh, absolutely. 
What? You get no paper cuts on this big day, you know? Yeah, uh, and last but not least, if no one's uh, responding to your Whispers report, uh, Halo Swat Girl, uh, last resort, you can just put your score report in the chat. What's up, Kakashi? Are you filling in on a team today, dude? <clears throat> this might be the smallest bracket for MH or Swat Nation ever. It, but yeah, easy five shot, 100% with you on that, man. You're kind of shocked. I even made a free entry like, towards the end. I was like, damn, no one wants to play Breakout in 2020. But hey, you know, the passionate uh, Breakout players are showing out today. They're trying to take that title. We got some reigning uh, podium champions. We got, you know, the Battletoads. We got um, Jumpman. All kinds of great squads coming out today. <clears throat> it is electrifying. And I think Spitfax can also attest to that. This is going to be an absolutely amazing tournament. I got to tell you, Nap, and apparently from what I'm hearing, we got some OG maps as well, paying some homage to the good days. All right, uh, yeah, uh, take it away. I just got to do some roster changes and stuff. One sec. Yeah, absolutely. A lot, a lot of sweaty teams. <laughs> a lot of sweaty teams, and it's going to be an absolute banger, man. I am on the edge of my seat already, and we haven't even watched a single game yet. Watch. And when you have a tournament that can make that effect on you, I got to tell you. No place I'd rather be. Got a doubt. Watching video games <laughs> and watching, you know, the level of competition, there's always a hype for that, you know? Oh, absolutely. And I got to tell you, man, watching these tournaments that NAP and members of SWAT Nation and just the community to be able to put together while we wait for Halo Infinite to come out, I am so impressed with how we can come together for a game that has been out for almost six years and still have these amazing community events where it's still you're at the edge of your seat watching things like that are what keep this halo community alive and it is so amazing to be a part of this to cast this and to be able to watch all these amazing players that are still on this game till this day trying to show out for their team and it is going to be an absolutely amazing tournament I cannot stress that enough. I'm very excited. I totally agree. I totally agree with that. <laughs> totally, Mr. Roma. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're a minute away, guys. Let's just go ahead and click that button. Let's let's start the tournament. We got some exciting action for you. We're gonna get that invite <laughs> to SMGs only versus the Zoomer Squad, <laughs> aka it's gonna be the underdogs. I don't know why they're calling themselves the underdogs. Maybe because, you know, Breakout isn't their home territory, but yeah, let's get it. Let's wait on those invites here. All right. You know it, Groovy Ninja. Scripted. <laughs> Scripted. <laughs> Getting exposed out here today. You know, I got to tell you, there's no better compliment when you're casting and people think it's, it's scripted. So thank you so much, because that just brings a smile to my face. I haven't casted in a very long time. Everything's off the top of the dome. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just asked for the invite from a member of the underdog squad. Let's try and get an invite from the other squad, too. From the SMG's only squad. I think I added a friend here. Let me look at this. Ooh. Yeah, just for so uh, anybody is uh, curious, the game types are in the file share. It's called MH Summer Breakout. What's up, OG? How you doing today? What is up, everybody? Thanks for coming. I hope you enjoy the Summer Breakout. It's going to be exciting. I got the invite. I'm going to send you guys an invite. And we'll be good to go, baby. Round one. <clears throat> You five shot, you absolute legend. <laughs> Able to join? Oh no. Really? Yeah, I think it just is one of those off moments in Halo 5 that happens to happen every 30 minutes or so. Yo, what's up, big Need beast? another invite. Are you excited for the breakout action today? Oh, if that one goes. Got a lot of faith in this one. 
Hmm. Quit out of Halo 5. Go right back in. Start Imagine the, the caster milking. Here. Imagine the caster milking. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. The fame would get to my head. Oh, they gave me a leader. Well, who's the higher seed here anyways? It is going to be... SMGs only, okay, so I'll set it up for them. So what's going on here? Uh, King, what do you mean? Type X Mace from our bracket and invite the other team, dude. Get ready to go. Let's get it popping. King, what's going on is you're about to be a part of one of the greatest tournaments that 2020 has seen as of Legend? this year. It is Wait, going to be an absolute Jerry. banger. It is Built 4v4 times. breakout. Harzo, thank you so much for the resub, dude. Let's go. Good year. luck today, Harzo. <clears throat> All right, send me the invite one more time. Let's see if this works. Is it not? Oh, you're going to send us the invite? Wait, no. Actually, no, no, I sent you the invite. Uh, I just had to reboot yeah, my Halo saying. 5, so... Hopefully that fixes the problem. How you doing? Oh, yo, Shinny. Gunlam. Gunlam. Thank you for the 100 biddies. How you doing today? Gab, Shinny, what is up? Thank you for the follow. It. Welcome, everybody. Man, there's a couple of sexy announcers today. And Danny. All right. <laughs> who, 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 who we think taking this one, guys? Huh? <clears throat> oh, man. This is going to be a tough one. When it comes to breakout, it is so hard to call these things beforehand because this seems like the type of game mode, the type of teams that I'm looking at right now where this might go down to the wire and it might be a 1v1, 1v2, something to decide this game. I genuinely cannot put a finger on this one. And when you have a game like that, I got to tell you to start off the tournament, man. Wait, are you still not in here, This w? is when things get fun. I, I haven't gotten oh. an invite yet. Caster milking, guys. What is up, Smooth Medicine, Fighting D, everybody Come coming on, out. Man. Yeah, this is a battle. Voice though, the underdogs. <laughs> you got, always got to go with the underdogs, he says. That is totally true. But they aren't really the underdogs. I don't know why that's their team name. I mean, they got Champ 1 and SWAT They're on their team. They're the Zoomer They're squad. Sweat. They've been giving everybody trouble. What's Chunk's gamer tank? Uh, Chunk the Deuce. Chunk space the space Deuce. Why are you playing? He's not playing in the tournament today. King, why do you need to know his gamer tank? On it. Mm -hmm. What is up, Strix? What is up, everybody? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to sign up for more tournaments, just type it. exclamation mark tourney. We also have a couple announcements for you guys today. Let us know if the mic quality is okay, guys. If anyone's too loud or too quiet, let me know. All right, then go blue, McLegs. Hell yeah. All right, taking a look at the bracket here, though, guys. Game one is actually going to be on Canal. Game two, Crossfire. Game three, Altitude. And uh, whoever advances... Oh, no, this is actually round two. No, they're right. It is trying. Just the fire team. Evo. River. Okay, make sure it's on invite only. Tell them to... It is starting to be in the air. The closer we are going to hitting this tournament off, I'm looking at the chat. I'm seeing the hype. I'm living the hype. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a show tonight. I am glad you guys are here with us to witness this greatness that's about to go down. Happy to have you, uh, Dubby and Fax. Let's get it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm ready to get it started. Oh, it looks Let's like we're going right into Trident. Oh, baby. Legend. Wait for it. Like, there for this one. Oh, we got a hype train. <laughs> hype train starting off the tournament. Ruby Empress, thank you for the resub. Let's go. Gamble 5,000. I've never seen someone try to gamble within the alert. It's funny. What's up, Steven? What is up, Rescue Killer? Everybody tuning in. There's a little bit of a delay, so we won't be responding to you right away. What is up, Lucky? Everybody tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. A happy Swatter Day. And thanks for coming out, guys. Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this one. Type 1 for the underdogs. Type 2 for SMGs only. 
who is going to take this one? Underdogs, you know, the coveted SWAT champions versus SMGs only. I mean, SMG is in their yeah, gamer tag, right. and they got the SMG. Dubby, facts. What do you guys think? I think I'm this is going to be an absolute underdog, amazing brother. tournament. Sending into the map to hit this off. Let's get this going. I'm looking at red team right now. Kyle B7 is going on a rampage to start out the game. They are being aggressive. And you know, when you play Breakout, this is a team I can already tell that wants to make a statement right off the bat. They are not letting up these guys at all and immediately pushing them back to their own spawn. This is where Breakout becomes Breakout. Now, the team's divided. It is a... One, the uh, three, and oh, just like that, Desi, that was a quick round for red team. I think they caught blue team off guard, and I don't think blue team wow. knew how to handle that at that point. Let's see if they bounce uh, back to round two. Honestly, like, who is really the underdogs in this series? It is just so hard to can you guys tell hear the more I'm looking. It's... All right, all right. You guys can hear me, right? I had to mess with my audio settings and fix the overlay. But you sound absolutely beautiful. Well, thank man. you! You both smokes putting in some work. Wow, look now, at this. Oh, this is happening. I feel like the, the blue team needs to slow it down a little bit. Okay. You know? Get blue team needs thing, to find you know, out a way to combat this because red team is taking them for a ride. We're going to start out with its last shot, see what he goes Thanks. for. You gotta notice that this team is continuously splitting and I don't know if that's working out for them because it's making them very easy to pick off and red team's getting a very good right, team right, chop. Right. It is chop starting off with the kill against Rai. Kyle B7. Peaceless Ranger takes out Desi. We have a 4v2 starting off the third round. This is where blue team can start cutting off that momentum and this is why Breakout is one of the most interesting games to watch in Halo 5. We have a 4v1 already, 3v1, it's shot going oh. for the charge, but Devo Smokes wow. comes back! Oh. So, that Devo was a good Smokes round Smokes three coming out of SMGs only, as they were able to bounce back, and look, last shot, champ one and SWAT right now with three kills, and everyone pulling out on the board, and that's why they got that third round victory. Here we are starting off with Ginger TM going for the nade across the map to try to find a hit marker to call out for the teammate. Gets naded himself. Looking at MC Lags taking out Kyle B7. Last shot, five shot on Desi 1027. We got ourselves a 3v2. Notice how the pace is starting to be a lot slower the closer we get to the end of this round. Absolutely shots. You said that more perfectly than I could have, my man, because this is when things get interesting. We are now two, two tied going into round five, starting off. This is absolutely insane. I can barely list? stop talking. Going it hits last shot. He really loves going left, flying right oh, out, yeah. trying to see if he can pick oh, somebody yeah. off, yeah, make it a 4v3 before anything happens. But oh, the oh, nade! Cool. The nade takes out shots and then a five on Ginger TM. We have a 4v2. Red team is bringing back the momentum, but Nirvana just naded. Wow, look at that. What happened there? SMG's bouncing back to regain their lead in this matchup here. We got some hype in the chat. What is up, Wes? What is up, Kakashi? Gunlane, everybody tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful swatter day. Let's go forward here with Ceaseless and see what he does for the underdogs to tie this one up. I've got to tell you, watching these people play, this Ooh. is a very high pass. It's just such a fast-paced breakout yeah, game right now. Bodies flying everywhere, and, so and it looks like the underdogs might be able to tie it up here and make it a 3-3 matchup. Wow. If this goes to game seven, I am just... Oh, man. Oh, man. Starting off like this. They have five more minutes to join. If they don't enter gravity, just report the scores to one of the reps, man. <clears throat> Round seven. Starting off with Debo Smokes. One thing I'm noticing when I'm watching these teams, there's not a lot of sticking together, but you, they're trusting the call-outs. They're trusting their teammates to be able to clean up kills, get a good team shot with just two people. Nice first strike coming out of the champ. One in SWAT, last shot. Bodies dropping over there for the uh, SMG's only squad. Trade, big trade, big trade. 
Oh my gosh, I'm looking at Nirvana right now, but he gets... Oh, got the trade, though. Still a defeat for Red Team. Up. Blue now up 4-3 in the series. This game can end. Round this eight. first game, if Blue Team can take this away, or will we see a game nine? I am so excited, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. One more game right here. Can the underdog steal the deal and win the series 5-3 here, or the game here? Never mind, we're good. Oh, Sounds good at you, Gravity. Good luck in your series. Downstairs. Drive me nuts. Sorry, guys. Nirvana gets taken out by Lags. Gets a nice beat down. Lags now getting behind the blue team spawn. Two on one. Last shot gets a five on Nirvana. Oh, they tied up in Force 8 game nine. For elimination. Mm -hmm. Game nine off the start way. of the round. round we are nine. in game nine, ladies and gentlemen. If you wanted hype, thank you for coming in because you are in the right place. On board here, someone from the oh, SMG only squad. Nirvana, let's see as he pushes Hydra side of the map. Ginger is gonna take him down for the first strike and pick up the Hydra. Let's see what he does with the Hydra here. Lags gets the luckiest Hail Mary from the Grave Nade to make this a 2v1 now. And the victory wow. goes out to Blue Team Underdogs taking him out. What a close game one. Insane. If that's any foreshadow for the rest of this series, I'm excited, boys. Yeah, that was were, oh dirty. man, I couldn't even keep up half the time. There were bodies flying, grenades flying, and I can't even imagine what the chat rooms are like when you're trying to call out and break out what's going on. All the tension on the line, one life to go, everything to lose, nothing to gain. It is just absolutely insane. Oh, I'm already out of I breath, man. I don't know if I can keep Nobody asking. really picked up the Hydra or, you know... But it is true. Nobody I did go for the power left weapon. out, you know? It makes you wonder, is breakout for the... When it comes to high-level, sweaty breakout tournaments, does it come down to power weapons or map positioning? I think it's because they were very quick to... And nades. Oh, 100% and nades. Oh, man. I didn't mean to go that crazy just now. I was just filled up with so much <laughs> hype. I am so sorry for taking over yeah. the game nap time. How did you yeah. feel about I, that? I, I, honestly, what a game one there. Um, the underdogs showing that they're not actually the underdogs. They take it from the SMGs only who had a hot start to that round one. I mean, they came out swinging with uh, two first round victories, but then underdogs. The resilience came through. They came out on top. Ten kills. MVP of that first match last shot. Oh. See what he can do in game two. What is up, Dreidel? How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming out. This is the summer breakout sequel, our second breakout tournament. If you guys are hyped, let us know in the chat who you guys want to win this series. Type one for the red team. That's going to be SMGs only. Type two for the underdogs who are currently up one in the series. Oh man, spit facts. That was an absolutely amazing game to watch, my man. And you said that perfectly with the Hydra launcher not being picked up at all. How do you think this is going to play for the rest of the tournament? I think, that, you know, there was some nerves in the beginning of game one, you know, and game two, like, you know, they were trying to get, everyone's trying to get their positioning correct, you know, so more or less, you know, I think they have respect for each other. So it's going to be a little bit slower pace, you know, game going out here, so. 100%. It did kind of feel like they were trying to get a feel for the other team. It was right, an observer, ego guys. challenged game, it felt like. But they just wanted to, right off the bat, see who's got the better push, who's got the better five shot, the accuracy, the team call-outs. Out. They just wanted to set the tone early, and both teams really, really showed what they're capable of. I'm excited for this next series. Isn't breakout three shots, though? Yeah. <laughs> Did I say five shots? Yeah. <laughs> three shots, indeed, my man. All righty, let's go. Let's get serious. Here we go. All right, game two on trench. Thank you, Serial, for clearing that up, dude. <clears throat> Round one. Appreciate it. Oh, wrong game type or something? What a tie. <laughs> I love how quick. All right, guys, while we're waiting on this next game, let's take a look at the bracket and see uh, if uh, any series is over. Let me uh, quickly update. Ooh. 
Intergravity, let's see what team you're going up against. It's no Pro Angel, Juan, Guardian Flies, and Hayes. Nice, spicy matchup right there. <clears throat> you sure you want to be in it? Arzo is a god indeed. Connection lost before game started. Last shot. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Um, Ceaseless, just get him back in here. All right, guys, let's go into game number two on Canal. Or Trench, sorry. And this trench is a map that is very unforgiving because right off the bat, this is a very small breakout map. So you have to be quick to either get into positioning or get the shot off first because oh, you could get punished very, very quickly. So I'm excited to see how both of these teams play Break this out. map. Let's get serious. Advantage. Big thing to watch out in the beginning of the you know, the land are nades. Nades are easy to... Uh... Uh, There's a hundred percent here. He's starting off with Ceaseless Ranger. Italy going for the H5 battle oh. rifle, chucking a nade. That's like you said, Fairfax. Man. Looks like Ceaseless opting to pick up the BR off the rip here. Holding down blue side of the map. Currently outnumbered, and you know, when you get that first pick, you gotta play your numbers. You can't make any mistakes, because honestly, if you are up 4-3, you should technically win. What do you guys think about that? Correct. Oh, 100%. I need a rally once with your four players. Try to pinch in the other three teams. Keep make it a quick wipe. Trying to get them to push out. 4v2, 4v1. On they one. could rush the house now, but they're gonna elect to go for the fly cap instead, while Kyle goes to just keep the blue like team it. lags at That's bay. That was a that was huge play, play coming out of the red team to get that first round. Good job by SMG's only. You know, they had the numbers. They round pulled two. the flag to force those other three players to make some moves. That was just genius. All right, go, go, go. All right we're starting off with Desi going for the age 5 battle rifle this time. There you go. I'm bored here with Desi. Watching those eight. Oh, beautiful shot. shots coming oh, out of the cleanup last by shot. Betsy, yep. But lags gets a five shot on Debo Smokes. We have a 3v3, and at this point, you look at the map positioning and notice that a lot of the teams are spread out, and now it's going to come down to how they're going to recover from this and get the right positioning to be able to pick off one of the players on either team. Kyle gets a headshot on Ginger TM. We have a 3v2. SC takes out lags. We have a 3v1. Kyle Soren in here. It's Ceaseless Ran Ranger all alone. Let's go on board with him. Can he get this 3v1? What a feat that would be. Bunkering down with the BR, but that is I don't think that's the play. I mean, they're pulling the flag. Ceaseless, you got to do something. You can tell that the red team is here to play. Left. They do not want to go for any risk. No one-on-ones if you don't have to. Play it safe. You got a 3v1. Use your team and that firepower against it and just secure the win. That is called sweaty. Yeah, gun lane. Right Unfortunately, there. the veggies can't make it out today, so we're gonna be see a new champion no matter what happens. And what is red team doing here? Oh, one of their players didn't spawn in. Oh, he lagged I down. See. Uh oh. Series is tied one to one. That doesn't count. This round doesn't count, guys. He lagged out. Yeah, yeah. End the game. End the game. End the game. Round four. Hmm. Let's go to work. On the bright side, the series is one to one before he lagged out. I don't see any problem with resetting the series if it's okay with uh, obviously the team. We'll have to see how you want to do this. That's the match. Victory. Guys, it is 2-0 in favor of SMG's only unfortunate leg out there. That round where they were just sitting there and underdogs killed them, that doesn't count. They had a leg out. They wanted the game to end.
It's 2-0 right now in favor of the SMGs only, so they only need to win three more rounds. Usually when there's a lag out, you continue from uh, where you left off right, uh, right when the lag out happened. That is the appropriate call. You're ready to break high break. That's a very good way to bounce back on that. Let's see if uh, Pretty good. Not he's a caster there. and a moderator. Okay. Nap times does it all, my man. Down the momentum here, you know. Your bearings. SMGs are up 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. All right, going into French. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right back right into this. Had a little bit of a hiccup right there. Somebody lagged out, but we are back in trench for breakout. Tournament's still going. Everything's getting crazy. One life on the line. Let's see what Round they one. do with it. Let's get this going. Gonna start off with our Kyle B7. See what he wants to do. Going right off the rip. They're up two in the series. They want blood. They want to end this. They want to blow these people out. And you can tell with how aggressive this team is being. This is disrespectful gameplay. And I'm excited to see how the blue team is going to react to this. I'll be trying to get a pick off. Last shot going for the one-on-one. -on -one. No, he's going to go back and then play the field with his team because he understands how important that one life is notice how blue team is playing really passive right now they're down two in the series gets the pick up on kyle b7 that team shot was absolutely beautiful big and plays, now big plays here they're not pushing past their uh, 50 yard line now they're about to push a little bit more oh, here we go, we go. Hey. that's a round to remember blue team eight minutes Round two. Into round two. Looking at MC lag starting out. And I love watching blue team right now because this is a passive team now. They're playing for the win. They're playing angles. They're playing positioning. They want the red team to make the mistake. They don't want to be caught off guard. Change your TM with a nade on Kyle B7. Makes it a 4v3 off the bat. Is blue team going to push up off that momentum? Let's see what they go ahead and do going up the left side. See if the underdogs can play their numbers game here. Oh, Look at this! They're coming out on top of here. Can they tie it up? There we go. If they do win Three, this round, two. it's going to be 2-2, guys. Yeah. Don't forget about the two rounds that were won by SMGs only before the leg out. It's now 2-2. You guys may see 2-0 on the screen, but it's 2-2. This is exactly what happened last series. These teams are just so hard to separate at any moment. They could just take over an entire game and it's going to come down to who has that momentum at the end to finish this series out. I'm on the edge of my seat. Jim to TM, he's dodging a team. I'm on board here oh, with Ginger, he's making a flank. Look at this. He might actually get away with this flank here. Oh, he gets he's on a killing spree. Ginger is popping off, ladies and gentlemen. One on one versus Kyle right here. Kyle's got to stay alive and play play his life. He is doing exactly that, but Ginger is on the prowl here. And look at that! Wow. Ginger wow. is out for vengeance. Underdogs coming in hot. They're up three in this game, uh, but they're you know it's three two right now, but they're coming in swinging. Three uncontested victories. Back to back to back. Exactly. I'm bored here with Mick Legs. Let's see what he does here. Who's going to be opting to grab a BR, though, on the red side? The blue team, it is ceaseless. Oh, nice shot from three on four. Out Last shot. You know, I, I got to say, I'm not surprised to see Last Shot hitting shots like this. Being a champ one in SWAT, it's only three shots compared to one, and this on man three. is as accurate as you can be. He is an absolute fun person to watch. Yeah, if anyone needs a sub, you can hit up Kakashi. I just got reports that Guns has won a series against the Mango Juice. Oh, Kevin getting a good flank on Blue Team. Almost got a pick off. 
Now that he gets the call out, going for the flank to go. Oh, now he's retreating to his team. Look at these people playing for their life. This is a breakout match right here. See what Red Team's gonna do here. One minute push. Oh, Lags gets caught out in the open by Kyle B7. Debo smokes with the three shot on Ceaseless, and Net is tying the series three to three. Oh, what God. is going on? Exciting stuff. Well, we see another game nine here. I just, I have that feeling, Nap. I gotta tell you, it just seems like the way these teams are playing, reacting to the other teams and what they're doing, it, it's all stuff and blue yards. They better watch out for these nades. Oh, yeah, at the scene tonight. Absolutely. On board here with Kyle. That is a perfect call Dodging right nades. there. No first strike for either team here. It's all tied up, guys. 3 3. Who is gonna get the go ahead round? Be in favor to win I this one. I'm on board here with Kyle. They He's say pushing for up. every reaction, there is a reaction. And notice how these teams, when you play breakout, you don't do the same strategy every single time, or else it's easy to read. You got to switch it up. Sometimes play aggressive, sometimes go for a flank, sometimes you got to play passive. And right now, wow. these teams. Oh, blue team just wiped out red team. They just play time and just completely. Push them in for that win right there. That was an absolutely fantastic play by and the underdogs. The underdogs go up 2-0 in the series and win this whole thing. Or will the SMG's only squad win this round, force a game nine, win that round, and then force a game three in the series? Mick Lags with a perfect kill is going to say otherwise. This could be all she wrote in the winner's bracket for SMG's only. Oh, Devo is going to get the perfect though. Devo throws, gets his own three shot. And now he's looking for Mick Black, who is trapped out in the open. And you know Debo Smokes is calling him out. It's a 1v1! Debo Smokes! It's a 1v1! Oh my god! Vessel has to win this 1v1 to stay alive in the winner's bracket. Last shot only needs to get this kill to advance to winner's round three. And it's... If I... And I... Jesse is an amazing, amazing position player, but Five Shot has the accuracy and is not afraid oh, to challenge. That's champ one and SWAT right there. The underdogs take the series 2-0 and advance into winners round three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find another series we can go on board with. SMGs only. That was good. That was really, really great content. <clears throat> great games. Sweaties. Great games. Sweaty matchups. Wow. Yeah, both both matchups went the distance there. <clears throat> I have no idea how you even can cast these tournaments <laughs> consistently because I am already on the edge of my seat. I'm sweating. I'm not even playing. This is just insane. Oh, I think we're going to watch this next matchup. Let's go on board with this next matchup. The Underdogs versus the Cappers. We got to watch that. That's Guns, Dallas Snipe, Kells, and Riggy the Rod versus Ceaseless. Last shot, McLegs, oh, and Ginger. Big, big Yo, man. Ceaseless, send us an invite to your next series. Uh, Guns, if you're in the chat and you can hear us, send us an invite. We want to watch this series. Let us know in the chat if you want to watch this next series. It's going to be lit. The Cappers versus the Underdogs coming up next in Winner's Round 3. There is no better way to spend your Saturday afternoon in quarantine right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be an absolutely amazing banger of a game. And, oh, I just, the more I think about it, I just want to get right into it. I can't even say anything else let me just go ahead and update the overlay let's get that oh in the right. hype in the chat the hype in the air ladies and gentlemen keep this momentum going because we are in for a hell of a tournament and thank you all for coming out and supporting this amazing community event and thank you nap by the way thank you look 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 nap he's a humble guy but chat right now i want you all to just say thank you, Nap, in the chat, because this man has been putting out these tournaments for us every single time. You don't gotta do it that, dude. I appreciate it. I'm doing it, man, because every so, time you just outdo like yourself, man. man. And, and it's people like you that keep this community <laughs> alive until infinite. So I want everyone right now to say, I love you, Nap, in the chat, because he deserves all of it. Playing these tournaments, you know, <laughs> bringing all these great, great players together. For Coach Strix on the underdogs. Love play. to see it. Can they take down the back Cappers? Back. Coming up next, it's going to be, ooh, I think they got their work cut out for them here. Can they get another 2 Well, Can they advance to winner's round four? Going to be spicy. Let me go ahead and update the overlay, though. We're on 
par here. Um, thanks for coming out, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful swatter day. This is the sequel to the spring breakout. The summer breakout, we got lots of exciting action. Let's take a look at some of the, the matchups going on. So it looks like the Cappers, who we're going to be watching, going up against the Underdogs, who we just watched beat SMGs only. They too owed Mango Juice. Uh, the Veggies, unfortunately, didn't show up. So they advanced all the way to winner's round three to take on the Underdogs. You Still waiting for score reports from a couple of these matchups in round two. It looks like the Battletoads won their series 2-0 against Wolf and the Worms. They're now going up against Alone Together in Winners Round 2. Uh, we got the Jumpmen. Uh, they just changed up their squad a little bit because two of their players couldn't show up. So now they have Hative and Lecce. They're going to be going up against Bad Kids. VIP is God, Subject Toad, Chillin' and Money3MM. Lots of exciting action all across the board, guys. Uh, thanks for coming out. And uh, Fax, who's taking this whole tournament? Who's taking this whole tournament? Damn, man. Um, I don't know. I think one of the winners in the finals are going to be one of these two teams that we're about to watch. I want for the safe bet. Yeah, and I don't blame you at all, facts, because these are people that understand the higher level of gameplay that needs to happen to win a tournament. They've been in the spotlight before. We know the potential. They can do it. And I'm excited to see how far they go in this tournament. Yo, um, other team, could you go ahead and invite your matchup, the Cappers? <clears throat> let's let's review this bracket. Let's let's see who we got here. I feel like jump men are gonna make it pretty far. Or they might even take it. Hmm. I'm looking at Rather Play 2.0, and this just seems like a sleeper team that will go far and just surprise us towards the end of the tournament. I really think big things can come out of them, and I'm excited to see what happens there. <sighs> You know what? Another uh, another team, I feel like, you know, Pavilions, Some big, big names on there as well. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. You know, I look at one team and I said, oh, they're going to do great. I look at another team. I see more big names. And it's just everywhere you look, this just seems like this could truly be anybody's game, especially, especially when you play Breakout because anything can happen. You know, it comes down to teamwork and how you react to another team strategy. And when it's all on the line, at the it, it's clutch factor. You could be the best player in Halo 5, but if you don't have that clutch factor, it could still mean a hard time for you in Breakout. And that's what I love most about this. The 1v1s, the 1v2s, nothing to lose and everything to gain. Back against the wall, you got to pull out and show your skill to the world and it is going to make sure you hit your shots man. Big, big, 110 percent. it is so unforgiving if you miss one two shots during a one-on-one -on -one. man nades are so huge it's crazy you know like crazy i think what i love most about the nades it's not just potential to take somebody out early it's also the positioning that you get to see if you throw a nade across the map and get a hit marker you have to understand that these teams are immediately going to communicate that to the other to their teammates correct, correct, correct. let them know i just threw a, a nade on the left side i got a hit marker somebody's there and as soon as you get to know where the other team's positioning is before yours it is such a big advantage in a breakout yes. tournament A little tongue tied there for a second. But easy mistakes come out, you know. You get you get a four v three, you know. If you don't show the respect, you know, and get better positioning and just try to push, you can easily that can easily flip quick. Oh, a hundred percent. And I think we saw a little bit of that in the last series that was played. I felt like every single breakout match that started was different from the previous one, and you notice that these teams are bouncing off of what the other team is doing and trying to find out what works best, not only for your team, but against the other team. 
And that's what makes Breakout so fun is because it's a lot of fast paced, full send in. You got to be able to make a good decision on the fly. All right, guys. Yes. And I really think that's where big brain can be anyone. Winners play. round three big coming brain. up Wait. next. We got the underdogs. We just saw them take down SMGs only. We got the cappers in red. They just took down uh, HK Brown Boys team. Uh, coming in hot in winners round three. Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this series and advancing to the winners round four. Type one for the red team, the Cappers. That's Kellis, Riggy the Rod, uh, Guns and Dallas Snipes. Type two for the underdogs, Ceaseless, Ginger, Last Shot, and McLegs. Who will advance here and who is going to be ultimately taking this whole tournament, the summer breakout? Hope everyone's having a wonderful swatter day. Thanks for coming out. Andrew, Danny, who you guys got? Uh, I mean, I love the underdogs, but the Cappers. Dallas and Guns, that duo is one to be uh, is a forced to be reckoned with. Their chemistry is unbelievable. Um, I think this game, yeah, I, this I, series, potentially will go to a game three, but I could, I think the Cappers are going to be taking this one. No offense to the underdogs, much love to them, the Zoomer squad, but I think this is uh, Cappers territory. It's when you have that rapport and chemistry with a team in breakout it makes it so easy when you're all on the same page to be able to pick off those players and immediately make it a 4v3 4v2 and i think that is where the cappers are going to thrive they are going Legend? to go right off the Jerry. bat to make a play and, and then make the, the momentum RK. shift and, and i here. think this team is one of the best to do it in this tournament and i'm excited to see how they go in this first series guns is yeah, there with I'm dallas so of Israel. i don't know what that. you're talking about anthony thank you so much for the seven months sorry to cut the you guys cappers, off i feel like you know it's gonna be wow your mic sounds better put two, up to your mic two, one, put up two, to one. your mouth gonna, this is gonna go to a game three love to hear it anthony thank you so much for the seven months man hope you're having a wonderful saturday thanks for coming out bro Stop. are you in here everything all right is the casting couch okay Better. Casting couch is doing more than oh, okay. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but <laughs> we got a guy in the bathroom. Holy crap! So what? You're not getting in this game, or we're, we? Yeah, you this gotta game? go observer. Oh, oh shit! I mean, That's all. Zane. Dubby, you're not even in here. What are you doing? You fight me. Oh <laughs> my god! You wait till they're about to start the game. This ain't it. <laughs> I just, I, I wanted to be respectful. There we go. Switch the all right ladies and gentlemen let's kick things off it's gonna be high rise off the rip let's make sure they're using the right game type what the heck is br turning on high rise ceaseless well hopefully this is the right settings <laughs> come on ceaseless get it together that's how it was the last oh game. really game types too what what the heck is but br turning is going to be yeah, you, you breakout turn? extra names you know it's, yeah it's, it's it's a break route okay turn. okay <laughs> when you play harzo well if we're taking a look at the bracket before we load into this game uh harzo is on the other side of the bracket once they're six uh oh i would love to watch their next series uh if if they do advance over here they'll be playing either jumpman or bad kids uh harzo if you're in the chat keep us posted on that on the other side of the bracket all right who are we uh watching off the rip guys that? who do you guys want to see oh man i i just i'm on ceaseless right. ranger right now off the bat I'm looking at how blue team is going to react to this map against here. this team. Oh, Look at that. Zoomer squad is running the flag! Let's go! They're going for the early cap to set the tone of the game. That could have been a surprise. Oh, goes out. Okay. Good Caesar. bounce back. 2v2 now after the trade. 2v2 situation. MC Lights looking out by Dallas Snipes. Last shot by himself. It is Dallas. Yeah, he had the chance. He, they're yeah, separated right good. now. If he can take this out. Now, I got to give credit to where credit's due. I like what Last Shot did there. He knew he the, the enemies were split. He had to commit to one, win that battle to make it a 1v1 situation. Because he was in a tough handicap right there. I absolutely agree, Nap. That was a smart play by him. You couldn't do any better than that. Starting off with kills right now. Going right. For... He's playing a little bit oh, passive man. Here, Just laying position. down the fire. Are you, do you see how quickly red team gets into positioning? It's like they already know exactly where each individual player needs to go to try to pinch in blue team. Looks like he's going for a flank. That shot 
did get the perfect wow. on Young Guns Good and one. kills Solid. Kill didn't even wait for backup. Is going to challenge Good last shot. Up. This is what bigger. Last oh, shot again. Let's see what he's gonna do he's got to commit to one of these players here. He's got to be careful. He's got to watch his angles. Was going for the flank to go with his teammate on the flat cap as well. Going for the flat cap while Riggy Rod gives him cover. Wow. Enemy scored. That was that an absolutely lost. amazing play right there to secure that flag. Red team up 2 0 in the series already. And this is looking like it might get out of hand. See what happens. I mean, I feel like uh, the Zoomer squad, aka uh, underdogs, are doing a great job of uh, going neck and neck, but they, got it. they can't leave Last Shot alone towards the end of the round here. Last shot is just playing so passive aggressively, and I know that sounds weird, but you look at how he's playing these angles, and you can just tell he is a champ one in SWAT because he knows how to play these angles, and that is just as important in breakout. He does get picked up by Dallas Snipes, though, making this a 2v4. Red team looking like they're about to take this series away, Nap. I don't know what to do about this. One thing coming out of Red team is they're playing their cover really well. On platform, they're staying out of sight, out of mind, you know, and just getting those three on one angles, getting shots, on the round. team shots, you know. And the capper is looking like good. Blue, team, blue team's a little bit more open. You know, I don't think Blue out has an board. answer for how Red Team is positioning on this game right now. They are splitting so well to be able to pick off Blue Team before they can get anything set up. And I think at this point, as crazy as this might sound, Blue Team might need to get a aggressive push as a team and then maybe try to pick off one of these people that are trying to get a good angle and then just continue that on because what they have been doing does not seem to be working. Young Guns does get the pick off skills. It takes out Ginger TM. And this is looking like a potential white of a series. Last shot left alone again with the high ground, though. Can he win this 1v4 situation? Can he put one on the board for the blue team here? If he does, I got to tell you, there is no better momentum than that. Can the champ one in SWAT? No, he's going to fall to Dallas Snipes and the team shot coming out of the red team. Looking good. 4-0 up in this round one. Round five. That is absolutely insane. Starting off with Young Guns. See what he wants to do. And you're just looking at how quickly they're doing the same exact thing they've been doing. If it's not broken, don't fix it. The way that they split is just absolutely phenomenal. But you're looking at Blue Team right now. Three of them are on high ground right now. They're all, oh man. And when you have high ground in Breakout, that is, that is doomed for the other team. Let's see what they go ahead and do with this though. We're now at a 2v4 though. Now a 2v3 with high ground. Last shot, go for the push. Everything on the line, but doesn't get it. And then Ceaseless Ranger takes out Young Guns to make it a 1v2. Let's see what he wants to do with Will he turn up? Can he keep their dream alive here in game one? Can he force a sixth round here? He's got to come in clutch here. He's got to win this 1v2. It's him versus Dallas Snipes. Ceaseless Ranger getting shot from the side as well. And he's in trouble. He was oh, frustrated by that. It's he try, the unfortunate choke. It happens, and that is what breakout is about. Your back is against the wall. You have one life, nothing to lose, everything to gain, and unfortunately, it did not work out for blue team in this series. Dallas snipe with nine kills. Wow. Jeez. Went off. Coming in hot. Shooting really good, though. 53.9 accuracy. You, you can tell he's feeling himself with that many kills and that kind of accuracy. He's going to be uh, the player to watch out for probably in game number two as we move into the next map. It's going to be Crossfire. Love to see some Crossfire. What do you guys think? I think yeah. this is a great map. But I, Nap, I just, and, oh man, I just looked up a crazy stat. I'm looking at the Carnage Report. Red team had a collective seven assists that series. Wow. Team, that you could definitely tell the way they set themselves up on the map. Assist. The team shot was definitely uh, team one of shot their strengths. Was there and it shows that if you cannot play as a team, it's going to be hard in this series. So they need to start getting this positioning. Team shot callouts going a little better 
for them to want to bounce back in this next series. After this series, guys, we're going to go ahead on board with the other side of the bracket. It looks like Battletoads have won four maps continuously here. They 2 owed Wolf and Worms. They 2 owed Alone Together. They're going to be going up against Bad Kid, uh, I mean, Jumpman, who just 2 owed the Bad Kids. So it's going to be Harzo, Pinexel, Buck Tender, and The Sign going up against Hadev, Shea, King Urban, and Lecce. Next on the main stage oh, after this series. Great, great game. Uh, definitely two top contending teams to win this whole thing. Uh, no, I guess there was no report there, but this team should be advanced. Um, and we're just waiting on uh, Intergravity's team to go up against Stray Kids. Winner of that series will go up against the Lethal Stands. Looks like perfect kills. About that. Do we got a go observer? Oh, yeah, that's my bad. There we go. The perfect kills will be going up against either Perito or Dejandran Warlords. So that's going to... Oh, they changed their name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's Prometheum Wisdom, Turtles, and Tempology versus Dark Beetle, Hypothy, Devil Breaker, and Rockstar. Did anyone advance? Uh, is this series done? Prometheum, are you in the chat? Is there any deets on this series yet? I feel like the, uh, the BR is big on this map. No? You know, I got to tell you, Nap, I'm, if the cappers keep playing like they've been playing, this tournament might be over before it even started because we were talking about this earlier. The rapport, the chemistry, watching Red Team and how they move as a unit to... Oh, I just can't believe it. It is absolutely Round insane. One. And if they keep this up, I don't know if any team can find a way to combat this. Let's just see what happens. Right, let's see who's going to grab the BR off the, off the rip there. for the blue team. Like it's gonna be ceaseless again. Raining some, raining some fire on the red side. Grenade spawn. No pick for either team yep. yet. And this That's first pick on crossfire is so important. Like oh, like so guys, let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this game to. Will the cappers get a 2-0 sweep? Type one for the red team. Type two for the underdogs to bounce back here. They do get the first pick in round number one of this crossfire matchup. Three on three. Now. Hills takes out MC Lax, making it a 3v3. And the 3v3s are the hardest ones to figure out because your team is not in the proper position when you lose a player. But they also lost a player. So who's going to be able to rally first and make a play? It's all about sticking together, making the callouts, and being able to pick somebody off before they pick you off. Let's see what happens here. On board with Riggy the Roddy. Looks oh, like Cecil's, he wants to make oh, a play dope. in the house. Oh. This looks, it's a good shot on dope, on but he side, couldn't last finish shot it. Pushing through house. He's going to have a 1v1 situation against Riggy. Puts the first two shots in, and that's going to be enough to make oh, Riggy back. Is he going to commit? We do know that last shot is pretty much right in between red team. This is a dangerous push right here, but he wants it so bad. It's a 3v3, and he wants that momentum shift. When you lose 5-0 in the first series, you need some sort of momentum to bring it back. And last shot, understand that he's out for blood. Fax yep. mentioned time is running out here. The stalemate will it be broken here. This pick is so important to get that momentum, but it looks like it might just be a tie here. Ooh, you know what? Them just staying alive is actually going to force a tie. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I thought, I thought, I thought he got picked close. off by a second. That was too close for comfort. Oh, I just accidentally opened a Dopey premiere. Oh. Starting off with MC lag. See how blue team, they're playing a little passive, but ties will not win the series when you've lost the first series. They need to start making some plays, but kills get some Real amazing cool. cross map shots on MC lags, making this a 4v3. And it looks like red team is building off the momentum, already pushing blue team back to their spawn, chucking nades, trying to get the easy pickoffs. This is a collapsing team right now. How are they going to be able to come back going from solo. this? This is going to be intense. It is last shot by himself, 4v1. And that is a round two defeat going to red team. Now up 1-0 in the series. Round three. All right, so they finally put one on the board, and honestly, it's a huge. This is this is a tough mental here for the blue team. They have lost six maps consecutively to the red team. They need to do something different here. They got to mix it up. Last shot being aggressive in house. Is this the play here? Waiting for that first pick. 
Red Team does not want to let off the gas pedal as well. Oh, they are no. continuously pushing and pushing this team, picking them off one by one. I don't know if Blue Team can come up with an answer to this. It, it just seems like it's getting out of hand. We won the round. Man, this is a... Uh... Red like team now 7 0. These guys aren't missing. They're not missing. 7 0 against the underdogs. The Cappers came to play today. They want the first place. They want the bragging rights for the summer 2020 breakout tourney. This is absolutely crazy. But Blue Team now getting a little more aggressive, understanding that there is nothing to lose at this point, and they need to make a play right here, right now. Something to change. He lands going for the challenge. Oh, gets oh. the perfect reversal on Dallas Real Snipes. Two. Oh man, making it a 3v2. This is bit. where things can change right now. Blue team, everybody in the chat, click one if you want to see the comeback happen. This is absolutely insane. It'll be a huge three, win to win three. this round. Get some momentum for them. Let them know that it's possible here. Crossfire. Such a gruesome Dude, matchup. Known for its stalemates. On board here with last shot. They have a minute to get these two kills. They gotta collapse. If time runs out, it's a tie, and they won't win this round. You said it perfectly, Nap. And red team understands that blue team might not push, and they're trying to play for the tie now. Like it looks like he's trying to dance around them, and blue team doesn't know what to do here. They want to be able to pick these people off, but they are just dancing around them, trying you know, to either pick off blue team. They They're push. just trying to be a nuisance, play the clock here, because if they can yeah, force a tie, seconds. Guns is literally just putting shots in them, being an inconvenience and making them step back. Oh, Blue team, oh. there we go. Ooh, and that's what you want to see. Coming out of the underdogs, we're going to put one on the board in this crossfire match. 1v2 in the second oh, series of the match. First series did go out to the cappers for anyone getting here right now. We are now in the second series, hoping for the underdogs to do what their name says and truly be the underdogs of this match and come back in a glorious fashion. What a Cinderella story it would be if they win this round two on Crossfire and force that game three and they get the reward first sweep. Riggy the Rod with a beautiful cross map nade against champ one and slot last shot. Wow. Oh man, and that's tough because last shot is one of the better 1v1 players for breakout on this team and when you take out last shot first you know that red team is communicating that and want to go for that pinch to close out this series as quickly as possible but blue team is not letting up as well they are playing the angles and trying to make this a 2v2 at any possibility but mc lags oh mc oh he had the potential right there to make this a 2v2 this is absolutely insane i can't even imagine what goes on towards here with Kels as he's pushing up shotgun side of the map trying to put shots into ranger dallas gets one pick it's a 3v1 and there you have it they're up 3-1 now <clears throat> looking good they just need to win two more matches round six the hard part is as well it's not just three to one it's eight to one if you count the last series at this point blue team has been getting beaten up and they need an answer right now if they want any chance of coming back on this series. Three on three. It's like blue teams all on outside of the map. On board here with Riggy the Rod pushing up from the red yard into the house. It's three three right now. Three lives for each team. Last shot getting some shots into him on shotgun side of the map. Riggy the Rod making him back down. Looks like McLegs is hungry to push past the 50 yard line. Let's go on board with him. Oh, and Miklag, he's stutter stepping his way over to red side. He wants to make a play. It is now 3v2 in favor of blue team. Can they come up with something right now to close out this round? Notice how MC lags immediately going towards his teammates because he understands the value of his life right now. He does not want to make this a 2v2. They have all the momentum right now, all the time possible to make a play and come up with any idea to close this game out. And you can tell that this is a team that still has some fire left. And they are not ready to quit just yet. And I love that. Board here with Cecil's Ranger. They're working the numbers game. They have 40 seconds to make a move here. 
They got to do exactly what they did to win that one round in this matchup. Just 30 seconds. They got to play the timer, though. They can't sit back too much, get too comfortable. Board here with Ceaseless Ranger. Look, last shot with a beautiful kill. Now the 3v1 collapse. Can they do it? There it is. They put another and one on the board. Closes it out. On the board. Two to three in the series. It is not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen crazier things in previous tournaments. Let's see what happens He's, board here in with round six. He's coming in hot here. He's got five kills for the blue team. Nice little jump up. Runs past the VR and he loves this house plays. Trying to get a pre-nade. He loves to stutter step in this house and just try to pick off anybody trying to get to the other side of the map positioning. Fortunately, nobody bit there, so Memsi Lags is going to start playing towards the middle, looking for anybody that he can try to pick off. But he did see somebody in bottom mid. He's going to call that out. The team is looking towards that, seeing if they can get a good team shot to take out one of these nice players. Nice angles coming out of uh, Ricky versus Last Shot there. Both teams just kind of putting shots in, putting the damage in. No cleanup yet. We're still all squared up here with nobody dropping in this round currently. Wow, and Gun's going to get the first pick. Four on three. Oh, and he's going out for more, continuing to push up in the house. Ooh, he's oh, he wanted to, to go for the flank, but gets taken out by three Ginger TM, making this a 3v3. Alice three. Snipes takes double out, gets the double out kill, going for the last kill now. It is a 3v1, and that is breakout. It can happen so fast. It takes one on man two. to collapse a team, that and then Dallas lot. Snipes finishes it out, taking block. out the whole entire team besides one that is absolutely insane and a statement from the individual skill this team has went off the board with dallas snipes again he is just at this point playing absolutely cracked his shots are just not missing and he is not afraid to challenge right now and when you have a dallas snipes that is not afraid to challenge. I would not want to be on that, that other team. Huge. And not just to mention it's him along with young guns. Along with Wow, oh last gosh, shot with the perfect. And blue crazy. team is playing this perfect to stay in this main matchup. They don't want to be swept. They need to win the next three games here. Three rounds. Can they do it here? Can they rally? Play the numbers a game. 4v2. They should be able to close this round out. But let's see what happens. Dallas gets the reversal on its last shot, making this wow. a 3v2. Oh no, this would be a momentum killer if Blue yeah, Dallas cannot Knives, close he's this looking to end out. it right now. He's trying to get the sweep and advance. He doesn't want to give the underdogs a chance, but look at this. Ginger submitting his ticket here. He wants to see another round. He doesn't want to go out just yet. Because Dallas Snipes needs to win this 1v3 right here. To clutch it up and get the 2-0 sweep. Here comes the pinch right now. Dallas Knights has to make a play right now, but MC Lags closes it out. Was that a body shot? A <laughs> little frustration coming out of the underdogs, or was that a mind play? Trying to get under Let's the see what skin happens. of the red team. Why not go for it? I like this play from last shot. He's flying over the shotgun side. Watching out for any pre-nades coming out of the red team. Expecting the experience out of the red team and those pre-nades. <laughs> I love how Ginger TM is just in the middle. He's camping the angles and just calling out to his team every single red person he sees. And he's letting them know where to be, where to set up, I bet, and just try to get some sort of play to happen to carry this momentum. See if that nade gets anybody. Nobody home for Ginger. Ginger and Last Shot working the left side of the map, and on the other side, you got Ceaseless. Helping out McLegs. McLegs sitting with the BR in tower. He's currently the, uh, the the biggest point leader for the blue team here. Trying to put that BR to use. Al sniping Riggy the Rod. Contemplating yeah, pushing through house here. They only need to win this round to send oh. them home with a 2 0 sweep. I just realized MC Legs is 7 and. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought he was 7 and 0. I, I, <laughs> yeah. It's... <laughs> I was about to say, this man is cracked. <laughs> Three on four. What a nade coming out of Dallas Snipes. It is now a 4v3 in favor of red team. Blue team won last game. And don't forget the body disrespect. You know red team wants to make a statement right now. It is 4v2. 
uh oh, I don't know if that body disrespect was worth it because it seems like Red Team is out for vengeance, even though they are up Going in the solo. series. Game over, tough break, that's a defeat. Red Team closes it out five to three. Overall series was 10 to three. But you have to notice this is breakout. The underdogs did figure out some sort of plans. And I would not be surprised if these people met again somewhere in this game. I would not be surprised. What is up, Master yeah, Hero? The, the, the 2 0 sweep. Be back. It's not over for the underdogs. They have a second chance in the loser's bracket. <clears throat> Dallas Snipe with nine kills, leading both games with a huge amount of kills. Dallas Snipe is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. See what he can do in his next series. Guys, we're going to wait on the invite to the other side of the bracket. Um, can we get an invite from Penexel and company on the other side? Let me go ahead and advance the cappers. Looking good. Advancing into the semifinals already. And they're going up against either Stray Kids or Lethal Stands next. We got the Battle Toads versus Jumpman on the other side. Let's get an invite to that series. The, wow, much anticipated series. Come up next. Pump, 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 pump it up. I got the invite. Letting me accept it though. Boomer. I'll have to quit the build. Hmm. The Battle Toads versus oh, Jumpman. Man. Ooh. Jumpman came second last tournament in Battle Toads. Arguably one of the best breakout squads in the business. Let's see what happens. In the business. In the business. Oh yeah, and let me oh, tell you. Shit. They are open right now, my friend. Business is booming. It's gonna be very exciting to see them play on the main stage at some point. Thanks for letting us know, Dark Beetle. Uh so you won your next series two one? Okay. What maps are we starting off on on this uh matchup here? Oh man, I'm I I'm still starstruck just from the games that I've already watched. It's just so fast paced, so electric, and just high velocity. Every big word I could think of to express how insane this has been already. And we are not even in the finals yet, ladies and gentlemen. You are in for an absolute ride for this game coming up today. It's not letting me accept your invites for some reason, Harzo. All right, I got in. Let me get you guys with that invite. Halo 5 has been a little janky lately. Yeah, the servers have been a little, little dog doo doo. Yo, what's up, you know? What's up, James Ducks? Everybody coming out. Sorry about the delay. How you guys doing? Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. We got a breakout tournament here. Summer breakout. We're moving into the semifinals pretty soon here. Uh, this is actually winners round three, best of three, coming up next between Battletoads and Jumpman. Uh, looks like, oh, Jumpman. Jumpman, 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 Jumpman. Looks like Jumpman will actually be the red team, so let me just go ahead and figure Yes, Dark Beetle. Hey. I'm trying my best, dude. Uh, one second, one second. He said, bro. Uh, just because of the nature of this tournament, Spartan, and a lot of teams having issues with their rosters, we won our game 2-1. Okay, so you won against King 2-1 series? I advance you, Dark Beetle. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, King, what's the issue, dude? Was there an issue with this series? What's going on, dude? I just advanced Dark Beetle's team. High rise, crossfire, then canal. You guys think this is gonna go to uh game three? 
I I just one thing I've learned so far watching these breakout games is that I have got to see how these teams play the field first because I am so curious not only to see how they play the field but how they react to how the other team plays the field because that uh, is what it's going right. to come down to. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, it's going to be uh... – We'll know from the first matchup, you know, who's uh, who's hitting their shots, who's uh, predicting where people are going to be, how the call-outs are going. You know, I, I see a lot of big names here in, from last breakout tournament. I feel like uh, this is going to definitely go to game three. And if I, I had who to I'm, uh, put money on it, I would probably pick red team because they did just get to sign nap times, apparently. Looks like they got him as a fourth. And I don't want to bet against my boy Nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, jump man here. Jump man. Battletoads is a seasoned veteran breakout team. All right, looks like we're just still doing, trying to figure out a few things for the tournament, make sure everything's going a little smoothly. Ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget how it just, I got to say, watching these players play so far has been an absolute gift, and it has been insane and amazing. We're taking care of a few things right now. I'm just trying to make sure the tournament goes as smoothly as possible. But do not let that kill the momentum of what we've seen and what we are about to see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a breakout tournament. And I got to tell you, there are some crazy teams that you guys are going to see today. So get ready. Strap your seatbelts and keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. And enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, because it is going to be an amazing tournament. All right, and we got to give a shout out to the man once again, Nap Times. Not nah, only does nah, he nah, put nah. these tournaments <laughs> together, he casts the tournaments. And if there's any problem, any debate during the tournament, he takes care of that as well. Truly a jack of all trades and a man to be feared. I'm happy to be sitting next to you on the cast. Well, thanks, couch. man. And it's a pleasure to have you. And facts. Appreciate you guys coming out to the summer break. Facts. Bro. Can't forget facts. He spits straight facts. We need him. He's the analyst. Yeah, I appreciate everyone trying to help out. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Guys, this is a much anticipated series. Jumpman, who came second place in the spring breakout, going up against the Battletoads, who fell short last tournament, but definitely a contender to take this title. Who do you guys got taking this one? Type 1 for the Battletoads. Type 2 for Jumpman. Uh, 1 for the blue team. Or, sorry. Guys, let me fix the overlay before I do that. <laughs> I guess they switch colors. Can we get a rip in the chat? Hey, Rips. I honestly cannot tell you who's going to win, but I can tell you I am excited to watch the Battletoads and how they play.
because these are people that know all the strategies, all of these sweaty things to do in breakout to get an advantage on your other breakout. team. So through. I think me, along with anybody else in the chat, is going to be very excited to all see right. this. Not only to potentially get Let's notes, hear it, guys. But just One for the Battletoads, the red team. Right. Type right. 2 for Jumpman. That is right. Hative, right. King right. Urban, Lecce, and Shea. Let's go aboard here with uh, Lecce. Right. Let's see what he does. Okay, Lecce automatically flying right. over to bottom blue. Going right Three next to the flat cap. And look wow, at Arzo this. Red team doesn't even teammate. know he's there. Look at this flank by Lecce. Look at this. He is getting the flank of the century. Wow. And the battle toads, though. Get a on Coming in hot with the three kills already. Oh, but the sign takes out wow. Lecce and they close it out. Four oh battle sweet. toads. Round two. I was unexpected. Let's go on uh, board here with Buck Tender, see what he does. Looks like he's going for immediate high ground. Getting those pre-nades in. What a grenade here. Get a week in the numbers of the blue team. I just, that is, see, you cannot teach that. That is, that is something that you Shining learn through. from playing Breakout a lot. Wow, and the Battletoads experience really taking over here, guys. It's just, it's not just the map positioning, they're playing the map itself, and as crazy as that sounds, look at how they're bouncing grenades that another off the walls sweep? to get the best angle oh, no. to take out the enemy. Did that did is though. just crazy. Wow. The Battletoads coming in hot. Yo, Laluana, thank you for the follow. How you doing today? Thanks for coming out. This is the summer breakout. Max, who you want to go on I don't know how Jumpman is going to find a way to combat this, but they need to quick because the sign is the double need. What? No. A nade no. coming out of the sign. Battletoads tearing apart the Jumpman squad, a team that came second place last tournament. I thought I knew what breakout was, but I, and now I have no idea because I'm watching how Battletoads is playing this map and it makes me feel like I should just delete Halo 5 because if there are people that can play like this, I, I just don't know now. Oh my. Again, the nades off the wall. They do Real not know how to combat this. I mean, blue team's got to be a little bit unpredictable here. They're just falling into the hands of the red team. Arzo looking to get a melee. Shea shuts him down, and this is might be a situation where the jumpman can find themselves taken around. Buck tender. Oh, but it's a 1v1. Buck tender gets the pick off on Shea, who was by himself, and now it is a 1v1. Buck tender versus Leshe. Oh, man, this is crazy. Leshe has a lot writing on this right now because they need to put points on the board when the series is already three to zero let's say going for the challenge he already got shots on buck what tender but buck tender gets into the nade right choppa is how you doing today round huge four. round from let look at this sign with eight kills round five this man hits his pre nades let's go on board him let's see what he does off the rip let's learn something here let's watch a little sign Take some notes. Look at oh, he went for the jump, but just missed it. Immediately goes. Look at that. He knows exactly what to do when he misses the jump. He immediately looks towards left side to see if he can help out his teammates. He now has a pretty good flank along with high ground. His team looks like they have the ability to pinch out blue team right now. All right, inch gravity. I reported it for you. And just, you look at how this team plays the map. Look at how there's there's red P, there's Spartans on top, on the bottom, behind you. Raise Wolf. And they're just I hope you had fun and thanks Blue for coming out. I hope to see you in more take, tournaments. No, one by one. Always uh, appreciate seeing you on the battlefield. Oh, and nice little melee coming out of Shea. We won the round. But wow. Guys, the Battletoads are showing themselves as a true contender and a force to be reckoned with here. Round six. This is their yard. This is their game mode. And they are proving that to all of us right now. If you had any doubts before about Battletoads, they came here to tell you otherwise. Hug Tender with a perfect kill on King Urban. Penexo takes out Shea. It is a 3v2 in favor of the Battletoads. They can close out the series right now. Let's see what they go ahead and do. Pinexo takes out Hative, makes it a 3v1, and at this point, if you're the Battletoads, you know Breakout better than most teams, and they are not going to allow a comeback as far as I can That's see. Pinexo takes out Leche to win the first series 5-2.
2-1. Wow, strong Nap start to this series for the Battletoads. Um, gonna... I, I, I don't even... I mean, I... I, I... If they weren't making any mistakes. The nades were on point. The team shots were just there. You know, those angles, you know, they just knew where to be. It was... They made no mistakes. I gotta uh, tell you, like, I... I would have been as speechless, man. Watching that is absolutely like I, I just don't even know. It's insane. What we just saw. Six assists from Buck Tender, five from Harza, one from the sign, a total of twelve assists for the battle toads compared to two for jump men. And you have to understand why positioning leads to team shots and how important team shots are for breakout. All right, uh, take it away for a sec, guys. I just got to do something real quick. No problem at all. Facts. I, I just <laughs> I'll learn how to do those nades, man. Maybe after this, you and I can go into a custom game ourselves and try to learn how to use the map to your advantage like that because I've never seen anything like that before. They're fantastic nades. Just insane. This gave you know, I feel like... Uh... They were just making plays that, you know, just like only experienced players would make. And it paid off. It paid off quick, too. Wow. 110%. I couldn't have said it better myself. It, it just shows why it, raw talent, pure talent, isn't enough to win these types of game modes. When it comes down to the people that put in the hours playing breakout, Learned all of the strats, the teamwork, how to counter a counter, and it should. When you see it on the big screen, it's just absolutely a treat to watch. Yeah, that's just. I think I think I think yeah. uh, they're gonna come out different here. King Urban, Lee J. Shay, yeah, I think they're gonna. Show a little bit more respect and, you know, don't push as much. What is up, right, Sasuke? What is up, everybody tuning in? Suppressed story couldn't make it. What's up, Worm Dog? Guys, we are moving into game number two of this series between Battletoads and Jumpman. Battletoads really proved themselves a force to be reckoned with here through game one in their performance on High Rise. Guys, can we get some hype in the chat for the summer breakout event? Let's go. Let's get that SWAT hype. It's a SWATter day. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Thanks for coming out. <clears throat> Building off of what Facts just mentioned, this is when you have to come together as a team. You don't have a lot of time. You don't really have time to watch film. You have to come together and realize what went wrong last series oh, and try to combat ready? that. Guys, uh, just to let you know, we also have some announcements today. Um, hope you guys stay tuned for that. We'll probably announce them right before the winner's finals. Uh, we'll see uh, which one of these teams advance to the semifinals. Will the Jumpmen get the reverse sweep? Or will the Battletoads come out with a 2-0 sweep? Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this series. Type 1 for the red team. Battletoads type 2 for the Jumpmen, the blue team. I mean, Jumpmen placed second place and actually went undefeated in the winner's bracket until the grand finals last breakout tournament. But this tournament... Back against the wall. They have to get a reverse sweep against the Battletoads, starting with Crossfire. Is it going to happen? Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this once again. One for the red team, two for the blue team, one for Battletoads, two for Jumpman. Why is High Rise in here? Like, uh, uh, I was in the last tournament. Uh, King Urban? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I got to tell you, my, I, I feel like Battletoads is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, any, I think... You know, if, if if I was asking Vegas, they'd put the odds on Battletoads to win this, but you cannot count out Jumpman. It's very easy to correct the mistakes they made. A lot of times they died to nades early, and this can be a completely different series. Nice pre-nades coming out of the red team here. Gonna slow down Shay's start to the grenades. Actually blow up the grenades, so he can't pick up any more after throwing his initial grenades. But Shay's in trouble, and the first kill will go to the Battletoads as they now push up their 4-3 advantage. Penexel holding forward and laying down fire. Three members of the blue team trapped on blue BR side of the map. Getting some kills, though. Now we have a 2v2. Two two. Oh, oh my. Oh, Sign hey. with his grenades yet again. Give you one situation. I, it's going to be King Urban versus yeah. Penexel and the Sign. Sign says, you know what? You sit back. 
I'm gonna grab the flag. You have to, and Pixel is just watching him while he runs the, the flag. Rock. And that is what you do. When you have a 2v1, there are two options. You can try to pinch and go for the easy Round kill, two. or you can have one person run the flag, and then you force him out of position, and the other one just waits to pick him off. It is a good play. I'm bored here with Bucktender trying to lay down those crossfire shots. We saw Pinexo come in hot round one with two kills and the last kill onto King Urban. I don't think I've seen Battletoads miss a grenade yet. And what I mean by that is when I see where the grenade lands, it's in a spot where you would expect somebody to be. And the fact that they have the ability to throw nades like that three. in a breakout game where callouts are so important... <laughs> It is just one of those tough things to combat, but we're looking at a 3v2 wow. in favor of Jumpman now. Are they going to be able to collapse on these last two and close out this round? Lishay going in, got some good shots on Buck Tender, going in to finish it, but Buck gets the good ju uh, juke on him. Still, Shay was able to take him out, making it a 3v1. Jumpman put one on the out. board. Shay with a nasty grenade to return the favor. Here we go, 1-1. One, one. Can the Jumpman bounce back here in game in round one, number two? One. I have a feeling they can, Nap. I really think they can because I'm watching at how they're playing this time. They're more confident in their shot and they're really doing a good job dodging these nades that Battletoads is so good at throwing. I'm bored here with Harzo. He's trying to stop the aggression of the blue team. He's not going to be able to do so and the Jumpman will get the first pick and that is so important in Breakout. And that is why we see the Battletoads stress those uh, opening grenade kills. Numbers game. Notice what Battletoads does. As soon as it becomes a 4v3, they try to rally the three players they have left together to try to come back for a reversal. Oh, and Buck Tender just juking their whole team. They're not going to be enough, though. Dumbman. Exactly what they need to do to take 2 1 lead in this game 2 on Crossfire. I'm on board here with uh, the sign. Let's see what he does with his opening grenades. He is just playing like this. Oh, wow. With these Shooting the grenade to get the AOE damage onto Shay to help Harzo secure that first strike. And the Battletoads, can they that use this 4 3 lead here? Ready to track. Wow, Leche with some beautiful oh, shots to shut down great. sign. Oh, and then Blue Team is taking over house, or at least trying to. But right now, Harzo can get picked off if he wants to. But he's not going to go for the push just yet. He's going to play the field. He understands he does not have backup. And all he's trying to do is draw attention towards him. So Pinexel can try to push up and take out the remaining two players. Oh my gosh, Hayden. He's taken out by Pinexel. Makes it a 3v1. And Battletoads closes out round four. Making the series two. two, two. To Guys, make sure you check out or Airborne Vanessa. Thank you so much for the host. Hope you had a wonderful stream, Airborne. Game's a little bit slower than last one. Yeah, we got a two-two tie. Looking a little bit more even here on Crossfire, as we saw King Urban in the chat right. said, "High rise. Why was that in the tournament?" <laughs> a little bit upset about that game one. Bouncing back here in game two, but the Battletoads not going down without a fight. They want to get the two-zero sweep. They don't want to see a game three. They want to put, you know, the reigning uh, silver medalist from Spring Breakout into the losers bracket. Three on four. I'm looking at Shea right now. He is Nate, running around the map, jumping up, and it's almost oh, wow. like he's just trying to distract. Wow. Look at this oh, Battletoad like squad. They just swept them right there to take the 3 2 lead. They it looked so dominant thing. right there. It's like one guy with, with, with eight hands, and he's just playing <laughs> on all four accounts. Yeah, that was some oh, perfect use. Yeah, wow, and Sign is flying forward. Breakout strategies are uh, definitely a thing for the Battletoads. It 100% is, and they understand the value of momentum. And they love to kick teeth in when they have the opportunity definitely. to. This is just a crazy... They got the 4 3 advantage, W. Gameplay. Can they push up, collapse, and use the numbers game to their advantage? Board here with Buck. He's got the BR. He's lingering, and that's a huge kill for the blue team. Arzo with an important... Oh, 2v2 here. Fine with a huge kill. Sky picks off Lishay, makes it a 2v1 in favor of Battletoads. Potentially can make this series go 4-2. to two. And it does right there. And I think, what's crazy, I think what's crazy about Battletoads is that 
I cannot tell you how good a player is on this team individually. Yeah. I cannot because I have not seen a 1v1 scenario yet. They are so good playing together that it is just a completely... I, I cannot... It's insane. Board here with Harzo. He's laying down some shots to the blue team, pushing up shotgun side. Trying to push up, up towards the 50-yard line. Not wanting to make any mistakes, though. I mean, every round is a fresh round. You got to be worrisome of that. Every time there's a new Seems round, like you Tender is the battle rifle guy. And and I love that they have these roles on this team. On one guy in the back just trying to put shots on blue team, keeping them back while the red team can push up and continually try to get a pinch going. It is just such a good strategy, and it seems to work out so well because I believe that right now Battletoads just closed out the series. But can Shay come back right now? He's playing the angle. Wow. He and the battle to secure the 2-0 sweep over Jumpman. Jumpman have another chance to lose this bracket. You know they're gonna be a force. They're gonna set ripples through that losers bracket. But good luck to them in the losers bracket. Battle Toads, congratulations! Oh my. How many assists do you think Battle Toads? That's got? insane. They they literally look like wow. That's you see that many assists in Team Arena. <laughs> this is breakout. This is three shot is enough to kill that is just insane that was some uh that was some good good games you are absolutely right about that facts i just cannot believe what we just witnessed wow team shooting it's huge, huge. The team shot, the team nades, the team positioning. If I have to, what I, I and I'm not going to try to speak early, but I think Battletoads is the best well-rounded team as far as communication and positioning in Breakout. Facts. From what I've seen so far. But my question is, is that going to be enough against the raw talent of a team such as, let me pull up the bracket, I forgot their name. <laughs> Yo, Prof, yeah. how you doing today? <laughs> so, Battletoads submit their ticket to the semifinals. They'll be going up against either Perfect Kills or Perito up next. Um, hit me up, King, Economy, Ska, and Orbin versus Perito, which is Dark Beetle, Hypothy, Devil, and Rockstar. Kakashi, are you in the chat? Do you have an update on that series? I know you're rough in that series because there were some hiccups there. Uh, the Cappers versus the Stray, Stray Kids on the other side of the bracket in the semifinals. I uh, wonder how that series is going as well. Uh, I guess we'll just wait for another series to be ready here uh, once we get some word back. Take a look at the loser's bracket. It looks like Jumpmen are going up against SMGs only, so that's Hate of Shea, uh, King Urban, and Leche going up against Debo Smokes, Desil, Nirvana, and R. Kyle B. Uh, we got Bad Kids, which is VIP is God, Subject Toad, and Money3MM going up against the Underdogs, Ceaseless, Last Shot, McLegs, and Ginger. We got the Lethal Stands looking to take on either Toco Toe Cake Going Ham or the the Jandrin Warlords. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Oh, man. I, I'm looking at this loser's bracket and genuinely think that any of these teams can pull out and win this series. I I, I think they could win the tournament. And, and that's crazy to me that this is the loser's bracket. And then I look at the winner's bracket and then I'm like, oh, okay. So I guess everything is just absolutely goaded. I cannot tell you who's going to win this tournament. All right, I'm back. My, oh my. So who is up next on the main stage? It is a great question because there are a few very very nice matchups i see the cappers versus stray kids in the semi-final winner bracket i also see a jump in and smgs only to me would be one of those games that would go to a game nine <clears throat> also looking at underdogs and bad kids there are just so many great games going on right now it's so hard to pick which ones 
gonna be on the main stage. Yo, Nick, thanks for the score report. Let me go ahead and update that. Burrito wins, okay. So, uh... Battletoads, if you guys want to invite us to your next series against Perito, we're ready for it. <clears throat> Damn, let's go, Anthony. Right in the middle of the tournament. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, that is a 1v1 I would actually love to see. So Battletoads versus Peritos in your winner's semifinals coming up next. Let me update the overlay there. This is actually going to be a best of five. Ooh. And this is the first time we're going to see Perito on the main stage. It's Dark Beetle, Hypethy, Devil Breaker, and Rockstar going against Battletoads. If you guys don't know who Battletoads was, well, they were the red team last series that was playing. And when I tell you that this is a team to be feared, it is almost as if it is four brains in one. They are just so good as far as chemistry. And I'm excited to see. Aparito is going to go against them. Uh, Kakashi, I see your whisper. He needs to find a replacement because we can't wait that long, unfortunately. <clears throat> we can't wait for one player, unfortunately. If you could just let him know, they need to find a replacement right now. Facts. It's freezing in my house. Gotta turn the heat up, my man. Oh. He freaking Gotta summer outside. Up. It's like this tournament's gonna keep turning the heat up because we got ourselves oh, crazy shit. matchups coming on. What a setup. What a setup. I love that. <laughs> yeah, Kakashi, I see the whispers, man. I don't know if you can hear me, but I was saying we can't really wait for one player. Can they find a sub? can't really wait half an hour because someone has to get pizza for their kids. I mean, we can, but, like, not really. <laughs> I mean, it's a tournament. <laughs> not really. Come on, it's milking, like... can't wait half an hour for one person. Can they find a sub, Kakashi? I mean, they sign up for this tournament knowing that they're going to be competing. Man, I signed up and I didn't think I was going to make it this far, but I got to go get pizza. All right, Pinexel, I need another invite. Oh, man. I, I just still cannot believe what we just watched, man. It's, it's one of those games that just have the lingering effect. Let's see if they stay hot this next, this next series. To keep the ball run, rolling, or uh, they uh, they shut down. Only one way to find out. Yo, sounds good, Nick. Alright guys, um, enough, uh, you know, toxicity towards each other, you know, keep it in the DMs, let's just keep the peace and prosperity in the DMs. We're coming out here to have some fun. Let's go, baby. Zucifer, how you doing today? What is up, everybody? Darkest Kills, thanks for coming out, hope you have a good tournament, everybody. We're going on here, board here with the semifinals.
What's going on here? I was just in the middle of a hardcore discussion with my cousin trying to send me a fantasy football trade. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Who's the player? Oh. He's trying to trade me Chris Carson. I just don't like him this year. Right. He's too injury prone and aired out more this year, and I'm still football's gonna be so weird this year. Like oh, it's gonna be so weird. It's so weird. Like players not playing, you know, as far as like it's that as far as fantasy, if say you have, you know, two players on, you know, Dallas Cowboys and you're playing the Eagles and somebody has COVID. They're going to shut down both teams, you know? So it's like you're in a handcuff position. It's like you're beat. It's going to be interesting this year. I have been keeping up with all the training camps and how the NFL is taking care of the whole COVID-19 situation. And simply enough, if you don't – if nobody has COVID, nobody can get COVID. And I think they're really trying to keep players and only the important people quarantined. Uh, And hopefully that works out this season. You think they're going to keep them in the bubble? You see, that's the hard part. It's it's so hard to figure out because they're doing everything they can do. That might not be enough. So I don't well, know. I so I think that's like the hard thing. Um, I hope it works out because, you know, I think we all need something to watch. Or we're all stuck in our houses. So hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna, sure we're going to fucking lose our minds. But I feel like even even that, like just the gameplay is going to be weird because, dude, the fans give the players, you know, that fucking like 10 second fucking, I got to win this game, you know, like the hype of it, you know, it's wild with no fans, you know, and no noise and all that stuff. It's just going to be weird. Wow. Yeah, I think they thought about like some way of adding fans to stadiums is the craziest thing they wanted to do speakers or something of that relevance and you can still pay for a seat and i guess you could, I, I'm not, I don't know how they're doing it but i guess they're gonna get like cheap speakers or something that you yeah. can connect I also heard to. The, like they're gonna sell tickets for people just strictly in the booths yeah, like, stuff like that, but but not like you know the normal fucking stadium seats. One one person every six seats will do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But let's get start back on track with this breakout journey. Like what we got here, let's get it going. Oh, absolutely! It is. Uh, you know, I'm not too mad because I did need a breather after what we just witnessed. Yes, I agree. And there is so many good games coming up as well. But, you know, as these games happen, you have to understand it takes a lot to get these going. It takes a lot of behind the scenes. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all the people regulating all the rules, making sure that uh, the series are all being kept track of to make sure the tournament goes as smoothly as possible because at the end of the day we want the viewers to enjoy every single part of this tournament to the best of its abilities Correct. we're just gonna go ahead we're just fixing a few things but i think we hopefully can get back into this in a little bit I'm actually kind of hungry. Five to ten minute wait. So we're just gonna wait it out, guys. Let's talk about life. How you guys enjoying uh, today's summer breakout? This is the sequel to Spring Breakout. How about this? Do you guys want the announcements? <laughs> Excuse me. Can we do the announcements, guys. Let's 
know in the chat. If type one in the chat if you guys want some announcements. Two if you want to see the battle toast take this one. Three for Parito. Four for Tonu. Five for Spartan Charge. Best pair. Six for Bandana. Yeah, dude. Man, has everybody enjoyed? Let us know in the chat if you guys are having a good time. Let's do the announcements. Huh? Barely hear me. I want to make sure everybody in the chat is having a good oh, time. My mic was enjoyed. muted. My bad, guys. Let's get some announcement hype in the chat if you guys want to hear the oh, announcement. I didn't hear what, I'm like, dude, what is Nat talking? I, mean, I think he was hearing me through someone else's mic. That's crazy. Guys, let us know in the chat if you want the announcements. One for the announcements. Two for uh, Battletoads. Three for Burrito. Four for Tone Nudes. Five to Spark Charge Beth Bear. Six to Ban Naf. Let us know in the chat. 69 for announcements. Let's get some hype, guys. Uh Absolutely. So, like, while you were talking, we were talking too. <laughs> we didn't. Yeah, know. we're talking about football. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised to hear you're relying on any of that. Uh, I can't wait to watch that in the VOD and see how dysfunctional it sounds. Right. <laughs> oh, good times. Well, we're back. We're hype. It's a good time. I think they're ready to go. But, guys, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look. We got two new tournaments you can sign up for at MidnightHalo.com. We got Jack of All Trades version 2, 2v2. We're going to include Fiesta and Breakout to the mix. So you can compete in 2v2 Breakout, 2v2 Fiesta, 2v2 Snipes, 2v2 Slayer, and 2v2 SWAT. All those game types are in the file share now. You can sign up at MidnightHalo.com. Click here to register. Uh, that's only one sub per duo, and if you scroll down, we got the second installment of the 1v1 trilogy of events. 1v1 Before Sunset is scheduled for September 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing them on a Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and also Jot is on uh, September 10th on a Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. We're trying something new, guys. We know Saturdays and Sundays are flooded with tournaments, so we're going to try our events on a Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, so we can see some midweek tourneys. Hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys sign up. <laughs> I'll just go over the exciting, posters real quick. News, nap times, <laughs> Thanks. There it is, guys. 1v1 before sunset right there before your eyes on the screen. That's happening September 24th, second installment. How do we register? MidnightHalo.com. Uh, just click on the links there. Uh, MidnightHalo.com if you want to sign up for these events. A gay turn time. That is so... Freaking exciting, man. You've been holding out this on me for so... Mm. I wish you told me about this sooner. Man. I was upset that you just, just had to surprise me like that. I can't believe you guys couldn't hear me, though. Whatever, guys. All right, guys, this is your yeah, semifinals. Uh, I'm going to switch the overlay real quick. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, w, facts. Who you guys got taking the series and advancing to the winner's finals? I got to tell you, I'm looking at what I saw last series from Battletoads and how much teamwork was involved in it, how much map positioning, so many strategies that you can't learn unless you put in the time. So I do not know if anybody will be able to attest these people, but if I had to put money on it, I would look at Perito with Dark Beetle, Hypethy, Devil Breaker, and Rockstar. This is a very 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 skilled team my worry is how are they going to go as right, far as Let's teamwork against the battle toes because i think that is what's going to separate this series all right guys let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this one one for the red team perito right. two for the battle toads one for the red team two for the blue team who do you guys got taking I'm this gonna one go with, uh, battle toads here you know i think uh battle toads they're just playing and look at the team right there. Look at that. Hey, it was crazy. One second. They always got that right starting strat on lock here. Buck Tanner with the perfect. Time with the DMR kill. They're up 3 1 right now. They just got to kill this one player on the DMR spawn. That is a strong start from the Battletoads, and we've seen this time and time again from the Battletoads. They are just the starting strat masters. Round two. No, it is, it's insane to me how quickly they set the tone. Because once again, we'll say this over and over, it is about momentum when it comes to breakout. And this is a team that is not afraid to meet you head on and tell you I am better than you. Wow. They are not afraid to make a Look statement early on. Just as we say that, Perito coming and swinging, Hypothy with a huge perfect. Look at this flank from Hypothy. And that could be the game right here. Oh, 2v1, can this Buck win this 2v1? 
from Perito. They understood the aggression that was coming out of Battletoads, and they wanted to respond by being passive and letting them make mistakes, which was shown right there. That was a beautiful counter yeah. by Perito, and we got ourselves Perito reading the room, and this is a squad. This is kind of the dark horse team of the tournament. I don't know too much about uh, this Perito squad, but they've come this far into the semifinals in this best of five against the Battletoads. Let's see if they can turn up. And potentially upset, I would say, the Battletoads, who just took down second place from the last tournament. Um, the Jumpman. I'm looking at Sign right now, dancing around, going over to mid at the flag spot to help his teammates close out this round three victory. And Axel with four kills and three assists. Let's go on board with him and see what he's doing. Round four. Oh, it looks like we're having a little hey. dance off here in the starting spawn by the Perito squad. That was so funny. Hi, <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> Going off their dance moves. I'm bored here with Penexel. Looking to take a little bit of a slow start here. Maybe looking for any flanks. Communicating to his teammate. Checking the bottom routes oh, under three. camo. And look at that. Battletoads just so good oh, at their dude. starting strats. They know how to close off flanks. They know how to set themselves up to make the call out and let their teammates know this is where they are. So we need to act on that. They're so good at covering all bases in breakout. Not to mention the team shot. Not to mention the team nades. I don't wow. know how to combat. <laughs> they try to stay alive here. <laughs> wow, Dipsy Doodle in his way. Bottom shotgun. Trying to stay alive and do so much, but not much you can do in a 1v4 situation against the likes of Battletoads, who aren't going to give you anything, any sort of wiggle room in a 1v4 situation. Exactly. I just... Oh, man. How are you going to find a way to break into this team? I don't know. I'm bored here with Harzo. This truly is a breakout team. They're breaking out right in front of us. Three on two. Level breaker with the camo. Might be huge here for the Burrito squad. Arzo going to spot him. Oh, but he gets called out. Can he get away from this if he can? It may be possible. Camo 1v3. Anything can happen in this situation. Battletoads chucking nades, trying to get a hit marker, trying to find out where he is. Is he going to go for it here? He gets one. Four it's on a 2v1 one. now. Oh, but he challenges too early and then Enemy gets taken out by Harzo. That was still a very phenomenal play. Alto, it's making slight work of this Perito squad. Let's go on board here and see what Devil Breaker has to offer. For the Perito squad, he's currently going... Got one kill right now. See what he can do. Oh, he is playing... The... I think he understood. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He literally just snuck into the enemy spawn right up the middle thinking the and understanding Victory. that he wouldn't be seen until last second but unfortunately that didn't work out and paddle toads once again showing their dominance showing that this is going to be the team to be in this tournament I feel like they didn't know how to play that map right there they were uh I will say this time, boy, time. Oh, their angles weren't you know really on point I, I, exactly it, it was and not just that i'll say this time and time again we need like somebody needs to find out how to combat the fact that this team is getting double digits in more assists than the other team battletoads had a collective 16 assists compared to perito's 2 is a team it is i can't i just don't that just works so good as a that unit yeah they're such a unit all for one one for all like we're looking at crossfire for game number two you guys want to go observer when you're ready my man no if Perito can come up with an answer to what Battletoads is doing. I, I just really, I think they just are going to have to let Battletoads make the mistakes. Hopefully come together and try to get their own team shot going. This is a best of five, so I mean, their lives aren't on the line here. And I just got word back on the other side of the semifinals that no pro Angels squad has beat the Cappers 3-1. Wow. Wow. Let's get serious. Whoa, wait a minute. Oof. Straight.
Stray Kids coming out of left field. That is going to be an interesting finals match in the winner's bracket. Who will we see come out of this series and go up against the Stray Kids in the winner's finals? That's exciting. I'm even more hyped. What is that punch? Like we're, we're running a tournament to right sign. now. This is the Midnight Halo Summer Breakout Punch. Thanks for coming out. Hope you're having a good Saturday. On board with Sign. He's got the BR over on BR it side of the map. Is not a map I would want to play Battletoads <laughs> in. They've already played this map once in the series. They have the strategies that work best for them. And look how quickly they collapse the other team. Oh my word. Dude, great job of playing their numbers and just pushing up together. And look, I mean, they just drop assists left, right, and center. After the first round in this uh, game right here, they've already dropped three assists. I mean, that means three of the four players that died last game were team took down. Crazy. I just, wow. The proof is in the pudding, man. It's This is not a game mode where you, it's not a game mode that can be won without a good team and having that teamwork aspect. You could be the best individual player, but you're not gonna do well against Upsetter, the team. thank you for the follow. All right, moving into round three right. here. On board here with the Prita squads. What can they do to shut down, get the first pick on the Battletoads here? Regulus, looking like he's gonna be picking up the BR. Let's see if he can get some shots into Panexel. He's pushing up. He gets some beautiful shots into Panexel and shuts down the shotgun push. Top three, Marine, top three. Hey, what's up, Ollie? How you doing today? Thanks for coming out. Seems that Battletoads tends to stick together with three of their people, but they always allow one to go for a lucky flank or maybe try to get some sort of weapon for position. Nice aid by and Regulus to weaken uh, the sign right there. Sign looking to challenge. Regulus takes him down. And can we see the Perino squad pulling on the board here? And we do. We won the round. I really can't tell what's happening. So Breakout is basically like SND from Call of Duty. You have one life per round. Uh, the first team to win five rounds wins the match uh, punch. And this is a Breakout, so they have to win three of five matches to advance. And we already did the announcement. If you guys want to check out the new tournaments and sign up for them, just type exclamation mark tourney in the chat. We announced uh, Jack of All Trades version 2, and we also announced another wow. 1v1 tournament. Crazy nade coming out of sign. I was, I, sign is the nade master from what we've seen so wow. far. And he's got a he's got a pretty good shot too. That is a breakout machine right there in the name sign. Round five. Buck Tenor with five kills. Regulus on the red team has five kills right now. Let's go on board with him. He's the one picking up the BR. He's gonna instantly look to the shotgun side of the map again. Looking for some cross map body shots. Weakening the push from the blue team. The battle toad, so aggressive, pushing up as a team constantly. And look at this. Going solo. Wow. Just every single kill I see on the feed has an arrow right next to it. Arzo with seven assists. Like, I mean, that last round even was just a perfect uh, exhibit of why their teamwork is just, you know. Really, the the story to their success. It reminds me of like you know cracking a turtle's shell, and what I mean by that is you wait to find a weakness. They're putting All shots three. in, and as soon as somebody's one shot, you know that they're calling him out, and then they're gonna push him to try to finish the kill, and it's rinse and repeat. And I don't know how you can combat that unless you that's can get match. the kill first, and that seems to be what comes out of this team is you cannot beat the momentum of Battle Toads unless you get the first kill. How you get the first kill is beyond me because this team is so good at positioning. I just don't know what to do about it. They aren't letting off forward. Exactly. They're letting me off the gas. They are fucking zooming right now. They said, y'all don't want the sauce. Hey, dude, I, I would not want that. I would tell you, if I saw the sign, I would close my eyes. <laughs> wow. Look at the accuracies coming out of the uh, blue team. The damage and the assists, eight assists out of Harzo. Wow. How are the Zoomers doing, McLegs? How are you guys doing in the losers bracket? Chill inside. Love to see it. Thanks for coming out, everybody. All the follows. How you checking doing? out the tournament. Abyss, thank you for the follow. Hope you guys are enjoying the summer breakout. This is our second breakout tournament. And uh, yeah, what a showing so far. Let's see what happens here in the semifinals. Whoever advances from this series will take on No Pro Angels team. Uh, the Stray Kids in the winner's finals. 
Uh, right now, up 2-0 in the series. We're going to start it with Whoa. a... <laughs> Guess I'll play. Let's get it. Green team. Where does the green team even spawn in Breakout? Brito going ahead and picking up me and Naptime to try to get an advantage and try to come back on the series. Let's see if we're worth the help. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. Um, amazing squad. Big legs. Mid map, it'd be toxic. <laughs> All right, Fax, let's see what you could do. Uh, look out for the green team here, guys. Yeah, you guys don't want Break no problems. I'm redeeming the, the one v one. <laughs> Mid turning again. Last shot. Congrats on your happy hour. Let's get an exclamation mark Texas in the chat, guys. Throw up 500 cap teams for a chance to win the whole pot. Let's see how big we can get it. Let's get a mid turning Texas. You guys got 500 cappuccinos. Throw them up for a chance to win the whole pot. Let's get it. Yeah, but you guys had a great first series, uh, McLegs, and uh, have proven yourselves as a uh, fierce contender for future tournaments. Oh, yeah. I will be looking out for that team, and I definitely see them making waves, and those waves are eventually going to turn into a tsunami for that team, and I have a lot of faith in them in the future. All right, I just advanced you there, Intergravity. Uh, we're still waiting on Jumpman versus SMGs. Does anyone have any knowing on that series? Um, Kyle, are you in the chat? Or King Urban? Are you guys playing out that series right now? Winner of that series goes up against Intergravity. All right, while we load into this next game, let's just take a look at the bracket here. And the loser's bracket. Who's going to be coming out of the loser's bracket? Not over. I mean, they're down to their last lives. But uh, let's see who comes out of it. Some tough teams in the loser's bracket. You got bad kids. VIP is God. And his team just took out the underdogs. You got the lethal stands going up against uh, the De Dejanrin warlords. We got Jumpman versus SMGs only. The cappers. Rather play 2.0. See what happens. I think the cappers are going to see Battletoad in the finals i'm calling that now that is my two cents once again i'm still unbiased as ever as a caster but from what i've seen and what i think i'm going to see i, I just think that that will be a game of the ages and Break i would up. love to see uh, it. Uh, smart attorney if you want to find out about more tournaments in the community i think it's going to be stray kids versus the all right guys let us know in the chat who's taking the series one for perito the red team two for the battle toads round one Who's coming out hot? Who's going up against the Stray Kids in the Winners Finals? Looking good though. The blue team, aka Battletoads, up 2-0 in the series. Let's see what the sign does off the rip here. I just love how oh, quickly they the high ground. run. It's a small map. You wouldn't oh, expect three. movement like this to start out, but they're just not afraid. Nice shots again. Them I out, mean, out there. Just when you think Sign isn't gonna get a kill, he's got a teammate helping to clean up the situation. It's gonna be Harzo. Oh, got a good flank on blue team though. Nice rock. kill from Harzo. He's he got four work. kills. He got an extinction. Wow. We should have stayed on board with Harzo that entire right. round. Let's let's stay on board with Harzo for this one. This does seem like his map, and I'm excited to see what he does this time around. Look at him flying out the gate with his team. That was a one movement from the whole team. If you guys oh and he's feeling it he got the extermination last game he wants more he's going for the perfection picks up the oh. shotgun and just killing spree blast the team into another dimension oh, but that he's nade forces him to back down and unfortunately Duel. takes out harzo making it 1v1 and this regulus is an interesting 1v1 because regulus i mean he's been the top uh player right now for the Pareto squad let's see Regulus versus Panex. Perfect kill. Oh, All right. Gets in between the, <laughs> the top mid. That was, I do not think that, I don't think he thought he could hit it from that angle, but he was able to move out a little bit and pick him off. It was unfortunate, but a huge win. If you guys want to play in Wazentel's 4v4 tournament, hit him up with the whispers. He said the entry fee is waived for tomorrow's tournament. Pot is 160 dollars. On board with Hypothy right here. What can the red team do to bounce back? Beautiful nade from Hypothy. Taken out by Buck Tender. Buck Tender. And Devil Bravery. Is that a Spartan charge on Pinexel? Oh, I wish I saw that. That looks insane. But Devil Breaker has some nice high ground right now. Trying to take out the sign. But now Buck goes there to help try to clean up. Makes it a 2v1. 
I could be enough. Hand. And a Perito Trade puts one on the board. To close out round three in on favor of Perito. Round four. Congrats on winning the Texas, Doughboy. boy. How you doing today? On board here with Dark Beetle as he pushes the left side of the map here. Look at them just trying to find out how to break into this turtle shell. <laughs> and they use that analogy again because all they do is just look for a weakness. And as soon as they find a weakness, my gosh, do they capitalize on it. And you're just waiting for the other team to make a mistake so you can end up pushing up and then make this game turn sideways very quickly. But Harzo gets a good shot on Dark Beetle. Devil Breaker cleans up Harzo. The sign gets a hit on Devil Breaker. Everybody's killing everybody, but the sign gets a double kill. Makes it a 3v1 to try to cut off the momentum from Perito and make the series three to one. Regulus almost got disrespected by the SMG, but unfortunately, the series is now three to one. I don't even know what I just said, man. I was all <laughs> over the place. I am on cloud nine. We were in the moment, three. Brother. Two more was in rounds the moment of for the battle toads to take this one. On board here with Pinexel. Getting some nades out. That was a nice nade. Almost connected with Dark Beetle there. Buck Tender gonna clean up Hypothy though. More on three. Nick gets the double kill. Buck Tender is loving his shots right now. Unfortunately, he gets taken out. Sure. It's a two v three. Regulus going for the. Oh man, that looked like quite the challenge from Regulus. Had no help from his team. Now a 1v3. Oh my gosh, the disrespect. Wow. wow. From Adam Battletoads are one round away from submitting their ticket to the winner's round finals six. against the Stray Kids. Let's give some love uh, over here and let's see if anyone on the Perio squad is going to shine here to keep their winner's bracket journey alive. It's not over for them as they will fall into the loser's bracket, pretty deep into the loser's bracket actually. <laughs> and they'll have to uh, go back to the drawing board, guys. And they need to carry the momentum because it is a 3v3 now. Unfortunately, Devil Breaker got picked off when he was alone, but that was a good name from Regulus, a good shot from Regulus. It is a 3v2 now. If you want to make a play, now's the time. There is everything on the line right now. This is their ticket to the finals. If they want to get it right now, they can, and they want it. Now we have a 2v2. Ooh, can Penexel win this handicap situation here to seal the deal? Move into the winner's finals here. And pushed up here. Trying to stay alive. He's being unpredictable. Actually, <laughs> quite aggressive. Oh. He's going to get taken out, though. Nowhere to go there. You're on the <laughs> As Perito Squad stays alive. Eight kills coming out of Regulus. He's shown us in this series. That's why he is, uh, I don't know. I guess why they've come so far. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know uh, how to rhyme with his name. <laughs> Regulus with a beautiful perfect. How you doing? Oh, nice kill coming at Dark Beetle. Four on two. Oh my, oh my, oh, it's like not over yet. The chopping block. They may have just found their stride. Ladies and gentlemen, anything can happen. And if they keep this momentum up, they could indeed go to a fourth series to then tie it and then potentially a fifth series to win it all. It is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. If they keep this momentum up, anything is possible. And this looks like a whole different burrito team. Watching Buck Tender right now in blue base. Hopefully they're not trying to get too comfortable here. Three on three. They have the advantage, oh, but they seal the deal. Three. And they're trying to get the cleanup here. Oh, that was a good need to force them out of bottom mid. They're able to get behind cover before Regulus can pick any of them out. But Devil Breaker takes out the sign, making it a 2v2. If they win this, it ties the series and then gives them potential. Oh no, the heartbreaking nade, nade there for Regulus. Devil Breaker, one oh. shot to losing this series. Buck trying to finish him off. He's staying alive. We got one minute left. Can Devil Breaker do to win this? What can he do? Because at this point, he's going to get flanked at some point, and here it comes. But he sees the flank. He goes for the 1v1. Now it's a 2v1. He's cornered. He doesn't know what to do here. Only has an S. <laughs> and a little victory. celebratory stick uh, from the blue team. Yo, George, how you doing today? We got the breakout, the summer breakout, and we just watched Battletoads 3-0 Sweet Perito and submit their ticket to the winner's finals.
Oops, I did not mean to click that. Stay in the lobby. I, it's facts. I have to ask you because you know we have seen you and I really analyzed the team play of this Battletoad team in the past two series. Uh, do you think anybody's going to be able to stop them in this tournament? The momentum they have right now, no. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it can easily you know. Tables can easily turn, you know. I'm so. very, very, very excited to see Stray Kids in the finals. Their first time on the main stage. It's No Pro Angel, Juan, 117S, Guardian Flies, and Highs Chamaco. This is a team. I think it's the team to the do it, though. In the semifinals, 3-1 to one in their series. And I got to tell you, I haven't seen them play yet, but I am excited to see how they fare against the Battle Toads. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for an amazing game coming up in the winner's final. Right, right, right. Battle Toads versus Stray Kids. Winner's finals of the summer breakout coming out. I'm joined by Dubby Dobbies and Fax. Thanks for coming out, guys. <clears throat> Can we get some shout outs in the chat for these men? Let's get it. Thanks for having us. Take a look at the break. You guys want to play some more then? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right now in the loser's bracket, we got Rather Play 2.0 going up against Jumpman. Exciting series right there. Winner of that series goes up against the Cappers. We got the Degenerate Warlords going up against Bad Kids. Uh, and after we update, we'll see that um, right here will be um, the Pareto Squad. After falling 3-0 to the Battletoads, looking dominant. I am. I think Stray Kids. I, I just cannot wait to see how this team does. I mean, this is a team that took out the Cappers three to one. As you guys can see, the two teams remaining in the I, winners I, bracket: Battletoads, Stray Kids. We haven't seen the Stray Kids yet. Um, look at that squad, though. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Let's see how they pair up against the Battletoads here. Another best. Uh, this is actually going to be a best of seven. Let's go. That's some serious breakout Holy content for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell, says Fax. He's excited. Oh, shit. <laughs> the Handrin. The Handrin. All right. Well, I never even seen that word in my life. Alejandro. Alejandro Fernando. Let's put on a little bit of music here while we wait. Oh, my gosh. Look at her While we set up the next lobby. I mean, oh man. If I'll ask you the same question as well while we're looking at the brackets, do you think that Stray Kids is going to have the answer that no team has had yet against Battletoads? Thanks, you want to answer that? <laughs> Just ask you. I oh, well, I got some stuff I gotta do. I don't got time. <laughs> Why put on a BRB screen? Don't ask me questions. Well, let's see here. You making a sandwich right now? What's going on? <laughs> I feel, you know, they're, uh, they're just holding forward and they're just hitting the shots. Perfect days out of something. I can tell you that much. Always. Barzo's laying down the damage. There you go. And then, uh, it really seems like they pinball off each other. I, uh... There's no way. Do you want to... Oh my gosh. Alright. I'm gonna read off the accuracy of the Battletoads last series. Penexel had 84% oh, accuracy. Shit. That was the lowest of the team. Right. Buck Tender had 94.6 accuracy. Arzo had 96.9. .9. The Sign had 97.9 accuracy. This is a team that hits their shots. And I think the reason why is because they do not challenge 
only win. So I, I, I just exactly it's it, it, when somebody's one shot you get the team shot going that's when one of them goes in and finishes the kill Let's see accuracy is broken in 1.0 okay good because i was about to report you guys <laughs> okay i'm glad it's bugged i was about to say that's yeah, <laughs> a JK, we don't miss. Oh, man. You guys, seriously, Panexo, you guys have been very fun to watch. I think a lot of people, uh, just from the team shot, the communication, the positioning, the nades, and everything, are definitely going to take away a lot from this tournament, watching, seeing all these strategies uh, that we've had the privilege of watching. And I do want to wish you guys luck in the winner's final. All right, I am going to go get a water. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I was just waiting for nap to stop milking. So, chat, do you guys think? You guys gonna go with Stray Kids or Battle Toads? All right, got some nice water. Oh, man, are we ready? Yep. Hmm, sorry for milking. Battle Toads, number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start the winner's finals we are going into Trident to start out the series. It is a best of seven. How long was my mic muted? Now Am we I have seen Battle Hello? I've been. Your mic is always. Oh my playing. God. Guys, let us know in the chat who is taking this one. Type one for the Stray Kids. That's the red team. Two for the Battle Toads. Toads that's the blue team. Let us know in the chat, guys. One for the red team. Two for the blue team. This is your winner's finals. Winner of this series is guaranteed a spot in the grand finals. Both these teams are in the top three and uh, guaranteed a piece of the prize pool. But who right is going to be guaranteed top series. two? Let's go. Who are we going on I board just, with first? Who is the player to watch out for here? I want to see Stray okay. Kids off the bat just because no we haven't let's seen see any of them yet. Got. No Pro Angel? No Pro Angel. All right, let's go for it. Because this is a team that... Be a three to you one. Those nades coming camera. out. Those GB breakout nades. It's Panexo versus No Pro Angel over on Hydra side. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is an aggressive team, but I'm not seeing a lot of team shots going on. It's a lot of individual skill. Ooh, 2v2 situation. Harzo going to secure a kill and make it a handicap situation in favor of the Battletoads. Last player alive is also never seen this battle one, one, play one, on this seven. map, I believe. So and some good shots, and he's gotta be careful of the flag here. Balto is trying to dictate the pace, use their numbers on taken out by Harzos is perfect, and they're gonna get round one of game number one. Round two. 
All right, round two. Let's start with someone on the blue team here. Let's go on board here with Buck Tender. He's going to be making his way over to the flag side of the map here. Like there's a split from the red team. Buck Tender with a nice... Look at that nade! He knows the nades. Oh, man. Gonna finish that. And finish. He does get a trade oh, here. We got a 3v3 go. here in round three. two. It's just so fast paced now. Sign getting a perfect on one, making this a 2v3 in favor of solo. the... Wait, and again, we're seeing the Battletoads on top, and they wipe the entire uh, Stray Kids squad, and they're up 2-0 now. Battletoads spring jump 100% of their jumps. Round three. That's because they're a bunch of toads. The goaded toads. I'm on board here with Guardian Flies, making his way over to Hydra's side of the map. Gonna be him versus Buck Tender. He's throwing a juicy nade, but Buck Tender oh. throwing us time and time again. Why his nades are better. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. This. Give me one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. But Juan gets the double kill, makes it a 2v1. Can this be oh. a 4 Juan got three members on the Battletoad squad. Why? He's got. Have too fast to cast. What? Round four. Too World fast to cast just is right. <laughs> Even Let's go on board with Juan. I mean, he just got three kills last round. Let's watch him. Juan is definitely going to try to carry that momentum, but falls right into a nade and a headshot. Uh, Makes it a turn. throw. My gosh, it happened again. It's a 4v1 in the first five seconds of the game. Guardian trying to do what he can to stay alive. Buck Tenner get to shut him down. Wow. 4-0 coming out hot. The Battletoads are showing time and time again why their the breakout is their playground. It's their backyard, and they're taking this tournament if they can keep this momentum, guys. <laughs> it's not over yet. Still early. It's only winners finals, but I mean, if they're playing like this, they're the team to beat. They're a 100% no team to beat, and I, I just genuinely think when it comes down to it, you could have the most stacked team in 2020, but against a team that has played this much together in breakout i don't know if that's enough because the teamwork it doesn't matter how good you are you cannot win a 1v3 a 1v2 can't push if you're one shot and it's just so many variables that battletoad is so good in capitalizing on i just do not know if there is an answer let's get a big juicy winners finals texas in the chat guys if you guys got five hundred cappuccinos throw them up for a chance to win the whole pot just a reminder for anyone new tuning in you get 10 cappuccinos for every minute in this, you spend in the stream. If you place in the top three at the end of the month, you win a prize from the merch store. It might take three months, but you'll get it eventually. Good <laughs> <laughs> mm, damn. Get some nap time cap is in the chat. Buck Tender going 8 2 there. <laughs> Popping off. Oh, sorry. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Battletoads only got, got nine assists last game. That's uh, that's a little under their normal quote. That's low for them. That's <laughs> and what team is like, going to be coming out swinging out of the losers bracket one. to meet one of these two teams? Whoever comes out of this series dances into the grand finals. Let's go on board here with uh, someone from the Stray Squad squad. Uh, who are we trying to watch? Stray Kid Squad. Did I say Stray Squad squad? <laughs> All right. Let's it's getting one. hot in here. <laughs> Gameplay's hot. The room is hot. Let's get it, baby. This is the summer breakout. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, just as hot as summer is in Florida, this gameplay is absolutely insane. The nades are flying. The people are flying. The electricity is in the air in the wow. winner's final. Oh, my. A tender throwing 41 a off the bat. Holy majority. <laughs> I just don't know. And look at him. Literally just disrespected the other team right there. No room for growth whatsoever. They just pushed. That was just a, that was a statement. From Battletoads saying it is oh my and some chance in the chat for the Battletoads. Wow. They are the starting strat breakout masters here. Three on three. Guardian with a huge perfect. Oh, whenever I respawn, I chuck a nade. 
it never hits. And I and and, and these guys perfect. Wow, Guardian flies, turn it up, and look at that! The stray kids take one from the battle toads. They take round two. Let's get it popping. Let's get this momentum. Let's get it. Round three. All right, looks like we're starting off with Buck Tender. See what he wants to do. Is he going to be the one to stop the potential momentum from Stray Flies? Let's see what he goes ahead and does. Going to push House, but he's looking over at mid. Wow. Don't want to commit to health just yet. Wow. Oh. I just blinked, and all of a sudden, Guardian Flies is the last man standing for the Stray Kids. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> getting that perfect on Vanexel before getting taken out. 2-1 lead in game two in favor of the Battletoads. Round four. Oh man. Let's watch a little no pro yeah, angel. Let's see what he does off the rip. Pro angel going for it. Going for a bot. Oh man, look at him trying to push mid. I don't know if that'll work out though, because you do know. Oh man, they are. Three on two. I want to say they're doing something, but. <laughs> <laughs> Best. I can't out. keep up. It's Breakout happening. turns are hard to cast. Um, the play-by-play. -play. It's so hard to cast. You just have to it's fast. Talk. Especially oh, off fun. the rip of every round. So much is happening. And for breakfast, I had eggs. And oh my gosh, the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> On board here with Harzo as he pushes house side of the map. Gets some shots into Heiz. Heiz nading the river. Harzo with a nice nade onto their nade spot. This is a lot more of a slow start no compared to the yet. other games that have been going on. And you wonder, is it because the series is now 2-2, two to two, this seems to be a completely different Stray Kids right now. Because I feel like they're starting to get in their stride against this team. You guys can type exclamation mark K to see how many cappuccinos you got. If you place in the top three, you win some prizes. And look at this! No exchanges off the rip. Penexel opening up what with a perfect an though. Juan returning the favor onto Buck Tender. He's in a 3v3, wow. now looking at mid. Three on two. Oh, and gets the good flank on Harzo, but he didn't. Oh, he did finish it. Two on two. Made it a 2v2. We got one minute left. Oh, he's looking for more now. Got some shots on Pinnixel. Now going back in the house, playing it safe, waiting for the enemy team to make a mistake. Going solo. Guardian Flies gets a great nade on the sign. This might be it. This might be the momentum changer. If they can take out the next one right here. The they round. have just gained the lead in the series. Wow. Stray Kids getting in their stride against Battletoads. And they shut them down on this game too here. I have the series potentially. It is a best of seven, so it's still early in the series. I mean... Plenty of time. Plenty of time. This squad is fearsome. We see no Pro Angel in a lot of tournaments... You know, they're, they're, they're on the drawing board right now, and they're adapting to this Battletoads roster. Maybe they're thinking, if we can just stay alive from the starting strategies of Battletoads in their experience, slow it down, let them play our game and dictate the pace, they might have a chance here, and they're up 3-2 in this round. You are absolutely right about that, Nap, because when you wow, look, look at, this. at how slow they are playing starting out now, I don't know if Battle Toads can combat this because they're not hitting the nades. They're not able to push because they are not getting the proper getting angles the now that Stray Kids is playing it slow. So a Guardian Flies is going to be picking that BR. Checking for any pushes on the right side. It's going to be Penexel potentially throwing some grenades. I can already tell that Stray Kids is definitely getting the respect they deserve from Battletoads. They are starting to take them a little more serious nice. and huge trying to make a little play. less aggressive mistakes. Juan making a huge play through house there to get a pick and tie up this round. And the cleanup on Penexel, and wow. This could be it. Harzo dies, and there you have it. They tie up the series, the Stray Kids. Oh, there we oh go. There my. We go. we got what a series did we here. Let's get Stray it. Kids. Started off the second series getting blown out the first two rounds, only to come back five rounds in a row. And then look at this. Look at the assists. Look at the kills from Juan going 11 and 5. This is a different team, guys. I do not know what I just witnessed. 11 kills out of Juan right there. Wow. We got a 1-1 series on our hands in the winner's finals. I'll be right back, guys. I just got to warm up some food. Once they enable observers, if you guys want to take it away, feel free. Yeah, no problem at Thank all. Thank you. Man. I appreciate it. You guys are doing a great job. Of course. Of course. 
Oh, I appreciate you, Nap. Couldn't do it without you, though. You're the mastermind behind all of this. No, no, no. Faxes. <laughs> it's all <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> I'll be your bet. Take it away, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. All right, all right. Wait, before you guys take it away, oh let us God, know in the chat who is taking this one. Now that we have a 1 1 series, type 1 for the red team, the Stray Kids. Type 2 for Battletoads. Let us know in the chat. I, oh, man. So I, I had so, you know, I normally don't put all my eggs in one basket, but when I saw what Battletoads was doing leading up to this winner's final, I did not think anything would come close to stopping this team. But I cannot. A little, little shutdown, man. A little shutdown. I, I straight kid came out of Let's nowhere. See. I thought it was going to be a sweep. And then Straight Kids comes back and just found their stride against this team. And we officially have a series. I think both of these teams have earned each other's respect. And it is going to be the sweatiest breakout play you have ever seen in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to continue the series? Work together and we'll take this. Go, go, go. Starting off with Buck Tender. He's going to go ahead... Fucking nades with everybody around going for the call outs. The team's a little split right now. We're on three. I think they're waiting patient, but oh man, Harden thinks I want. Oh, we have a 3v3 now. Perfect kill. Bug Tender gets the perfect on Guardian flies. Now a 3v2, and they are going to now go for the pinch. 2v1 though, after the trade. Notice how they are taking their time here. He is with the sign. And they have all of the momentum possible. He picks up the Hydro Launcher. And the only thing that, the only way I can see Highs getting out of this is with the camo, which he does have. Highs does, in fact, have the camo. And we're going to see if he can make any play with this. It is yeah, about to run out. And I'm pretty sure that Battletoads knew he had a camo and wanted to wait for him, his camo, to die out. That is a very smart strategy. Why push and risk it when you don't have to? Oh. And then they take out highs with the scatter shot. I think he waited too long. That was a smart play by Battletoads, taking their time, understanding they have the momentum. It was a 2v1, and they did everything right. We're back on Buck Tender once again, now pushing bottom mid, trying to see if he can get a good flank on Stray Kids. Picks up the scatter shot. This is looking kind of dangerous. 3v3. But Battletoads gets behind him. But Tender gets one kill. Oh, man. He can clean house right now if he wanted to. They have no idea where he is. Gets the one-on-one -on -one right now. Takes out the scatter shot. But no one gets the reversal. Three shot on Buck. Making the series one-to-one. -one. What am I witnessing right now? Oh, my gosh. Facts. I just don't know, man. This is... This is a crazy game, you know? Like, these guys are all over the place. But, oh, oh, man. It's like we're on the sign on now. Three. Sign does get a hit marker. Harzo cleans up that kill. Now, 1v1, but Buck Tender ends up taking out No Pro Angel, and the sign gets taken out by No Pro Angel. So oh. that's where the team help comes into effect. If One Buck drop. wasn't there to clean up that kill, it would have been a bad momentum sweep, and that's what this team thrives in, is those team Round shots, four. helping each other finish kills and overall communication to get the dub. Now starting with Penexel. Penexel going straight for gold, going to push left side. He isn't waiting for his team. He's going straight for the positioning, but gets called out. Is he going to get challenged? No Pro Angel goes for the challenge. And wins it, ends up making this a 4v1 with camo in No Pro Angel's hand. Oh man, that was a great series from Stray Kids, making this now 2 to 2. 2 2 here. This is legit. Yeah, I'm just going to eat. Um, you guys tell me what POV you want, I'll switch to it. Looking at Harzo right now. Harzo going up top towards flag spawn, seeing if he can get some early shots in for his team to capitalize on. And you got to understand that this team is communicating the whole time. I wish I could be in that chat room to hear what they're saying because this is a fast-paced game, fast-paced callouts where any mo any small mistake can be the difference of a game. And here we go again. No Pro Angel getting the assist. 
finishing off Puck Tender now up three to two on right. Battle Toads. This is a different team here. This is a completely different team. Starting off with Penexel, and Penexel is going once again away to left side, away from his team, trying to see if he can get some shots off. But he's being patient because of those grenades. He doesn't want to fall on one of them. Harzo takes out Guardian. Guardian takes out Harzo on a reversal. Buck Tender gets the perfect on No Pro Angel, making the series three to two. Now three to one. But he has camo in hand at this point. That is a chalk game as Penexel bashes Stray Kids and now makes the score three to three. Round seven. Coming into round seven now, starting off with Harzo, and Harzo is one of those guys that can be the difference maker in a game. He has the ability to team shoot. He has the ability to finish the kill. This is a man who I believe can get an extermination in a breakout game because he knows how to play the field. But now, Stray Kids managed to get Camel but couldn't get away, so that's a burnt Camel uh, after Penexo took out No Pro Angel. Now making it 4v2, and at this point, it is a 4v1, and this round is going to the Battle Toads, 4-3 to in the series. Now, once again, literally anybody's game. Chat, are you not entertained by what is going on right now? Starting off with Juan, going to show him some love and see what he can do in the spotlight. Goes for a early nade to try to catch one off guard and immediately pushes Sage aggressively and Penexa was not ready for that. He did not expect that much aggression, but one does get picked off, makes this a 1v3 and then once again Battletoads takes the series and the series overall is now 2-2-1. Two, two, that was an absolutely crazy down, back and forth I, oh my gosh, Max! What happened there? I don't know. I think they, you know, they had their momentum and then they just they froze. They froze up. You know, they tried pushing too, too fast, too quickly, and they were just getting shut down by you know the entire team. I it's about to better like, myself. I, I there think... was too many two v ones, three v ones, and you know they weren't. They weren't coming on top. Juan, no pro angel. They were just getting shut down. I think that is the beauty of breakout is one strategy is not enough. You find a way to counter the other team, but you have to be able to react quick because what you're doing will not always work. And I think Battletoads saw what Stray Kids were starting to do and found a great way to counter that with their own positioning. And that is what breakout is about is who can outplay their other team the quickest. It's not just about one strategy. It's about collectively the whole game and what you can do with your team in the allotted time. I am sweating. I am on the edge of my seat. Legend this is crazy. Dairy. Breakout. Y'all love to see it. <laughs> <clears throat> Matt Bear, thank you for the tier three, baby. Let's move into this next series. Guys, I'm just eating. Uh, I'm joined by the wonderful Dubby Dobbies and No Shot Kid. They're casting this series here, uh, allowing me to have that opportunity to eat. Honestly, so amazing. Uh, yeah, this has been quite the series so far. Um, Battletoads regain the lead in the series. They're up 2-1 now, so let me edit the overlay there. Uh, let us know in the chat who you guys want to win this series or who do you think is going to win this series? Type 1 for the Stray Kids. That's the team in red. Type 2 for the Battletoads, who just took that last game to go up 2-1 in the series. 1 for the red team. 2 for the blue team. Who you guys got taking this one? McLegs, who's taking this one? Who the fuck? <laughs> All right. Uh, take it away with the casting. I'm going to eat some food. I just think when it comes down to these two teams, Stray Kid seems like the type of team that builds off of momentum and finds a way to kick your teeth in once they get going. But Battletoads, they have the strategies, they have the know-how to make the right plays in the right situations and cut off that momentum. But at the Round same one. time, Stray Kids has that ability from what we've seen to then counter that. 
and it's just gonna be a constant back and forth. I cannot tell you who is gonna win at this point. I don't know. This is, Starting a, off this with is a battle tender. map. I don't think they lost a single match on this fucking in, in you are right about series. That. Max, you are completely right about that. Battletoads does seem to do very well on this map. It is now 3v3 after the sign takes out Juan. Buck Tender takes out No Pro Angel, making this a 3v2. And this is a map where there's a lot of places you can hide. There's a lot of places you can position yourself. And you do not want to get caught off guard and break out. But Buck Tender takes out highs, as I was saying that. Making it a 3v1, going on to Harzo now. Looking over there, trying to get the call out, trying to get the flag. And then pinching Guardian flies to close out the first round. Making the round oh, yeah, series one to one. Man, my round tongue's two. just getting tied, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting off with Pinexel now, and I don't know why I just love saying Pinexel going for it all. Starting off with Pinexel picking up the battle rifle, he chooses the Magnum instead, which is a very interesting play from him. I wonder what that's going to lead to. But high six out Harzo, one takes out the side, Buck Tander takes out one, making this a 2v3. Pinexel still has good positioning though to make the play after 1v2 and he is one shot. He's not going to commit to it though. He's instead playing for his life, playing it safe. And then oh, now, caught off guard. I'm ready to I'm ready to join back in here. 1v1 Pinexel versus no pro angel top mid. Back who's winning this 1v1 right here. Pinexel all day. Oh, Pinexel oh. worried. Pro angel pushing with the DMR. This Pinexel having his back pocket. He's still got the trusty SMG. And look at this play. <clears throat> we got oh my god, I almost left. lost my voice there. I got the food in my mouth. <laughs> All right. Whoa! All day! <laughs> Pinexel for the Battletoads is going to seal that round two of game number four. We have a little bit of bias. <laughs> Biasness on the casting couch right now, but there is no shame in that when you are watching people like the battle great players, all great fantastic players just, just a little hype let's get a little hype let's get a little hype in here Bax, who are we jumping on board with here oh um i'm gonna go Juan right okay. here got a 1v1 situation takes out harzo for the double kill it's like Bax has he knows how to pick the right players because that just started off a it just it's it's so crazy the domino effect in breakout against two good teams because it's you you know it's a lot less time now as soon as one person's dead you just the kill feed just starts going off there's no time being wasted right now oh we're on three harzo takes out one no pro takes out harzo buck tender takes out no pro guardian perfects the time you look at the kill feed and just realize the back and forth that these teams are doing right now. Just being be able to clean up. We do have a 2v1. Buck Tender now. Please, it calls him out. He doesn't have to challenge because now he knows his teammate, Penexel, can go for the flank and finish this out. He is about to get pinched if he doesn't make any move. But Guardian flies. Falls right into the nade off the flank. Now making the series three, two, one. Ready, I hope you had a great oh, wow. tournament. Brown merch, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming out. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, currently leading the series, it's the Battletoads 2-1, and they're leading this game 3-1, led by Butt Tender with the six kills. We're on three. Oh man, Herzo gets one, Guardian gets Buck Tender, the sign gets Guardian though. You notice you look at the kill feed, every kill comes with a price, and I feel like what wins these games are being able to kill without getting killed. Because as soon as you push out for the challenge, you are called out and immediately focused on, and that's what separates a good team from a great team in Breakout. We now have a 1v1, the sign versus no pro angel wants to come back and build momentum for his team to try to come back on this series. Oh, he gets the One shots. Huge win no for no pro angel there. They want to win this game. They don't want to go down 3-1 in the series and then have to, you know, only play with one life left in the winner's finals here. They want to win this game. Go into game five with a 2-2 series. 
ULMM said it perfectly in the chat. The Toads have great teamwork, and you do have to put respect on it because this is a team that builds off of each other and knows how to capitalize off each other. And then just a privilege to watch in this amazing tournament. Pinexo gets the pickoff on highs. Chama Co. Guardian flies, gets buck tender, but then. On oh, man. Yo, Intergravity, if you just can, uh, you know, stop tacking some of the players, dude. I appreciate it, man. I understand you're frustrated from the tournament today, but you don't need to say that, dude. Round seven. <clears throat> just keep the priest and prosperity in check. Facts. Let's put him down once and for all. Starting off with the sign here. Let's see what he can do with these nades. And immediately trying to go for higher ground wants to get a good Ooh. oh but then gets the trade Real and that good. is a trade from no pro and the sign making it a 3v3 buck tender though catches guardian off two on two. oh solo. my reversal that was One the best two. case scenario that was an impressive trade now making That's this a match. 2v1 Victory. harizo closes it out perfecting highs to make it five to two and winning the third series of the... I don't think you would say third game of the series. <laughs> no, it would actually be the fourth like... game. But like, those are games, but, like, not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was the fourth game of the series. All right, one in the chat to ban now. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Veronica? Everybody tune in. Herzo, Harzo. <laughs> Adios, what is going on, everybody? Thanks for coming out. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. It's hot in this summer breakout. <clears throat> Interested to see the next pronunciation. <laughs> what? I haven't really been paying attention. I was eating some food. Are you pronouncing Harzo in different ways? Harzo? Harzo? Harzo. Harzo. Harizo. <laughs> Fun fact. I just saw the sign it's in the Spartan Company Taken, which I believe Evisceral is the owner oh, of. Interesting. How about that? What's up, Tyler? Hope you're having a good Saturday, man. Thanks for coming out. Whew, it's getting hot here, guys. I'm going to turn on the AC. If you guys want to keep casting, you guys are doing a wonderful job. You guys mind if I turn on the AC just to cool down this room a bit? Well, go do what you, oh, you guys do. You guys do a great job. Oh, stop it. Appreciate it. Oh, facts, man. I just... It's just... What are the... what? what are, is there any actual fact in this, in this matchup? Is there any truth... In this matchup, because I just cannot figure out how these teams are managing to combat each other's strategies constantly. Um, I don't know, brother. I feel like the team shots are the only, or the, the team with the most team shots. Break out. Positions Let's get serious. We'll come up on top. That is one thing we have noticed. The more assists I see at the end of the game tends to go to the winning team, which makes it interesting. We are now round starting one. in trench for the fourth round of the series. Not to forget, Battletoads are up three to one. So if Battletoads wins this series, they are going to close out the winner's finals. So everything is on the line for Stray Kids. Now is the time or never to come back and make a name for themselves in this tournament. Go big or go home. With Buck Tender now. Buck Tender getting a good, oh man, getting challenged, throws a plasma grenade. Now he's dancing over to middle, trying to get the flank. Oh, but he saw right through that. What is going on between No Pro and Buck Tender? They want to see each other die, but No Pro ends up getting help. Oh, Buck Tender disrespecting. That's no oh, man. He's trying to get in Stray Kid's head. Let's see how Stray Kids respond to that starting off with the sign. Now, this is a man that knows how to chuck nades better than anybody I've ever seen in Breakout. He gets called out. He's about to get challenged a 2v1. He's, he's got to get away. He's in a bad spot right now. He's just ducking and heaving. Bug Tender helps him out, though. Takes out one, and now it is a 3v1. Oh man, and now Battletoads looks like they're gonna start off this series two to one to potentially close out the winner's finals. Uh, enemy scored. That round's a loss. I just, wow. That is the end of round two. This looks like it might be getting out of hand. 
unless Stray Kids can come up with something. We're gonna start off with Heist Tamako looking for any answer against the Battletoads. Goes for a nade across the map, seeing if he can get a hit marker to call out his teammates for. Ends up taking out Buck Tim. That was an amazing cross map. Making the. Oh! Oh, it was over before it started. That is a momentum shift for Stray Kid. If they can they keep this keep up, going. we might be looking at a series. Ladies and gentlemen, are you not entertained? We are starting with Pinexel looking straight at the flat cap, trying to go for an early pickoff to keep this momentum from stopping. Oh my gosh, Pinexel is just trying to come up with any answer against stray kids in that win last time but no pro gets the nade on harzo making it 3v4 now and Pinexo understands that he is in a rock and a hard play situation the whole team knows where he is so he has oh, no choice to go for the oh, flank so and then get spartan charge i won this is a series Round five. I just, oh, this, is, I, I, this next round, I might just have to, we are on Penexel now. I need to calm down before I, I am about to absolutely lose it because this is some real gameplay right here. Penexel gets Four taken three. out by Hyde on a god nade. Let's see what Juan can do here. I'm looking at Juan. Juan's going, he gets help, gets the distraction. Oh. Round. And round five goes to Stray Kids. This is exactly what I was talking about. Round you six. cannot let Stray Kids get momentum because once they stop, you cannot stop them. It's a completely different team once they start getting into stride. Oh, looks like we're starting off with Harzo. I just had to take a sip of water before I would pass out. Harzo trying to get some early shots in towards the back. Trying to play for positioning right now. It's 4v3. So there's no reason why he has to push out hard right now. He's going to wait for Stray Kids to make the mistake and make the push right here. Juan goes for it all. And uh -huh. he gets taken out by Pinexo. Harzo has that help. Now a 4v1. And this looks like an easy win for Battletoads. Around to remember. Oh man, this it's now three, two, three. Once again, everything right, on the line for Stray Kids. They have to win this series to keep their dreams alive in the winners' finals, or else they will be put in the losers bracket to have to fight their way back up. It's all or nothing right here. Harzo going for a top position to try to oh man, he's going for the heads right now. He told his team, he said, Look, guys, look, I'm gonna go ahead and and try to just pick off everybody I can. And when I tell you to finish them off, you finish them off. Because, oh, he's going for the teabag. He might know he's getting looked at right now. And he is having so much faith in his oh, shot right now. This is it. Stray Kids might be able to capitalize on this. Harzo understands the severity of the situation and is pushing back. Gets the perfect on highs, but couldn't get away from no pro angel. It is now a 2v1, and it is a round seven victory for Stray Kids. If Stray Kids can win this next game, they will be still in the race to win the winner's final. This could be it right here for this series. Let's see what they do oh, I'm looking at no pro angel right now but I'm gonna switch over to Harzo because Harzo has some good positioning right now you're looking at the enemy team right now and I don't think that they're gonna find a way to oh wait a minute that nade just gave away his positioning so he had to move away and they get taken out by one going over to no pro angel right now and no pro Going over for the Real shotgun. Three. He wants to be able to flank with that and make a big play for his team. It's a 3v3. And he knows if he gets pushed right now, it's an automatic kill for him. But the enemy team knows he has a shotgun, so they're not going to challenge. 
It's a 3v3. And I got to tell you, these teams are playing so safe right now. They are waiting for any yeah, mistake to left. capitalize on. And it is electrifying. I can't even imagine what's going on in these chats. What is going to happen? It is the 3v3 now. But three. Tender takes out No Pro, makes it a 3v2. Looking over at the sign now, has good positioning to try to pick off one more stray kid and then maybe take away this series. Solo, solo. Bug Tanner takes out one. And ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at a game nine for this series. If Stray Kids does not win, then this will go to Battle Toads. This could potentially close out the winner's finals. Ladies and gentlemen, Panexel is going to start this out for us. Everything is on the line right now. All or nothing. Can Stray Kids pull it out and make something happen with their back against the wall? We will see. They are just playing so slow. This is game nine tactics right here. You are not going to be as aggressive as you were before. I just do not know if any of these teams are going to make any mistake right now. But Buck Tanner takes out one. Oh, that is in favor of Battletoads. Four to three now. Guardian Flies is looking to make something happen. But I don't know if he can. It is 3v4. He is now being targeted by the team. And then, Yo, oh the no. It looks like the sign is going for a flank. Going for the flat cap. Pinexel. No. Oh. Misses the bash. Oh. It's now 2v2. Pinexel ended up choking that Harzo. A 2v1. Can he make it happen? Hey. Harzo gets taken yeah. out. It's a 1v1 for Sign and Hans. What is going to happen right here in game nine? 1v1. Hans is almost taken out by the Sign. What is going oh, to happen? Oh my gosh, this is intense. Playing thriller. Oh, oh this game. Wow, he just stayed alive with that 1v1 in the series. Are you kidding me? Oh what a way to end the series. Battle Toads. What have I just witnessed? Uh, I think Andrew lost his voice. Wow. Bright red. Highs just saved themselves and put another one on the board for them oh in the my. series. Dubby, I could tell the excitement in your voice. Wow. That was insane, dude. Facts. I think I heard you squeal over there. <laughs> I said, holy shit, about to go down. And we're going to be seeing a game six, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm excited. 3 2 series lead right now in favor of the Battletoads. Dubby, thank you for casting that one with facts. I'm back. I just had to cool down the room a little bit. It's hot, hot summer day for uh, summer breakout. Woo! Damn, the series isn't over, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing a game six on altitude. Oh my gosh. I think I on it. Wait, I was too hyped to see what I was saying, and I thought that was Battletoads. That no, won no, that no, one. no. <laughs> it was Stray Kids, and that is the Cinderella story that we are here for today in this breakout tournament. Stray Kids staying alive in the winner's final. Ladies and gentlemen, we are headed to game six. Uh, just go observe it when you're ready, Dubby. Yeah, that was insane. High is literally staying alive for his team in this series. That round nine, 1v1 situation. Man, you got to feel for Harzo. Had he got that kill, they would have advanced to the grand finals. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Insane. Yo, Armory, thanks for the one bit, man. How's everybody doing? Sir Bandos, I see you in the chat. Ventum, Cootie, uh, Arm Beast, everybody coming out. Hope you're having a wonderful you day. Doing? 1001, thank you for the follow. Let's go. Uh, looks like Buck Tender's going to go yellow. He's like, holy shit, I need a breather, man. I thought we had that one. <laughs> we all need a breather after that one, man. I need a shower after this, if I'm being honest, because that was just an intense. <laughs> oh, that was the most intense game nine you could have. Definitely uh, getting our entertainment here. Uh, guys, this is the winner's finals. Both these teams are guaranteed top three. Whoever wins this series... Uh, advances to the grand finals is guaranteed top two and is going to play whoever comes out of the loser's bracket. While we're waiting for Buck Tender and the Battletoads, let's take a look at the bracket so far. So if we're taking a look a, uh, at the bottom half of the bracket, the loser side, it's the Cappers currently going up against Jumpman. So that's Guns, Dallas, Snipe, Kells, and Riggy the Rod going up against Hative, Shea, King Urban, and Lech. 
uh, not on the main stage here. We got Perito and Culcho, uh, Dark Beetle, Hypothy, Devil Breaker, and Rockstar currently going up against Bad Kids, which is VIP is God, Subject Toad, Chillin', and Money 3MM. Yo, thanks for all the biddies, Armory. I appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <clears throat> Uh, we'll see what looks like. Go, here we go. To altitude for game six in the winner's final if series. Now, hopefully, you have finished your food. My will. friend, we are in for a show. They're going to come out on fire, shooting bodies. It's going to be a great game. <laughs> uh, no, apparently, oh, yeah, that series right? is over. Uh, King Urban just updated us. They advanced to the loser semifinals. They're taking on either Perito or Bad Kids. Breakout. And the winner of that series will go up against one of the losers of the series we're watching currently on the mainstream here. Stray Kids, can they tie up the series with a win here? Or the Battletoads send them into the losers bracket? Let's hear it in the chat, guys. One for the Stray Kids, the red team. Two for the Battletoads. One for Guardian Flies, Haiz, Juan, and No Pro Angel. Two for Buck Tender, Harzo, Pinexel, and Sign, aka the Battletoads. Let's get some hype in the chat. Who do you guys got taking this one? I just, you know, I Buck Toads. I am not seeing them play toads? pissed off yet. It, something tells me. That's a round. <laughs> <That was Wow. laughs> All right, guys. Wow. Type two for the butt toads. They're gonna take that round one here in this game six. I, I, the battle toads. I'm not seeing them play pissed off. I think after that last series, these guys are gonna be playing with a vengeance and not taking Stray Kids lightly whatsoever. Oh, Buck Tender's in trouble, he's gonna get taken out, and now it's the three. red team, aka the Stray Kids that can play the numbers game. Arzo also taken out, they have a 4-2 situation. Can they tie up this game right here with a 1-1 by winning this round? It looks like they are 4-1 right now. All they gotta do is run that flag home. That's a round to remember. <clears throat> It's like we are one to one. I, we might be seeing another game nine. The way these teams are just playing back and forth, and I do not know if my heart is ready for that. <laughs> On board here with Pinexel as he makes his way over to the left side of the map. Oh, goes for the nade instead of the shots, but does manage to get behind cover. Now waits for his teammates to help bail him out. Goes over to mid now. <gasps> Oh, I thought he fell off a cliff. <laughs> I honestly thought wow. he did. Toes are breakout knowledge. Oh, Tender with I a know, nice right? cleanup. And it looks like the Battle Toes. This is just back and forth action in this uh, specific game of the series, Game 6. It looks like the Battle Toes. going for the flag run just to secure the win on this one. And it looks like even it's a round 3 victory for the Battle Toads. All right, let's see what uh, Stray, Crit, Stray Kids can do here in round number four. Let's go on board here with uh, Guardian Flies. Work together and we'll take this. All right, Guardian Flies going top mid towards Flag Spawn, and he is just chucking nades, trying to throw the enemy out of their positioning so they can continue to push, but now backs up himself after not getting any hit markers and is now just waiting to see if any changes happen in positioning on the other Ooh. team. Juan gets a perfect on Harzo. Panexo takes out No Pro. Oh. It's now a 2v3 after Panexo also cleans up Juan and Sign takes out Guardian. Right before your eyes, it's a 2v1 and Buck Tender finishes it out. Battletoads looking to seal the deal. Looking good in this game, 3-1. Up 3-2 in the series. If they win this game, they are moving into the grand finals. Ventum, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. They were starting off with no pro angel now also looking top mid they are consistently going towards mid maybe seeing if they can try to pick somebody off early off spawn but now they're starting to back up buck tender gets a great positioning kill on guardian flies connects with six out no pro and here comes the collapse that we know battle toads can do so well to close out round five making the score four to one this Battletoads team is Round playing six. pissed off, guys. I don't I don't think I've ever seen them Lights play this out. crazy. They yet. might be a little bit salty about that game five. Uh-huh. I'm on board here with uh, Buck Tender. Let's see what he does from the blue side VR tower. It's gonna be Guardian Flies versus Buck Tender. But the his teammates going hard here as three members of Stray Kids drive. Oh, that is a oh, statement from Buck Toads that says Great run in the last series, but never forget who your daddy is. Battle Toad <laughs> taking the series five to one to win the winners' finals. There we have it. 
your gunslinger Pinexo drops nine kills there in game number six. Uh, four two victory for the Battle Toads. They are your first team in the in the in the grand finals. Uh, it's not over for the Stray Kids as we update the bracket though. Uh, they'll have another chance in the losers bracket facing whoever comes out of the losers bracket before they have their chance at the Battle Toads. Go ahead and update that. My friends are goaded. Yes, they are. All right, Battle Toads are your first team in the grand finals. As you can see, the Stray Kids are now in the Losers Finals. You got Jumpman sitting in the Losers Semifinals. We're just waiting for uh, a word from Perito versus Bad Kids. Do we have word on that? Anybody in the chat know anything about that series? What is up, Tiger? Thanks for coming out. Tiger Ice Jenkins. Anyone know anything that's going on between this series here? Uh... King Urban, you haven't got word of who you're going up against yet, have you? Battletoads are killing it. Just uh, go ahead and put on some music while we wait here, I guess. I gotta tell you, those Stray Kids was a fun team to watch. I would seriously say watch. I don't think they're out of this quite yet because... As quickly as, you know, they lost that series, they have the ability to go. A, it could be a completely different score. They can be the ones to win five times uh, compared to one because that is just a momentum-driven team that has the skill and know-how to make things happen. Oh, intense, intense games. One thing about battle throws, they said, don't disrespect <laughs> my body. <laughs> Uh, guys, while we're waiting here, I might as well just take this opportunity to uh, announce that I'm pregnant. No, I'm kidding. But let's go over uh, some announcements from earlier. If you guys want to sign up, the next installment of the 1v1 trilogy uh, for later in September has been announced. Uh, we saw 1v1 before Sunrise, won by Legend. If you want a chance to take away that crown from him, you can sign up for 1v1 before Sunset, happening September 24th at 7 p.m. EST. You guys can sign up for that at midnighthalo.com slash upcoming tourneys. You can type exclamation mark tourney in the chat for the link. Or a little bit earlier, Legend, wait for Derry, what? Harzo giving away his uh, earnings. <laughs> Thanks for the Legend, 10 gifted, dude. Wait for it. Derry. <laughs> Appreciate it, Harzo. Wow. Can we get some hype in the chat? Legend, wait for it. Derry. It's not over yet. It's not over yet, Cootie. We're looking to uh, cast this, the loser semifinals up next. Legend, wait for it. Dairy. Uh, Jack of all trades, version two. You can also sign up for this. Is happening September tenth at seven p.m. Legend, Eastern. Wait for it. Dairy. Tarzo, thank you so much for the ten gifted. Uh, so basically, what this one is, guys. All right, that Legend, alerts. <laughs> wait for it. Dairy. Alerts fucking with me, guys. Hold up. Legend? Wait for it, Wait Dairy. For it. Dairy. Jack of all trades, guys. This is a 2v2 tournament where you uh, sign up with whoever you want. Legend? And it's basically, it. they'll be all best of fives throughout the whole tournament. And you're going to see all game types. Uh, Fiesta, Legend? Breakout 1.0, Slayer, Snipes, and SWAT in a 2v2 situation. What is up, Brown Boy? Thanks for coming out. Legend? Everybody, thanks for Wait tuning for in. It. Hope you're having a Dairy. wonderful day. It's your boy at nap times. I'm on board here with Dubby Dobbies and I just spit facts, aka No Shock It, aka Mel's, whatever you want, guys. You guys know him. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> I'm Hello? cracked. She's cracked. You're cracked. Let's get it. Also, guys, in case you didn't know, uh, SWAT Nation announced a couple tournaments for September as well. You can sign up for the 3v3 Throwdown. This is happening September 5th at 2 p.m. Eastern. It's a 3v3 SWAT tournament where you get to pick your teammates. 
and compete. Uh, you can check out the details at SWATNation.net slash events. Also, the third installment of the Challenger series is coming up next. Headshot Harvest, $250 prize pool, 2v2, happening September 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I hope to see you guys sign up for all these tournaments. Uh, September, full of tournaments uh, from between Midnight Halo and SWAT Nation. Four events you can sign up for. Hey, guys. Yes? Oh, no, doctor. I think I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I mean, you've been going to town, dude. <laughs> you've been getting, uh, you've been getting it, brother. <laughs> Can we get some hype for Dummy Dobbies in the chat? This man hasn't stopped talking since he joined the casting couch. A couple times to, you know, save your voice, but you just kept going, bro, so I let you. Oh, man. That's just, though, that game nine. I, 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 I hope somebody clipped that because I want to watch that. It's a good time though, man. And I wouldn't be able to get this hype if it wasn't for everybody setting up this tourney. Not just you, Nat, but even like the guys behind the scenes, yep. man. The whole community, you got like what you guys do is seriously phenomenal. Lit lit. Uh to gamble your cappuccinos, just type X me for a gamble space the amount. By the way, my birthday is September twenty eighth for everybody who wants to get me. <laughs> Happy belated. Man. All right, that's a plug if I ever heard one. No, September 28th. <laughs> yeah, for real, Mio. <laughs> so many termies. Oh, my God. Also, if you guys want to compete in a free-for-all SWAT tournament, that's happening this month. You can hit Lucky's uh, FFA link. You're about to say <laughs> uh, Tuning in. Am, I am never online. Thanks for tuning in. How you doing today? Wait, I don't understand what? that. His name. I'm never online. Ah. And then he says tuning in. This guy's trolling. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, man, I mean, let me look at the bracket real quick. Let me... Uh... See what's going on. Uh yeah, this loser semifinals is about to be a best of five. She it's gonna be Jumpman versus who? Who is coming out of the bracket? Who's coming out of this series alive? Is it Perito? Or is it the bad kids? Any update on that, Mio? Mio? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my name before Halo. <clears throat> All right. We're gonna Perito and Bad Kids. I mean, they're definitely not Bad Kids if they've come this far. <laughs> Nothing makes Hell sense. Oh yeah, never online. Thanks for coming out. Hope you have a wonderful Swatter Day. Swatter Day. Swatter Day. You should have in your merch store nap and just hear me out. What if you had a fly swatter in the shape of the Halo 5 battle rifle? I would love that. I haven't got a lot of fruit flies to deal with. What? Yeah. Joke is like SWAT. Oh! <laughs> I'll walk myself out. Really, Christina, how you doing today? Anyway, we're going to retract or erase that from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just, yeah. just ruined all the foundations of my casting all day. Yeah. Wrap it up. <laughs> Call it a day. Stay Make sure you're drinking cool. that water, W. Down here. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking that water, buddy. Good to hear. One more match. All 
right, we're gonna put on some music. Man, my game could be halfway over. Uh, easy five shot. They were taken down by the jumpman. Inner gravity sitting on the couch. He's enjoying. They were taken out by Hate of Shea, King Urban, and Lecce, who also took out the Cappers, who are sitting in winner, uh, loser semifinals, waiting for the series between Perito and Bad Kids. How you doing today, Easy Five Shot? Reed Harbin. Can we get a shout out to Harzo for the 10 gifted? Man popped off, dude. And he's doing a wonderful job sitting in the grand finals with the Battletoads. Thank you for the 10 gifted, dude. Guys, if you guys didn't know, Harzo actually streams. You can check out his channel. All right, sounds good, Mio. Catch you in a bit, dude. What's up, Easy? I'm doing good. Jumpman. I wonder who's coming out of the uh, losers quarterfinals. Dallas Knights. Guys, I misspelled it. There it is. Check it out. Twitch.tv slash Harzo with two Z's. Harzo, Harzo, what are you trying to spell over there? <laughs> Sing to you. Harzo? Dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Uh, we're just waiting for uh, the losers' quarterfinals to finish their Sir Bandos. <laughs> Come on, Fax. Meet your mic. <laughs> Get him, bro. Get him. You all right, man? Yeah, you all right over there? <laughs> and I'm good. I'm good. Wash my face a little bit. Fuck, you know. Looked out the window and just tried to process what I've seen. Who's Sir Misa? Send me an invite. Someone from the tournament? I don't think so. Yo, let's get a giant exclamation mark Texas in the chat. If you guys got 500 cappuccinos, throw them up for a chance to win the whole pot. You get 10 cappuccinos for every minute you spend in the stream. If you place in the top three for the month of August, you win a pillow from the merch store. Oh man, shit talking is so awesome. X, you're a little bit of an instigator, huh? Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like completely hate confrontation. 
I get nervous. Why, man? Shit is just so fun. <laughs> I'm against the gaming, fucking shit. I don't mean not buy it. I'm just, you know, I like the camaraderie, you know? Tell him, Tyler, you tell him. We be friends. Ugh. Like during the 1v1s, Gary Otter is the by far the funniest one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Bad Kids won. Let's get it. Send us an invite. All right, let's go. Thanks for letting us know. Let's get back to the tourney scene. Holy jumpins. It's going great, Groovy Ninja. Even better now that you're here. Massive, what's going on, everybody? We are moving into the loser semifinals. Jumpman versus Bad Kids coming up next. Don't you begin hype? Let's go! Let's go! Let's Don't go. lose your voice, W. Don't no. I like that. No. <laughs> Monica. I'm sorry. I just had to wake everybody up. Oh, all this excitement is just making me want to dust these fools tomorrow in the <laughs> tournament. All right. X is getting a little confident. <laughs> oh, we ain't dropping a map. All right, King Urban is going to set up the lobby here. I'm going to send out the bad kids, uh, a.k.a. Money and all you guys, if you guys want to send us an invite. Holy smokes, no pro angel with the 46 viewer host. Let's go. Y'all, thank you so much, no pro angel, and good luck in the losers finals. Yeah, Zing, we're doing the breakout tournament. It's lit! I'm sending you an invite, uh, W and Fax. Y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you, man. Sorry. All right, what are we looking at? Let's see that. Okay. See who is 
What matchup is this? Uh, this is the loser semifinals coming up next. Game one is going to be altitude oh. or high rise, then trench. Uh, it's going to be VIP is God, subject Toad, Chillin', and Money 3MM versus Hate of Shea, King Urban, and Leche. Winner of this series goes up against Stray Kids. And then the winner of that series goes up against That's the Battletoads. Right. right, so let's invite oh, some of these gamer man. tags here. How crazy would it be? Either Jumpman or Bad Kids. And beat Stray Kids in the loser's final. I would not know what to do with myself. Either Dallas Snipes and Young Guns lose. Oh, really, Mooney? I just copy and pasted from the doc, dude. <laughs> uh, the registration. Yeah, they lost, uh, they lost 2 0 to Jumpman. Sure. Mooney, okay. Good to know, Mooney. Thanks for letting me know. We'll that make sure to get that to right when we're casting. When it comes to breakout. You yeah, can't win off raw game. skill. Right. You, know, you got to have that teamwork aspect, the ability to communicate and build off each other's shots. Because that's surprising to see the cappers get taken out that mm -hmm. late or early. Yeah, I'm excited for this next series, guys. Losers, semifinals in red. We got the Jumpman in blue. We got the Bad Kids. It's going to be King Urban, Shea, Hative, and Leche. Duking it out with the first time we're seeing them on the mainstream, the Bad Kids. On High Rise, we, you know, King Urban uh, expressed his disinterest in this map, but uh, let's see if he's uh, his team has uh, gathered a strategy for this map, and potentially if they make it to the Grand Finals, how are they going to deal with the Battletoads? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Observer, okay, they're ready to go. Oh, nope, I think they're switching colors. What's going on? Looks like King Urban, Hative, and Shea, along with Leche. Leche, are going to elect to go red this time. Last time we saw them in the series, they were blue. So let's see. I don't think there's a significant advantage. Maybe because the most of the map is blue, but other than spawning, I don't think there's an actual advantage. All superstition. <laughs> I'd rather be dead than red. <laughs> All right, let's get it, ladies okay. and gentlemen. I have no clue if you're blue. Let us know in the chat who is taking this one. Type 1 for the red team. Jumpman. Type 2 for the bad kids. They are the blue team. 1 for the red team. 2 for the blue team. Who's taking this one? Ladies and gentlemen, jump man, jump man, jump jump man. the loser semifinals it is going to be Jumpman versus Bad Kids. And this is Bad Kids' debut on the main stage. Let's see how they do. Got lots of ones in the chat for the jump man. We got a two for the back kids. Let's go on board here with uh, what three for three gives us. Mooney making his way over to the top high rise side of the map with some pre nades. Maybe got uh, some of those uh, pre nade strats from the battle toads. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness! And Leche coming in with a double hot, double perfect here. I this is the first time I saw this strategy, and I was excited to see which team would pull this out okay, first. Okay, so Leche and it looks like Jumpman can confirm Leche has three kills. Thing. Can he get this last kill? He's hungry for no, it. You he's can gonna tell. try to chase it. It's now a two v one. King Urban closes it. King out. Urban with some beautiful positioning with the DMR to seal the deal and get put one on the board for the Jumpman. Round two. It was the first time I saw the strategy of all four yeah, players was, all going the same awesome. route at the start of the game, and it seemed to work out for them. Ooh. This time they choose to split. It was an interesting strat to start off the game. On board here with Shay, he's often to take the low ground here, maybe look for a Three flank and get those elements of surprise in, but the bad kids are looking to get the numbers game here. As you can see, three members. Jay getting some good shots on blue team, though. Almost gets flanked, goes for the nade, gets pinched, and taken out by Shillian for the round two defeat. And this wow. is now a one to one series. On the board. Can they win this series here? It is a best of five, guys, so they will have to win three games of these five maps if they want to submit their ticket to advance to the losers' finals and take on the Stray Kids. Who's it going to be? On board here with King Urban, often to get that top ground. It looks like he loves that DMR. He's going to match VIP. Well, his teammate Shea gets a nice upper perfect. misses the jump manages to save himself though now on top flag trying to help his teammate out and finish the kill Hative cleans that up makes it a 3v1 and then Julian gets taken out by Shea making it 
two to one in favor of Jumpman, who are ridiculous. literally jumping around. Boom. Start off with money here. Money, let's see. I'm actually curious to see how he's going to play this because he was making some flashes early on when I was watching him in the other few rounds, and I want to see... Ends up dodging that nade pretty well. Way to get out of that sticky wow. situation. Nice double perfect from Subject Toe to even it out. Leche takes out Chillin. King Urban is top mid. It's going to be the last one standing Mooney here. And gets hit by King Urban. Oh, man. We are looking at a 1-3 to three series. Jumpman starting to take this away. I'm bad kids. Let's see what they can pull out next. See what Shay can do. Shay electing to go open deck. Going to nade over towards Blue Spawn. See if he can get a hit marker and start calling out for his teammates. Good running. Running and dodging. Even though his shields weren't back yet. But does end up backing off. VIP. Oh, he wants to kill him so oh, badly. Oh, oh. But King Urban goes ahead and cleans that out. Oh, Money 3 cleans up Shea, though. We're looking at a 1v2. Is Mooney in subject against King Urban? But no, 1v1! King Urban versus Money. Who's going to pull oh, this King away? Urban King Walks away that 1v1 Urban. with the victory. And they're up 4 1 in game one here. Moving it into uh, round, six. round six. Who's taking this one? Who's going on board with? Let's, uh, let's see some chilling here. We haven't seen any chilling. Currently got four kills for the blue team. Right, going to Chilean, looking to stay down. Now, normally on this map, you notice a lot of players like to get high ground as soon as possible, but Chilean is going to use that strategy to his advantage, and unfortunately, that did not work out. He ends up getting hit from the back and pinched. King Urban gets a perfect on VIP. Now it's a 1v3, and oh my, Lanta Jumpman making a statement early on in this series, closing it out five. A one jumping looking pretty dominant Five there in game one, one. this is the second team placing yeah this is uh exactly facts yeah thanks for pointing that out spit this is the team that came facts. second place in the spring breakout jumping they're pissed they were sent to the losers bracket early by the battle toads see if they can bounce back they want revenge <clears throat> It's getting hot in here. I'll be right back when they allow observers. A very interesting start out series. A man making a statement early on against bad kids. And I'm curious to see because this happens a lot from what we've seen already. You see a team absolutely demolish the other team in the first series. The second series could be completely different because now Bad Kids is going to have the time to assess the problems that they may have had and see if they can capitalize on that and make the appropriate switches to... So we're going to go play campaign? Oh. <laughs> make the appropriate changes to do whatever works best for the team. Your gravity saying three and O oh incoming and putting a lot of faith into Jumpman's hands. He likes the team, he likes what they've done, and he has faith that they could do it again. So let's see whether or not this is gonna be a sweep. Nah, but you're still <laughs> muted. Has anyone ever told you that you are the songbird of our generation? He is. The accurate thing I've seen all day. Let's break out. Let's get serious. Looks like we're going to start this off on Trench. This is one of my favorite maps to watch for Breakout because it is so small, so compact, but at the same time, so many potential angles. Anything can happen here. We're going to go ahead and start this out with none other than Mooney. Going to go and see how he wants to handle this map. Straight towards flag on top mid. Trying to get good positioning to throw some nades early on. But he does end up getting 
backed off by Matt. And then that nade, oh my gosh, that nade could have actually three. got him if he didn't thrust backwards. These nades that these teams pull out for this breakout tourney are absolutely insane. And at this point, Money is just running around playing for his life, but there is nowhere to go because it's just pandemonium. Now a 2v1 happening that quickly. Subject Toad and VIP is gone. First Shay. Shay now, they know where he is. So he has to re he has to retreat. Hopefully see if he can get a good Fuck angle you. and pick up oh, one of them. Gets VIP. We have a 1v1. Can Shay clutch it? He gets that nade, but he doesn't get the hit marker on that. So what is going to happen? Shay versus Subject Toad. Who is going to win this one? 56 seconds left. There's plenty of time. And Shay gets the first shots off. Toad's playing the angle. And the then round. gets taken out by Shay for the round one victory. What is up, everybody? Coming out. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. This is the summer breakout. This is game two, round two. Currently a 1-0 series lead in the loser semifinals. Led by the Jumpman. Let's see if they can bounce back in this specific game. The force their ticket to have a 2-0 series lead here. This is a best of five. So still pretty early in the series. On board here with Shay. Trying to stay alive bottom mid right now. It'll be Shay versus Mooney. Shay coming off a great game. He managed to reverse a 2v1 scenario, which could be the difference in a series like this. Unfortunately, he gets naded. Now a 4v2 in this round. Let's see if anything can happen between Jumpman to bring this back, but I don't know. It's oh, just yep, hate is left. And company are looking really good, AKA bad kids. Uh, let's go on board here with uh, Subject Toad. Tries to get this last kill and they get it. We won the round. The 2-0 uh, round. Oh no, it's tied 1-1. Oh, I thought. Shea had that crazy comeback oh, in the first right, round, but that. he can't okay. keep. He's not gonna win them all, so they gotta come up with a better answer than that. And it looks like Bad Kids plays very well on this map from what we've seen so far. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna look towards the end of the series. Nice little pre-nade starting grenade from Shay to give the numbers game over to the Jumpman. Play some friendly fire going on over here. Leshe does have shotgun in hand for Jumpman. He's going to see if he can get a good flank with it. It's 3v1 now, and at this point, there's not a lot you can do when you're caught out in the open on a 3v1. Shay takes out VIP, and that makes the round 3 2 to 1 in favor of Jumpman. Shay popping off with six kills already in three rounds. Go on board with him and see what he does off the rip. Oh, yeah, we are going to ride this momentum because Shay is feeling himself this tournament right now. And we are going to see what he can do and see if he can show us a little something on the main stage. It's the first strike again. Takes out VIPs. God, those shots are just insane. Takes out Mooney. He is on a killing spree right now. Shea is out for blood. He wants more. And I know for a fact he's telling his team, look, guys. It's a team game. I don't have to get the last kill. He probably could have easily there. But I respect that it's all about winning and less about yourself. All right, 3-1 series lead now. Let's go on board here with, uh, let's see some Mooney action here for the blue team. Like he's opting to get a little bit of a slow start. Trying to get some information for his teammate by taking a step back, watching out for the pre-nades. Mooney is definitely very skilled at hitting those long range shots to weaken the enemy team and allow his team to push forward to capitalize on that. He's definitely worth, oh man, that, was, that could have been bad somehow almost got the reversal on that but the round five goes to jumpmen who are starting to run away with this series right. jumpmen have shown time and time again why they're forced to be reckoned with they came second in the last tournament they're a little bit upset about how they way they they got sent to the losers so early i mean they're looking dominant now looking like they're warmed up and gelling i mean it's not the exact same roster from the last tournament a couple of roster changes but you know they're forming that chemistry through the losers bracket run a 1v2 King Urban versus Subject Toad and Mooney. Nice win for the bad kids here. Really can't the pull that out. Not yet, now. boys. <laughs> Round seven. Oh, man. Going over to Subject Toad now. I want to show this guy a little love because I got to tell you, when it comes to positioning, every time I see him on the map, he's somewhere where the enemy team would not want him to be. And that was a great first shot on Hative. Now, 
four to three, starting off that momentum, seeing if they can capitalize. Notice how they're taking the bottom route this time, trying to get behind enemy spawns and eventually pinch them to win this game. And I, oh man, it's just the teamwork now. You don't have to make stupid mistakes, but Subject Doe gets taken out by Leche. It's now 3v2, and now we're on Chillian. Chillian looking to see if he can make anything happen to close this one out, but then he gets, wait a minute, Shay. Is what's why? No, his own. Wait. Oh. You're on the chopping block. Bad kids are staying alive that, here. Well, the swan with eight. This is breakout. Very fast. Hold the line. Six one three. How you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good swatter day. Thanks for coming out, bro. This is the summer breakout. Our second breakout tournament. We're here in the losers semifinals. Who's someone we haven't been uh, giving much love to? Oh, I was gonna say VIPs, but he just got taken out, unfortunately. Let's go on board with uh, subject two. I gotta tell you, I love how he, you know, he plays aggressively but passive, oh, and that sounds crazy, but he just knows how to play those angles so well. And oh, strong start in this series for the Jumpman. Jumpman have forced a situation upon the bad kids where they need to get a reverse sweep if they want to stay in this tournament. The game is it Slayer? Oh, oh this is breaking. Oh my shay! Both kills. See what they He's got. firing it up. He's Game warming up. To play today. That is absolutely insane. 12 and 3 from Shea along with 2 assists. How you doing? That is one of those moments. It doesn't happen a lot in breakout. Oh, God, thank you for the follow. It is a team-oriented game. You want the team <laughs> shots. But Shea was either in the right place at the right time or just had no care for the enemy team's well-being whatsoever very impressive game from shay that round hope you guys are enjoying the tournament so far uh sitting in the we'll just update you guys for anyone just tuning in on the tournament so far with the bracket so sitting in the losers finals is the stray kids they fell uh four one series or four two series to the battle toads showed that they can win but the battle toads just you know Looking that much stronger, uh, sitting pretty in the Losers Finals. They're looking to take on whoever comes out of this Losers bracket. So whoever wins this series, currently Jumpman is up 2-0 over the Bad Kids. We'll go up against Stray Kids in the Losers Finals. So we're uh, getting pretty close here uh, towards the end of this tournament. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Uh, and in case you missed the announcements, you can go to MidnightHalo.com. We announced 1v1 before sunset happening the third uh, Thursday of the month, uh, fourth Thursday of the month in September, September 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 1v1 tournament. Or you can sign up for the newly announced Jack of All Trades version 2, $300 2v2. Sign up for that. It's happening September 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern, so not too far away. Uh, this one is going to actually have Breakout, Breakout 1.0 and Fiesta in the mix. All right, back into the gameplay here. Who do you guys got taking this one? Type 1 in the chat for the jump in. Type 2 for the bad kids. 1 for the red team. 2 for the blue team. Who's taking this series? Round 1. Jumpman so far has been dominant in the series. Already up 2-0. to zero, Already putting bad kids on the line to make a play right here, right now. There is no other chance. It's all or nothing. If bad kids want a chance at the title, this is when they need to make a stand. Nice shots from Shea and Hadev here. They go up 2-0 in round one here of game number three. A nice, perfect, and Shea showing no signs of slowing down after game number one. Already three no kills for Shea. Round two. Shea is averaging in this series about two to three kills a game, which in breakout is just impressive coming from one man. I think you mean a round, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and look at that bad kids have something else to say about this as they are shutting down the jump in here on crossfire in round two a 1v3 let's see if shay can, can he do it? keep the momentum going trying to get into a position where he's going to throw them off if anybody that can do it it might be shay he went for the trade won the round. he's just stat padding hey. oh, i'm kidding he's statting <laughs> <laughs> Round three. Uh, just kidding, Shay. I love you. If you ever hear this, 
Right. Show VIP what? has got some love here. Anyways, going on to the show now. Let's watch VIP has got. He's making his way over to shotgun side. He's got to be careful of those nades. We always see nades flying at the start of crossfire over there. And we can see them coming out now. Trying to stay alive. The nades are coming out. Look at these. Look at this pressure. Coming out from the jumpman. He can hear someone coming up. Shuttle whatsoever. Hated. Does have the shotgun though. See if he wants to do anything with that. That is going to be interesting. Does go for the push. Ends up getting one, but it's a trade. Leche finishes off VIP though. Mooney gets Hayden. Shea gets Mooney. And that is a round three victory. In favor of Jumpman. In favor four. of Jumpman. Fax, take it away. We want to hear you cast this round, Fax. Get it. What? You want me to Yeah, let's hear it, Fax. Go. Put your mic closer to your face. It is close to my face. Here on VIP God, he's on in house. He's got two guys pushing him right here. See what he can do. Four on three. Money takes out Hayati. Three on Shea three. He takes out money with that nade. Three v three. Who you on board with, thanks? King Urban pushing in house. See what he's got. Back down. Those nades. Two on three. That BR. Chill and takes out DJ. Two v three. Let's see what we got. We got one minute left. Chill and jump for flagpole. Oh, he gets taken out Remember by King kill. Urban. Oh. We won the round. And it looks like that they cheeky flagpole did not work out for them. They literally had the advantage, but because they went for that flag, red team capitalized on the mistakes, and now they go up 3-1 in this game. Oh man, this is looking like it's starting to stumble out of Bad Kid's control. They're already down two in the series, and this is the last potential series that would boot them out of the loser's bracket and lose their chance to make it to the finals. No, Deuce, that tournament's 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. King Urban gets a... That was a malicious Spartan charge. That did not feel... That there might have been some hatred behind that one. I don't know, man. That, that, that one looked a little rough. 18 minutes to what, Kakashi? What are you counting down? Yeah, Round 6. 6 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> We're going to step on the board with Shea right now because this man has been playing absolutely crack and he demands the spotlight with how he's been playing. Shea is just, I, I just don't know how he does it because he positions himself in such a great way to clean up his teammates' kills, but he's also not afraid to challenge a 1v1, but the unfortunate nade from Mooney, and that was a perfectly called out nade for Mooney from his team to throw it over there. Now we're looking at a 1v4 and you That's see how the momentum just gets You're crazy. On Once one block. dies, it is just non-stop kill feed until everybody is taken out Let's take a second and just realize team. this is the last opportunity. They need to win the next three rounds if they want to stay alive. Can the, ba uh, can the bad kids force a game three here? I I want to say they can, and they are up four to three in this game right now. If there's any chance, it's right now to make a play happen. But they are playing a little passive. They don't want to make the mistake. They know what's on the line, and they are up one. Yo, what's up, M Skip? How you doing today? Three King Urban takes out Mooney, it's out a 3v3, the momentum is gone, and then Shea gets taken out by VIP, and just like that, Jumpman are ahead 3-2. Three, three on one. This might be it for the bad kids as Jumpman look to seal the deal and advance into the loser's finals against Stray Kids. Coming up next... Shake on 11 and 2. This dude is on fire. 11 and 2 this series, 12 and 3 last series. A collective 23 and 5. Haiti, the past two games from Shea. I, I just don't know how this man does it.
All right, guys. I think that is it um, for the casters that we have. I think Tony's on his way. You guys are cool with bouncing Sounds here. Good. Uh, you guys really uh, stayed an extra 45 minutes, you know, above your pay grade, all that good stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. I had a uh, pleasure casting with you guys today. Uh, w and Fax, yeah, good, good stuff. Thank you so much for having me, man, you know? Uh, yeah, thank you. Seriously, it's a hell of a tournament. Good luck to everybody. It was a pleasure to watch you guys and cast everybody that was in this tournament. And I seriously wish all of you guys the best of luck, uh, not only for this tournament, but for future ones. I see a big future for all of you uh, come Halo Infinite and beyond. So that's what I'm going to leave that on. And aside from that, nap times, I'm going to thank you personally, even though you hate it. We can love you, man. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. We love you and the, uh, you know, the cringe shout outs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Um, w, you did a fantastic job. Facts as well. Uh, thanks for the insight, guys, and the passion. Uh, we could tell you guys were, uh, you know, loving it. Breakout was hot. And it was your first time casting a breakout tournament. It's not pretty. It's not easy. Definitely unique. It is, it is fast paced. You're out of breath before you know it. All right, guys, so now let's go get the big man on campus. Oh, I'm so excited to watch Tony cast. Not a nap. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right, see you later, guys. Catch you later. Uh, shout out to uh, W Dobbies and No Shot Kid, guys. You can check out their channel if you enjoyed their content today and their casting. Tony should be here in a sec. I'm just going to wait for an invite on the next series, guys. Vitamin D, how's it going today? What is up, Jasper? No, it's not over. It's not over, McLegs. What? What? Get your shit together, McLegs. What do you mean? We got the losers finals and then the grand finals coming up next. It's waiting on an invite here. Oh my goodness, so Subject Toad. Toad with the 500 biddies and GG Subject Toad. You popped off with some crazy perfects, dude, In uh, on High Rise, dude. Good stuff. Um, you guys made it really deep into the bracket. Hope you enjoyed the summer breakout and hope to see you in future tournaments. Uh, if you guys missed the announcements today, you can hit exclamation mark tourney for more tournaments. Thank you for the 500 biddies, baby. <clears throat> That last game was tough on Crossfire? Yeah. 100%, dude. And plus, the Jumpmen are a very good team. Very good breakout squad. You can always count on them to, uh, well, always be top three, I guess. They came second last tournament. Now they're competing for second again and potentially first place. Let's get everyone in here. No Pro Angel. Um, we got... King Urban... We're just waiting on Tony, my man. Why not be reckless? He'll be uh, just turning everything on, guys. He's getting ready. You guys excited for some Tony? Some uh, why not be twerking action? Just to give you guys an update on the journey so far, uh, let's go ahead and update that. The Jumpman will get the 3-0 sweep in the loser semifinals over the bad kids. I feel bad calling them the bad kids because they're definitely some good kids. Like, what? what's up with that? Where's the confidence there? Wait, was that Tony? Did I just hear some Tony action? I hear Tony. Tony, take your time. Hop on in. The couch is warm. W and Fax did a tremendous job warming up the couch for you. Probably, how you doing today? We got the Stray Kids. No Pro Angel, Juan, Guardian Flies, and Haiz going up against Hate of Shea, King Urban, and Leche. Uh, winner of this loser's finals, best of five, will go up against the Battletoads in the grand finals. Harzo, Panexel, Bucktender, and The Sign. 
What is up, Fob? How you doing today? Go ahead and update the overlay. <laughs> it's been sitting in my seat. I'm like Sheldon when it comes to my seat. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Someone sat in his spot. Oh, dear. I didn't warn the past broadcast team. Oh, no. Who's been sitting in my spot? Oh, hey there, Tony. How was work today? Uh, it was good, but this is my spot. It has a great cross breeze from when we open up the window in the summer times. And when I'm watching TV, it's at a perfect 90 degree angle. Uh, who's been sitting in my spot? Got a nice booty indent, too, from all that twerking. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> I would never forgive you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was fun. It was a great community night, and then you come in. It got and even better. Your channel board. <laughs> it was party time, dude. Friday night. I'm so sorry. I'm like, I got caught no up worries, dude. Oh, w and uh, <clears throat> Fax were kind uh, kind enough to stick around, dude, and they did a wonderful job. I heard they did a great. Thank you very much, uh, W and uh, Fax. Can we get a shout out for W and Fax in the chat? Oh, is that your line? Is that your oh, line, Danny? That's oh, your that's line. that's Danny's line. <laughs> Me, Tony. <laughs> Fax is in no shot, kid. <laughs> All right, I got Tony. I uh, sent you the invite. Did you get it? There you are. Yep, I'm, I'm joining. All right, guys. No warm-ups. Exci Let me catch you up. Let me catch you up. So, unfortunately, sad but true, the Veggies couldn't make it to the tournament today. They're the reigning champions. So, it's going to be someone crowned the breakout champions no matter what. A new team. So, in the losers finals, uh, we got Jumpman and Stray Kids. Both these teams have been sent here by the Battletoads. The Battletoads are sitting pretty in the grand finals. And on that roster... We got the coveted breakout legends, Harzo, Penexel, Bucktender, and The Sign. They've been rinsing the winner's bracket, but both these teams in the loser's finals have a chance. It's literally going to come down to who's hungry and who's hungrier, Tony. I've always been so impressed. I, I, I knew nothing about the breakout. The moment Midnight Halo, uh, uh, formerly known as Tony Times, hosted the first breakout tournament that I was a part of... I slowly became, I, I was like, I quickly became a gigantic fan. Like, the best gameplay of tournament gameplay I've seen, I'm not even joking, has been oh, in the breakout damn. Scene. Tony hyping up the breakout <laughs> scene, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> it. I mean, it's still, we saw someone get knocked out into losing bracket round one, make it all the way to grand finals and win. I think he disconnected. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, rightfully so. You have one life per round. Every, every yes. decision matters. You make no mistakes. Once you get those numbers up, you got to play your lives, play the numbers game, those grenades, all oh, those beautiful grenades in 1.0 that can just rinse a player. One grenade. All kinds of spicy action. Uh, are you, uh, I don't know what's going on. Did we have to reset the lobby or something? Uh, you can invite me back. Uh, it, it gave me that connecting to lobby BS. I, I just quit my build. Jumpman versus the Stray Kids. Uh, looks like I have the colors wrong here. Looks like the Jumpmen do want to be blue team here. Yeah, I know it ain't Halo 5 without a bit of milk. Come on. Come now. on. You know this. Why not be twerking? How you doing? You want to give us a little introduction for those of you, those that don't know you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, W Spitfacts, obviously, th thank you very much for every uh, everything you've done while, while I was absent. Uh, I'm sure you guys did a fantastic job. I wish I could have catch it myself, but I was, I was a bit busy. But uh, but it's why not be reckless, AK? why not be casting, AK? I'm kind of a freaking big deal. If you don't know, now you know. And this right here is your summer breakout. Three hundred dollar big ones on the line here. I think we're losing bracket finals. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't even know where we're at here. I gotta, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm losing bracket finals. Hate of in the chat says, "Who you all got?" And let me ask you guys in the chat, who do you guys got taking this series? Type one for the Stray Kids. That's the red team. Type two for the Jumpmen. That's the blue team. Jumpmen have been making a losers bracket run. We saw the Stray Kids fall four two to the Battle Toads. This is gonna be a spicy series. Oh, that's not you, Hate of. There's two different hatives. It's just the coinkadink. <laughs> no, he said, you said who does he have, and he said oh, not me. Okay, he okay, okay. <laughs> I get it. Jumpman will win three one. Says Intergravity. Groovy Ninja is also gonna say is gonna actually say the Stray Kids will take this. Tony, who do you think is taking this one? I gotta go. I I, I love my boy Lecce and King Urban, and I I know of Shay and Hative. I think they're fantastic players. But my boys from Colombia are in here. Yep. I'm going for Team Colombia. They were 
wreaking havoc that in the winners' weird. finals against the Battletoads. But I mean, we got to talk about the blue team here. Jumpman came second place in the last breakout tournament, and we got Shay. I mean, he's known to be champ one in breakout. He's really well known yes. in the breakout community. Fellow Canadian, by yes. the way. So I'm gonna go with the Jumpman here. Let's break out. Let's get serious. <laughs> I liked him all the way into that last comment. <laughs> now Stray I kids, yeah, that is their <laughs> gamer tag, but tender. <laughs> Jumpman win 3-2. I mean, I got to see Jumpman in Battletoads. I feel like they're, you know, the the uh, the protagonist and antagonist of the tournaments. You know, they're all well-known breakout players. Jumpman versus Battletoads. I want to see that in the Grand Finals, but honestly, let's see what the Stray Kids can do, Tony. Who are you on board with? Uh, I mean, 3 4 3 want to start off with Lich. He's putting some good shots across the map right now. Just doing a great job of staying alive. And Hative has already dropped one, Daddy. Yep, there you got the numbers game. Wow. That's three down for the Stray Kids. Wow. That's a round to remember. It, it definitely. Wait, what happened? Yeah, I blinked twice. It was over. That was the first round of the series, and it was a 4-0 sweep in favor of the Jumpman. Well, first round of the match, I guess. Not this, it's confusing. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Right. I guess it's because yeah, a yeah, match yeah, yeah. as opposed yeah, to the yeah, series. Yeah. Very confusing. You're totally right. <laughs> On board here with no pro angel, who actually is a professional Colombian player. Okay. Uh, he's a phenomenal player, but his teammate Juan goes down. Yeah, he stomped me in the grassroots tournament. <laughs> whipping out the SMG like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Two on three. On board here, no pro angel. Dipsy doodling his way back to Ooh. Hydra. Going solo. Ooh. I didn't even know that was a. That round and we on. have a 2 0 lead now in favor of Jumpman. And look at that. In this Shea matchup. with four kills, Tony. You gotta go on board with Shay. Okay, sounds good. See what he does sounds off the rip here. Looks like he's making his way over to the objective side of the map, Tony. Have you guys seen any Immortals yet? Uh, no, we have not actually. We've seen Reverse Immortals that we won't talk one. about. Three on two. Oh. <laughs> Four on two. Oh, 1v2, can Pro Angel do that? Can no fucking do that? He's currently sneaking up, but no, King Urban gets the five trade. Wow. Uh, or three, excuse me, a three trade, a three shot trade. I mean, I mean, Jumpman can keep this momentum. They're definitely submitting their ticket back into the grand finals in a best of seven against the Battletoads who are hungry. They want the throne. They want to be that breakout team to beat. It might just be this map. This map might not be conducive to uh, the way that Stray Kids want to play. Oh, Who wants you on the right off the start? Says you say that though. We're seeing some life here out of the Stray Kids. Gonna be Guardian flies with the flag in hand. Can he stay alive here? Uh oh. He might have run into a bad corner there. <gasps> Tony, that perfect though. That if he would have turned around and perfect, I, 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 I would have quit. I would have given him the title. Round I would have just ended the, get the tournament and give him the title right here. It's like Juan's going to need to step up for the Stray Kids here. Let's go on board with him. Let's see how he's struggling here. Currently dropping a little goose egg, Tony. That can't happen. Not here in the Losers Finals. Uh, yeah, another professional player coming out of Colombia. Actually, more known for it, teaming with No Pro Angel. He's he was the popular Facebook streamer. Now he actually moved to Twitch. Juan finally getting put on the board. You need to put him on. You need to put him on the screen for him to yeah, step exactly. up. That's the thing. You didn't put him. You didn't put him on Caster's the camera. Luck. Not Caster's curse. <laughs> oh, with the Colombian squad. And look at this, Tony. They're staying alive in this first game of the series. Two on one. We got Juan pulling the fly. Both of the, the oh. Oh, he just got taken out by haters. Now we have a 1v1 situation. That might not be good. <gasps> and look at that. Guardian Fly is going to seal the deal and put one on the board in game one in round five. We're moving into round six, Tony. Round Who are we going six. on board with? Who's the player to watch out for? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say I'm gonna say Hayden. Let's hop on board right. Hayden. We're not sure how many love yet. He's, he's doing solid right now. Five kills, three assists. That's really good. That's really good. He's going to have a 1v1 situation over on Hydra's side. He's going to secure that Hydra. Let's see what he does. Nice little back smack there. And a trade? Good pick, Tony. But wait. Fantastic double. Look at that. Game one goes in favor of Jumpman. What, that, this has been incredibly fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that, has the whole yeah, look, it's only 6 p.m. for the love of God. Uh, and we're in the losers' <laughs> finals. And if the Jumpman keep up this pace, we could see uh, grand finals before 7 p.m. That'd be, that'd be pretty crazy, especially especially for us. <laughs> yeah, what is up, Strix? Out pandered. Everybody tune it in. Hope you're having a wonderful swatter day. Can we get a shout-out to my boy Tony in the chat? Actually, I just hosted a uh, SWAT, uh, SWAT Nation community night last night. That was fun. That was fun. 
Guys, make sure you check out what Tony's channel. Drop a follow if you haven't that. already. If you love the guy, like I do. <clears throat> Wait, what? I want to do a midnight Halo community night. I want <laughs> a whole bunch of community nights. Dude, funny thing is, uh, well, you see, well, we're not going to talk about it, but midnight Halo might rebrand Attorney Times again. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there just to throw you guys for a loop. We're going back to Attorney Times. <clears throat> uh, moving into game two, it's going to be, uh, what map are we looking at? It's going to be Canal. So a lot of uh, a lot smaller of a map, uh, Tony. I okay. I mean, I don't really know. Uh, I think the Jumpman experience and the starting strats. Uh, this is definitely going to go in favor to the breakout heavy team. A small map that's really prone to like starting grenades. I think we're going to see um, Jumpman go up 2-0 in the series and put stray kids in a in a pickle. Uh-oh, what do you put in the chat? Piss <laughs> test. <laughs> renegade. God I mean, bless. the Renegade piss test. What the? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that emote. What is up, like Infinity, hate of everybody, thanks for coming out, and good luck to the Jumpman. Uh, I see two members in the chat. Uh, Tony, whenever you're ready, let's get it. Yeah, I, I just... What's up, Shay? So now is Canal the one that has uh, invisibility and uh, uh, hydro oh, on it? I this is not the map I thought it was. My bad. I was thinking of Trench. Because if it is, this, this one's actually my favorite breakout really? map. And, I mean, to grab invis on here, like, you just won the round. Like, if you, if you just play invis right, you're one. I mean, <laughs> but it's so hard to get. Lots of objectives on this map. I think there's even a shotgun on this map. Hydra, mm -hmm. camo. Yep, scatter oh. shot, scatter wow. shot. All right, let's see who uh, secures the camo and uh, what the starting strategy is for both teams. Who are we going on board with? Uh, I'm going to go on board with 343. Let's see right. 343 is going to choose somebody who's really thick. It's going to be uh, Leche, okay. a.k.a. Dylan. Go, go, go. Making his way over to camo side, it looks like. Okay, all right. Nice. Put it some good. Oh, it gets taken out by one, on 117. Back and forth action here, but it looks like the Stray Kids are going to have the numbers game. But look who has camo. A 1v2 with camo. This is going to be interesting. Boom, 1v1. Just like that. Just like that, Danny. Good patience coming out of King Urban to secure that kill with camo. I mean, he should be able to win this round. And he does. Did, wait. A one shot. And that was an extinction. No, it wasn't. What was that medal that popped up? I don't know what that was. Uh, I think that meant that he got all four. No, he didn't get all four. He got three. I don't, I don't know what that medal was. I don't know. <laughs> it was a clutch kill. I think, I think, I think it's it was a, a clutch or like oh, because he was down in numbers, but he still won. Maybe. Last man. Okay, yeah, something I, like I have that. no clue. I well, never get it. I'm always dying to break out. Yeah, I think he did hurt himself with hydra there. The stray kids doing a good job of getting the numbers game, but they can't let King Urban clutch it up again. King Urban again with Camo Tony. And that's the trick. In, in, in Breakout, you're normally playing for numbers, but in this case, you're paying. We're playing for oh camo. <laughs> Forget the numbers. One v three now. Got one. Always. Oh, oh, he's doing. He's playing this perfect though. Enemy been marked. Oh, he's in a pickle, Tony. Huge yeah, plays coming out of King with... Urban right now. I don't know how we got away from that situation. That that should have been one that should have been him dying. Oh, we get spotted. Can we get a piss one test in aisle three on King Urban? That round's a loss. <laughs> wow. I mean, no piss test. These got taken out right there. Yeah, he, he had the scatter shot. Had the end of his, Almost clutches out right there, but uh, Stray Kids did not want to make the same mistake twice. Lose to King Urban there. I'm on board here with uh, no Pro Angel. Let's see what he does about uh, this camo. Shots are going out, and look at that, jumping in all over the scoreboard here. Three on one. Yo, what is up, Draper? Everybody coming out. Juan might be taken out. Wow, jump in with a Hydra play. Shay currently with two kills. King Urban with six. Blue team looking good here in the losers' finals. They currently have the 1-0 series lead and the 2-1 game lead. Uh, yeah, and they, and they just took that lead just right now. 2-1 so, uh, right now. 1 minute 47 seconds. The guy and Hayden takes oh out God. no pro. Hayden takes out one with the double. Why wasn't I on that POV? Oh my goodness! A triple kill. 
Hadev coming in hot. I mean, jumping, firing up on all so cylinders here. Round five. <clears throat> Absolutely. We're we'll having a board here with thick no pro angel. Three four three wants okay. it. For another. Ooh. Oh. What? Uh oh. <laughs> That's going in the bloopers of the tournament. <laughs> and look at that. One gets the token. Was that BM? Like, what was that? I, I mean, it was a betrayal for sure. But I, I mean, I don't know if it was on accident or if they're if they're just messing around at this point. I, I don't know. Center of attention. And the Stray Kids are definitely going to capitalize there and make it a 3-2 game only now. Closing the gap by one. Round six. <laughs> let's see if that happens again. Yeah, let's watch Hative. You know, he might have just been trying to thrust slide and just like spawn charge and his teammate walked in front of him, bam. <laughs> yeah, I guess it happened. Urban's Especially probably break out. Face palming. Four on two. And wow. There we go. Looking <laughs> confident here. Enemies up for a 4-2. Not skipping a beat whatsoever. I mean, to think that Stray Kids lost to Battletoads 4-2, and then jumping kind of manhandling Stray Kids, we're going to see, we might see a crazy grand finals here in the summer breakout. If the jumpmen do advance here and keep playing like this. Why does he want to need that? I, 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 hold on. Maybe three right now. Maybe three situation. I'm on board here with King Herbie. He's gonna make me look like towards Camelot. Camelot's gone. Camelot's just gone already. And the play, he doesn't know. Camelot's right underneath King Urban. Oh, Pro Angel with the camo. <laughs> and he do exactly what King Urban did here. And look, he's staying alive. I love this. Wow. Big brain play is coming out of No Pro Angel. Oh, wow. Lecce shuts him down with the SMG. His name is Lecce, but he means no milk. Gets right into the face that camouflage player takes him out immediately, taking the game right there. Five or uh, the match, I should say, five to two, and now getting a two zero series. I actually do remember King Armis he used to play with uh, Siphon in them. <laughs> Pinixel says, "Why shoot?" He was, he was uh, not a fan of how no, uh, no Pro Angel played that right there. It'll happen. I mean, let's see what No Pro Angel and uh, company can do, the Stray Kids. Uh, they're going to have to try and get a reverse sweep here in the Losers Finals, Tony. That's uh, no easy feat against the likes of the team who is fighting for second place yet again. Well, you know what? I mean, luckily, they're, they're uh, obviously uh, they're professional uh, players uh, coming out of Colombia, especially uh, No Pro Angel and Juan. Uh, so uh, we're gonna see what they do. I mean, obviously they, they they're gonna see we're gonna see that that, that championship pedigree uh, and that and that uh, mindset, that mentality, and hopefully it can bounce back. Uh, McLangs, I think they're playing Halo Reach still to this day. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I think Halo Three, MCC. You know, majority of the players actually don't play Halo Five. All over, spread across all the Halo titles on MCC, playing battle royales, yes. all that stuff. Server is ready. What happened? I missed it. Oh, well, it's a 2-0 series lead in favor of the Jumpman. This is Losers Finals. You can type X from a bracket. Draper, my first sub ever in the channel. Oh my god. How you doing, Draper Vapor Gaper? Tony, whenever you're ready, why not be milking? I, I was staring at the screen forever. <laughs> they were taking forever. All they right, all right. Forever. I looked away. <laughs> <clears throat> No excuses, Tony. <laughs> All right, loading into game three. What map is it again? I guess we'll find it. Let's break out. Let's get serious. All right, altitude. Ooh. Altitude. This, this is a this is a um a staple in the breakout in the in the breakout playlist. This is uh, one of those maps that have those cheeky angles you can get in those uh, high ground um, sight lines. Really throw up your opponent. Let's see who uh, does it first. Let's uh, wow, no better way to start it off with the legend Shay. <laughs> Mine as well. I'm sure he's gonna show us what is it. I don't know what he's doing there, floating in space. <laughs> he almost <laughs> fell and then yeah, that was interesting, like, dude. <laughs> Got some hacks. Oh, he's a play right next to though. And just as we say that, Stray Kids. Sweep, jump in, in in round one. Round two. That was a very fast round for straight kids right there. That was beautiful. Let's see if they can replicate that. It looks like Guardian flies. Make his way over to the BR tower, looking to pick up the BR, Tony. Working, 
trash. Leave it alone. Don't do it, Guardian. Leave it alone. Raid's going out. Two on three. They're tied up. Two All tied up now. King Urban weak. And the Stray Kids are bouncing back here in game three. Looking good. We won the round. A hot two round start for them in game number three. Stray Kids are stepping up to a whole nother level on altitude. And you know what, King Urban, that, that's a good pick. Yeah, 350 making good picks right now, I like it. I mean, you think the, the Jumpmen are getting a little bit too comfortable with their 2-0 series lead here in game number three? I mean, it could just be they're not a fan of altitude. Altitude is, is a staple in the, in the breakout series. I'm surprised. Look, look, at, look how King Urban immediately gets to the opposite side. Use the flag, he, just, he, he knows his map. He's a, he's a breakout player. Just going to secure the dub and make this last player poke out. That's a round two. It's going to be no Pro Angel falling in. Jumpman put one on the board here in round three, moving into round four of game number three. Round four. Another three for three. Juan right now with three kills and three assists right now. Pretty I mean, decent. Let's start up with and look. Four. <laughs> three to three. Great picks. Ten out of ten. I like that nade. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good nade. We had angle from Juan right there. <laughs> four on two. Big brain plays, Tony. Three on two. Got a 3v1 situation. Hater's by himself right now. Oh, he, oh, that's a good drop down by him, but they're going to give uh, no pro Angel the ample opportunity to pick up that flag. And now Hater's going to have to stop the flag and kill two other players. I don't know if it's possible. We're rolling into the next round. That shit is on 90 MGs. Uh, enemy scored. That if he's on 90 on. MGs, I don't even want to know what the Stray Kids are on. Because they're looking good here in game three. Round five. Only 90? Let's uh, who have we not seen? Let's try, let's try Haiz here. How do you pronounce that? Do you know that? Haiz? Haiz? Hater? Luna. Oh, uh, Chimeko. Chimeko. Haiz, Chimeko. I, pl I played him a couple times at the breakout. He's nasty. Board here with Chimeko. It looks like he's going for a little flank here. Being under the radar, he might get some good angles here, Tony. Oh, the Hydra, though. Oh. From King <laughs> Urban. Two on three. Go Hail solo. Hydra. Jumpman put another one on the board and keep this round game number three close. Round six. Let's see some Leche action here. Play smart, let's show out Cafe Con Leche was his previous gamer tag. I oh. What the milk? Four on three. He also has a couple of Smurfs uh, that are well known as oh, well. Really? Three on three. No idea what they might be, but once you say them, I'll probably like, oh yeah, okay. Three on one. I, I, I have to. I, 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 remember, I remember. When he makes it in grand finals, I remember. There's a, <laughs> there's a couple out there. Perfect kill. Dude, interested to see. Like, oh, that was him. Tied up three uh, three. Yes, out panda. Jump. Somebody made a a, a a a fan page on Twitter. Really? <laughs> oh, a view. Yeah, that's hilarious. I hear you got a fan page twerking now. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I'm actually onboarded with Shay. Shay right now has eight kills already. Eight kills. Staying alive by himself. right now. Jumpman don't want to go down. They don't want to lose this game. They don't want to let Stray Kids itch their way back into this series. They want to get this 3-0 sweep. And you can tell. Look at this. Game. In round number seven here, they're up 3-1. 2 one situation. Pro Angel. Can he clutch this out, Tony? I think he can. I think he can. I'm actually on board with him right now. Putting some good shots on Sh on Shave. Wow. He's sensing he might be in trouble now. Absolutely Molotov <laughs> mid, though. <laughs> Jumpmen are going to seal that advantage and go up 4-3 in this round. They were currently... They were down this whole game, pretty much. All right, I see a lot of toe action in the chat. Lots of talk about feet. All right, let's get back into the gameplay here. <laughs> And Lecce going straight for the straight for top mid right now. I like the play Lecce is making. Oh, it's taken out. You might see a round nine here. Yeah, it's a three v two situation in favor of Stray Kids. Looking good. Three on one. Three v one. Oh, but Shay. One on two. What a what a last man standing here. Shea bottom mid. Can he win this one v two and clutch it out? Get the three zero sweep, or will we be seeing game nine? Oh shit, we got Naf excited, guys. 
<laughs> We're seeing a round number nine here. It's all coming down to this one. Shay with double digit kills. Can he carry that momentum here into the final round of game number three? Let's... We're going to find out. It's a sudden death right here. Sudden death action. Shay staring across uh, top mid. Good anticipation. Pre aiming. Wow. wow what a perfect. Is that enough alone to give to give them a win right there? Like, having a 4v3 situation? 4v2. Now, now they have second play have 4v2. This might be all she wrote for the Stray Kids. 3-0 sweep from the jump in, and we're seeing the Grand Finals not only before 7 p.m., but at 6.15 p.m. <laughs> wow. <laughs> jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. like it. All right, here we go. My man, Shane. Look at you. 12 kills, only 5 deaths come out of Shay and, and Breakout. No, 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 those are arena numbers. Those are SWAT numbers. He's doing that in Breakout. This might be the quickest tournament I've ever casted, Tony. <laughs> I, I mean that's the thing breakout players they, they don't they don't mess around danny they get straight to the point <laughs> straight to the point no messing around Let me go ahead and update the overlay here we're gonna be seeing the battle toads versus jumpman in the grand finals GG's chillin'. How you doing today? Chillian? Is it Chillian or chillin'? He was one-fourth of the bad kids. Battle toes. <laughs> All right. Battle toes. <laughs> Gonna make out the tweet, guys. Grand finals, baby. And yeah, I mean, obviously, this is a very early grand finals, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to be. I'm excited to be here. Obviously, I have two very, very impressive teams. Should have made it battle too. It's hilarious. King Urban wishing the GGs on to Mr. Hayes Chameko. Anyone played Adventures Beta? I have not. Subject Toad says my money's on Battle Toads. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hayes with the GGs back. Intro gravity says jumpman, jumpman, jumpman. And as I said before, them boys are indeed up to something. Uh Kudo says who won? That would be Jumpman. Sir, this is a Halo stream. <laughs> Man, Kudia, it was Jumpman that actually won that uh, just that last uh, that last round, and it was moving into your grand finals. They win two best of five series, to my knowledge. I believe it's best of five series in order to uh, advance and to become your grand champion, taking that lion's share of this three hundred dollar prize. You guys are enjoying the event. I know it's a breakout tournament, but let's get some SWAT hype in the chat. Let's go. Let's get some hype, guys. I'm on board here with why not be casting, aka why not be reckless, aka kind of a big deal. He twerks. Indeed. <laughs> I don't know where the twerking coming from. I've I've never twerked in my life. I I don't I don't know where it's coming from. No clue. Let us know in the chat. This is the grand finals. Who you guys got taking this series? Who is taking the whole tournament? 
Who is going to be crowned the Summer Breakout Champions? Type 1 for the Battle Toes. Type 2 for Jumpman. 1 for the Red Team. 2 for the Blue Team. Let us know in the chat. Let's get some hype. I'm excited. We're going to see some nasty plays. You already know, Tony. Uh, blood, sweat, and tears on the battlefield. This is for all the bragging rights. All the plays matter here. Will the Jumpman be able to force a bracket reset and a second best of seven, or the Battle Toads secure the dub right now in the first best of seven? I mean, no need to even guess at this point because we're starting things off right here, right now, on a staple in the breakout community that being Love Crossfire, it. easily one of my favorite maps. Uh, we've we've actually seen this showcase in the one v one tournaments, Danny. Yeah, I mean, and we talk about this time and time again. I'm a fan of the slower gameplay, and that's literally Crossfire. Both teams just scratching and clawing at each other for that first strike for their, uh, you know, the, the advantage. And, uh, Tony, sometimes it just goes the distance, and we see, you know, all eight members of both teams just chilling. <laughs> and I love it. I definitely love it. Yeah, hopefully something to slow down this gameplay. This gameplay is almost moving so fast we to even cast it. It's, it's I think so we can hard. find the cast. <laughs> right, who are we going on board with first? Let's see someone from the Battletoads uh, you know, Somebody new. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm going to have to agree with that. I'm going to say, I saw Pinexo in the chat. Can we, can we start off with Pinexo? Okay. Let's see some Pinexo action in the chat. Round one. Go, go. All right, here we go. Pinexo making his way down, down. So he's trying to put some warning shots into whoever's at that BR tower. I think that's Leche, right? I believe so. Yes. Uh, Dylan, not so much. Okay, so getting some warning shots from Shea with a cheeky angle from House. Penexel staying alive here on shotgun side of the map. Oh, he's, he's pushing, pushing past the 50 yard line. He's looking for a little flank. Sign with the first strike with the oh, BR. Great. Some great shots by Penexel putting that player one shot, but hold on. Buck Tender goes down. Leche goes down. Both these teams just seem two so neck and neck, team. Tony. <laughs> and there we go, now we have a 3v1 situation, all but over. And the battle to- Oh, it was Harzo! Shoot the bot! <laughs> He's just sitting on his forehead, spraying <laughs> that SMG! What a massive form of uh -oh. disrespect there, Tony. I mean, in my opinion, that earns- that earns a view. Yeah. We, we gotta have more with Harzo. We, we need that entertainment, <laughs> baby. Let us give what the fans want to see. Very solid shot, right? Real, I, I like the movement with his shot. Very little movement with his right stick, uh, aiming with his left one, and at, at, that's a way to succeed uh, as far as your shot. Arzo with some nice cross map shots. Both players, both teams, no no one dropped yet. This is the, the, the clawing and scratching that I was talking about, Tony. I love to see it. Arzo has not died yet. Just putting some shots. Uh, it, it, it feels like it feels like both teams are trying to fill each other out and wait for their opponents to make a mistake, as opposed to them just pushing randomly. Pushed over to Hadev. Hadev's pushing up on Penexel here. Oh, he had to reload. Penexel gets cleaned up by King Urban though. King Urban gonna save him. Can't wait to see say that I'm back in school. I'm in school right now learning how to play breakout. <laughs> Four on two. And now we have a 4v2 situation. Now in favor of the blue team squad. They're about to tie up this matchup right here. There we have it. There we have it. There you have it. We have a tied up match so far. Wow. Jumpman staying in this one. Not letting the battle toes get that momentum. I keep saying battle toes. That was an actual accident right there. <laughs> Damn it, Groovy it's Ninja! Sure they, they'll accept either or. On board here with Hative. As am I. As am I. I really trust his long range shots, sitting all the way back there, trying to put some shots on BR Tower. Excellent with an opening strike, and look, Battle Toads now. Oh my god, Battle Toads! Excellent going for that ground pound, getting punished by Hative. Native. Not much you can do there in 1v4 situation there against a, you know, a team like the Battle Toes. Yes, battle, the, the Battle Toes, dag, dag, dab it, uh, put out a very good show right now.
Now they have a two-one lead in this matchup in this uh, in this game one of this series. It's so so confusing. Series games matches it's so confusing. Switching over to Shay, trying to make a river to river play, getting some shots in, putting a nade in the house, trying to stop any pushes. Wow, and King Urban gonna get a nade kill. That's a first strike for Jumpin. Let's see if they can capitalize and push up with the numbers here. Sign capitalizing on a mistake though. It's all squared up again. And this game is just so close, Tony. Yeah, 3v3 situation. I'm actually on board here with Shay, who's working this uh this house side of things. Basically towards uh middle of the map here. That's it's might be a dangerous play. Maybe either a great player or a dangerous one. Arso has six kills right himself. now. He's dead, and he's literally typing in the chat. We got one minute left. <laughs> Two on three. I'm bored here with Buck Tender. I stay alive in Red Yard here. Trying to play the numbers game here, despite being down a player. He's waiting for that mistake. A 3v2 situation in favor of the blue team squad, but there, yeah, oh, hold on, 2v1. Buck Tender by himself right now, and he gets taken out. 2-2 two, two series now. Wow, just so back and forth, Tony. The series just started. Round five. And this is exactly what you want a grand finals to be. Back and forward action. No team. We don't want to see no, no sweeps here. We want to see nice close. Let's try some King Urban action. King Urban kind of lingering around blue platform where the nade spawn. Trying to get some shots in. And some call outs to his teammate. Looks like three members of the red team might be pushing into house. King Urban. And a 1v1 versus Pinexel. Gonna have to back down there. Warning shots being fired all over the place right now, and Shay getting the perfect kill on Buck Tender. Another go ahead kill from Jumpman. This is huge. I'm just reading the chat. This is one of those points in the tournament, Tony, where the chat becomes so exciting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's toxic for me to even say. 3-2 lead now in favor of Jumpman in this well, match number one. And actually, I, I do apologize. I said it was a best of five series. It looks like that's actually a seven, best of yep. seven. Yes. Especially if the Jumpman forces second best of seven. I mean, it could be a good thing that this uh, grand final started early because we could be here all night. How Panda says, hide your toes, go battle toads. <laughs> Tarzo with a perfect... Pushing in the house, it's gonna be Hato versus Harzo. Harzo getting some good shots in. Hato challenging, good teamwork coming out of the red team here. And it's all tied up again! 3v3 snipes! Round seven. What are you getting ready for there, Guns? Is there a 3v3 snipes starter in here? Why can't we? And it looks like we're on board with the sign right now. We actually, we, I don't think yeah, we showed him much love. Some sign action. And some nice shots into Leche across the map. It doesn't look like much is happening, but there's so much damage being put up between these two teams. Oh yeah, with with, with, with teams at this caliber of of, of, of breakout play, and like and they, and they, there's just a, a bunch of poking out, putting shots, poking out, putting shots. But the moment one player makes a mistake, the team is gonna call it out, and they will. Wow, out. what a pick from Shay there, sneaking his way, getting a cheeky angle into their house door. Sign answering back with a nade onto King Urban. Still on board with Shay, Tony. Nice on board here with Shay as he makes his way outside the house. He, he don't want to go in the house. He's out of the house. All right, guns. Fair enough. <laughs> Currently have a 2v3 lead in favor of the blue team squad, and they are advancing the flag forward. And they got the numbers. They can definitely do it. They, no, that was a beautiful play by the blue team here. Yes. Up for elimination. If the action is not being forced and you have numbers, sometimes you have to force the action, Round but eight. you have to do it smart.
see some Leche here. He's making his way over to uh, shotgun side of the map. Like Penexel on the other side. Interesting slow play here from Leche. Anticipating some aggression. But I mean, I don't think we're going to see too much aggression here in game one. I mean, this is round number eight. Battletoads can't lose this round or it's over. And they'll lose the game one. Board here with Buck Tender. He's got the BR in hand. He's circling his way over to shotgun side of the map. Maybe Penexel was communicating him to him that there's some good angles from over here. He could probably get a pick. Now Penexel cycling. We got a little bit of a rotation and mixing it up. We got one minute. And Buck Tender actually has the battle right sitting at the back of the base, hopefully get some good shots. Eight of answering back with some his, some of his own BR shots here. <laughs> Look at this, all these uh, players just scattered outside of house. It's funny, because I, I actually enjoy pushing the left side of the bat, but it, it only works if there's an opposing player wow. on the left side. And it's, it's kind of Tony, We might run out of time before we see a pick here. And that, if that doesn't <laughs> tell you how close this game is, I don't know what does. Wow. Both teams want it bad. You can tell, Tony. Absolutely. Chillin says nice back and forward action, and I will have to agree, Chillin. I will have to agree. Axel with the shotgun in hand. If he pushes up, is he going to get punished? 10, Ten seconds. seconds uh, nothing's going to happen here, because if if not all players die, it's just the time. Oh, shoot. Jump in. Fall apart here. Holy, they good, did a good job staying alive, Tony. <laughs> on the chopping block. And that is a round tie, but luckily for Jumpin' right now, because Battletoads was 100% making a yeah. play right there. In my opinion, if you're down in numbers, you should lose the round. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I, totally I don't want to be that guy, but... It's an interesting thing, <laughs> a little interesting breakout dynamic. Or at least in overtime. Especially if you're down by two. If you're down by two, you definitely... Axel, huge first strike here in round number nine. Actually, round number ten. Three on three. Or is it actually no? It's round number nine. I'm crazy. Not good for the battle toes. If you're a fan of the battle toes, to see someone fall like that, the sign. Axel getting some good pre-fire in. We got a 3v3 situation as we approach the one minute mark of the game. Hopefully, not, we're not going to another tie here, Danny. We're not going to another tie. Axel has to be careful. Which is up too far. Hatem is definitely minute. watching that angle from the blue side. Nice shots into Shea, but he's got to be careful if he overextends. Nice play by the Battletoads. Three on two. Two on two. And they work this 2v1. On it's going to be Shea versus Penexel and Bucktender. Of Tender and Penexel are collapsing together in unison. Shay doesn't really know what to do, and can you blame him? <laughs> Prometheum, thank you for the host. Tony, what a situation to tie up the game. 4-4 in game one. Are you kidding me? Round 10. We have a 4-4 sudden death. I am not kidding whatsoever. Who are we have on board here in that? Let's watch a little Harzo. <laughs> Alright. Z's if you And look, all four players of the no one went... pushed to the house side. Interesting. <gasps> Beautiful nade. That's what you call a GB nade coming out of King Urban. Arzo trying to return the favor. Ooh, it looks like they can't fall apart here, Tony. If they fall another player, 4v2 might be a little bit too hard. Now the red team can play a little bit slower. Oh, sign was a beautiful. Oh. But King Urban answering back. Adolf gets the nice flank here. That's a huge flank. No. Wow. The Jumpman sealed the deal in game one. They sealed the deal indeed. That's a 5-4 victory in favor of Jumpman taking your match number two. Doesn't that match that? That's match number one. I'm sorry. Ga ga game, game number one. Holy Tony. Sorry. <laughs> I'm confused between games and yeah, matches. Yeah, I know. Because that breakout does it. that. Because there's <laughs> rounds, there's games, there's series, there's <laughs> matches. How you doing? Yo, subject Sorry, to, thank you for the follow. That was game number one on the series, and they won the match. They won five matches, I guess.
I'm lost. I'm done. <laughs> Virginia Velocity, thank you for the host. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Clem, what's going on? Uh, Clem, I totally agree with you on that one. Twelve kills out of Shea. Wow, he's coming in hot. The losers bracket really working in his favor. That run, warming him up for this series. Wait, what? I was looking at the wrong. Why would you do that to me? Three for three. I don't. <laughs> can you tell me the stats? I'm not getting the stats from last game. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're looking. We're looking at. I mean, not. He he actually get twelve kills, but he didn't get four kills and four. That's not even close. Uh, hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hate him and King Urban okay. dropping seven kills a piece with hate of three assists on his side. Harzo was actually leading all slays with nine and six. You're totally fine, Subject Toad. Hope you had a good tournament, man. Well, it looks like you did. Came fourth place, dude. Some bragging rights in that for sure. Sometimes we actually pay out top four. Just so happens this one we're not. There was a fourth place prize pool, but I demanded it to be here. I demanded that fourth place prize, prize pool. <laughs> What's up, Virginia Velocity? Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you, man. We have over 100 people right now watching some of the best breakout action there is. Uh, you got the sign, Buck Tender, Harzo, and Pedexo. Going against Hative, King Urban, Leche, and Shea. Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this first best of seven. Type 1 for the red team, the Battletoads. Type 2 for Jumpman. We're currently up 1-0 in the series. One for the red team, two for the blue team. Who is taking this first best of seven? Uh, you're looking on the screen right now, quiet. You got Battletoads versus the Jumpman. This is game number two of the first potential of two best series. of sevens. I literally just read off every player. <laughs> Keep up, quiet. <laughs> Shock in the middle of the map here. Uh, playing on uh, Trench. Round one. It goes down in the trend. In the next two weeks, type exclamation mark tourney aesthetic skills. Uh, the closest Swan Nation one, I think, is September 5th. So I think that's within two weeks, right? Yes. Exactly. Four on three. Shay. Shay opening things up with taking out Buck Tender. Now we have a 4v3 situation in favor of Jumpman. I feel like Shay plays on a high sense because I can't even keep up with this POV. <laughs> He's making me freak out. Three on one. Nice pull. They got the numbers. They don't even need to pull it. They're looking good. They took game one. Took round one of game two. Can the jumpman be stopped here? Battletoads are gonna have to shake off the ice. The the cold feet, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> toes! Kick them toes, baby! On board here with Pinexel. Pinexel making it. Yeah, he's making it right over towards the left side of the map and actually playing very aggressive, making it all the way towards the 50, but has to dodge some nades. One minute, 43 seconds on the clock of this uh, particular round. Definitely ran into a roadblock of grenades. Jumpman showing no signs of slowing down, even in round two. Look at them, the way they're pushing up together. This Battletoads got their work cut out for them here. They might have the comfort of another series, but do you want to go to that second best of seven? I know I don't. I, I think Battletoads wants to uh, make a comeback and take this right here, right now in the grand final. The last thing you want to do is, is give Jumpman life because they're, they're, they're taking that, that, that momentum and they're turning it into round and game win. Watch Leche here. Working blue base. Shay. First strike. No. It's not only a first strike. Oh my. The ninja coming out of sign onto Shay. Can we get a rut row in the chat? Oh my goodness. That man has a family. That is not right, Sign. That don't is do not that right. on the mainstream, Sign. Hated hey, going for the stick. He ends up missing that one, but comes right back at him. Oh. Takes out Pinexel. 3-0 lead in favor of Jumpman as far as rounds go. Might have gotten injured, but he's still looking good in this game. I mean, he's got six kills. Just go on board here with Shay. He's feeling himself. So am I. Whoa. What? Tony. <laughs> that wasn't me. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> Shane making his way towards. I love the confidence coming out of Shane right now. Moves right to the middle of the map. Has great angles. Obviously, he's in the open a little bit, but it just shows the confidence that he has in his shot and his breakout gameplay. 
What is up, Dreidel? How you doing? Still on board with Shay. Both teams looking for that first strike. Battletoads really itching to get that first strike. They just can't get momentum on Trench here. They simply can. Yeah, we're a 44 situation now approaching the one minute mark. Things have to pick up uh, real quick because I end up, uh, end up in a tie. Four on three. Another first strike, and it's going to be Shea with seven kills already, Tony. We've got one minute left. Four on if he puts up 12 again. <laughs> Going solo. Oh, 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 oh. We need to one situation. He goes long. down. King Herbert gets the kill for that one. And we have a 4 0 lead in favor five. of Drummond. One more game away, one more round away from taking this game. Number, and number this two. This is a different Jumpman roster from last tournament. Uh, two members on the Jumpman squad are different. We're normally used to seeing Sleepology and Vemzy, but it's Lecce and Hative instead. Uh, you think they? that's the reason why they lost in the winner's bracket earlier? They were just warming up? Three on four. I mean, it definitely could be. I mean, this hate of King Urban, Lecce, and Chase squad are clearly not the same squad today the <laughs> that was played in the in the winners bracket. I didn't get to see it, but I'm watching what I'm seeing right now. They got a two O lead against yeah. Battletoads right now, and they look like they might just uh, sweep. They look like they might They're sweep. looking like a different team in Battletoads. Gonna have to re-strategize. Get hype because they got they got the work cut out for themselves. What is up, Izzy Lorene? Thanks for coming out. It has been a while. Hope you're doing well, and hope Anomaly's doing well as well. Good to see you in the chat. I am looking at the scoreboard right now. You got 11 and 2 coming out of Shea. The red team combined only had six kills oh. in total. We got a little bit of a goose coming out of Harzo. Oh, we won't talk about it. Wow. I, I, I said it. <laughs> you darn did. <laughs> I said what I said. Oh, cool, Tony. All right, moving into game three. What can the Battle Toads do? I mean, they're only down two. It's still early. But if they lose this next game, they legit have to get a reverse sweep to not see that second best of seven. Uh, we're playing on Canal right now, so obviously uh, the, the key to this game is obviously uh, controlling Invis and uh, try to stay alive as much as possible. But you, but I promise you, you need to you need to control Invis almost more than you need to control the numbers. Uh, Invis is so powerful; you can one v three if you play it right. All right, let us know in the chat after watching those first two games of the grand finals. Who do you guys got taking this one? Have your votes changed? Type one for the Battle Toads, the red team; two for Jumpman. The blue team, one for the red team, two for the blue team. The blue team is up 2 0. Aesthetic? Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> 26 days of work. Whew. Break out. Let's get serious. I haven't worked for 26 days total. Battle Toads are coming. Leg says, get ready, oh, gentlemen. The Battle Toads are coming. Uh oh. What? Let's see. Let's go board here with Buff Tender. Looks like he's making it over to flag side of the map. He's gonna be looking over to Camel side and spotting some players on the blue team running for Camel. It's gonna be King Urban. Hitting that front. Am I the only person that truly appreciates Buck Tender's attack? <laughs> I think it's a fantastic. Going solo. One on three. Okay, might be in trouble here. Can he win this 1v3 with Hydra? Nice pre-fire onto Harzo. one situation he's playing pretty well for being by himself Shay getting a big kill on harzo right being there extra annoying staying alive here he went he went for it but he's gonna get taken out and look at that can the battle toads uh be showing some signs of life here round two uh they, they might just be i mean they, they might just be we have, we have two kills come out of harzo right now uh that's literally two more he got the entire game last night on board with him as he makes way over towards the flag type i want to watch sign here Looks like he's gonna be pushing out to camo with Penexel here actually let's move over to Penexel. Oh, Penexel's gonna, gonna do much, but it's gonna be King Urban with Camo here. Oh, we're getting melted. And look at the nades flying. Let's see in shape throwing nades on the opposite side of the map right there. Three on three. Oh. Nice cleanup from Penexel. Camo's three still up. Two. I thought it was picked up. Going solo. Big play come out of Penexel right there. Big play. 1v2 situation. Wow, that nade. Oh. Wow, Penexel with that patience. <gasps> that round's a loss. It'll happen. 1-1 one, one. <laughs> off the rip here in game three of this grand finals. Tony. I thought Penexel played that fairly well, but just wasn't able to put it down, and that crown power was absolutely incredible coming out yeah, of hate. I think hate he deserves the POV here. 
And that's what 353 thinks as well. Nice pre-made out of Buck is firing it up. Let's go on board with him. That's around to remove. Two one now in favor of the Battle Toads here in game three of the grand finals. Potential first best of seven of two. Battle Toads, can they take Canal here? My man Buck 50 turning it up right there. Harzo really leading this out of this squad. Four kills and three assists. Very impressive. Nervin does a good job of not getting punished after grabbing the camo. Oh, but the nade comes out from Buck, and Buck is full of nades today, Tony. He absolutely is. I uh, played uh, incredible. King Urban was able to slide away with that camo right there, but ends up getting caught with the beautiful nade coming out of Buck, uh, uh, Buck 50, if you will. 2-1 lead in favor of Red, Red Squad as far as, uh, as far as players in this You're round. fan of the Battletoads, it's looking good for you because, honestly, they're up 2-1. They're up 2-1 in this game. Potentially up 3-1 if they can get this last kill onto Shea, who's hanging out over on the objective side of the map. Shots being exchanged, and Shea is... We got one I mean, minute left. if there's going to be a last man standing, you're going to want it to be Shea. This man is a wizard. He really is. I'm going to need Buck Tender to actually play. There we go. Now Buck Tender is trying to make, make his way over towards the flag side uh, with his teammate. Now he can kind of bait and switch a little bit here. Oh, no. Shea! Oh. Duel. Oh, oh. Buck Tender, you're not ready for this. <laughs> yeah. you're, not, you're not ready oh, for this, Buck no. Tender. This, this ain't your round, buddy. <laughs> Go for the side. Shea being an absolute <laughs> nuisance, Tony. That name might have let Shane know exactly where he's at right there. Oh, good. Sh okay, there we go. Good shot from Buck right there. And now going to catch a different angle. Interesting play Maybe by Shane. Oh, he's no, no, actually no, no. out of pistol <laughs> ammo. He needs the flag ammo. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize that. Telling him to switch to his SMG. That's why he was using it there. And look at that. Round tied. We're tied there. We have a 2 1 lead still in favor of Battle Toads for this round. It's possible they might be able to put a game on this series board. We have to play a little bit better right now. Gotta put at least at least three more wins as far as rounds go. What a big brain, says Groovy Ninja. What is up, Mythanoia? I see. Oh my golden arm! That's gonna give him the scatter shot. The sign. Oh my goodness, Tony. You missed it today. This man has grenades for days. He's the quarterback of this team, if you will. Oh, 1v1. Duel. This is what we look for. Penexo going against Leche. Penexo has a chance to get Campbell. He has to play well. Oh. Yes, all right, Leche's pushing like in. Let's play from Penexo. No milk. Oh, that grenade from Leche, though. Dylan, not letting him get Campbell right Shots flying everywhere right now. So, oh, we're finally going for the camo and Ooh, able and to get away with it. In trouble now. How does he play this out? Does he need to sprint and get just get really unpredictable? Like, you how do you fight play. camo? I think Lich is going to try to make the camouflage shoot first so he knows what he's at, then challenge. Yeah, if you're a fan of uh, Jumpman and Leche here, you're going to hope he has the Xbox One X. <laughs> Apparently, that helps you see camo. 43 more seconds. And Penek, look, are we going to see another tie? Oh. No, he going for the Hydra! <laughs> Just 30 seconds. See, but him going for that Hydra right there, he ends up losing his uh, Leche. I mean, I'd be nervous just going up against Penex on a 1v1. But a Penex with camo, it's a whole other story. Where does that have camo anymore? Doesn't anymore. Play is coming out of Leche. Ten seconds left. That's exactly where you are. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, almost makes him off right there. Oh, another tie. This series is just so close. Despite being a 2-0 for the gen Jumpman, it's just, wow, neck and neck, back and forth, Tony. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I think Penexo should have probably played a little more aggressive with that camouflage instead of wrapping around going for Hydra. I mean, you already have the power, but I, I think he had the advantage. He, he could have doubled that. Buck Tender starting out with a first strike. It's going to be a perfect. Perfect kill. Perfect kill. Wow! King, <laughs> King Urban not missing. 
You know what they say, when he's not missing, his Three. body's in hunting mode, because he's starving! <laughs> My gosh, King Urban Seven. getting three kills that round. Does everyone have to have on board? I think, I think we have to have on board with him. King Urban? I All think right. so. I, I, I didn't see him last round. Always making his play for Camo. That is his role, it looks like, on Canal. Gonna lock it and get it for free, it looks like. But not actually with the cost of losing one of his teammates. Yeah, but you can't you can't give away free camo, so you just can't. Two on two. Perfect kill. You're on a roll. I like that play from Buck. Double. Help drew out King Urban for his teammates to actually get the shots in the back of Camel there. We got another 1v1. Harzo versus Leche. Oh, and Harzo! <laughs> Body disrespect too! <laughs> Gonna shut him down and take the uh <laughs> advantage in this in this game. Uh, yeah, my man Harzo actually going from goosing to now shooting bodies. He's eight kills and three assists to boot. Very, very good, uh, very good match, I would say, for Harzo. Uh, a jack of all trades tournament and a 1v1 tournament. You type exclamation mark tourney and check out all the details in Gravity. Both those events will be happening on a Thursday. We got the club going up on a Thursday. And we're now in a 3v1 situation now in favor of Jumpman. Can they tie oh up this round? One on two. How much you can do there with camo approaching you like that? Tied up 3 3, Tony. The rounds are detied. Full teams need only two uh, rounds in order to take this game right here. I think Battle but Battle is a little more desperate than Jumpman. They're actually down 0 2 in the entire series. You sign, throw those Hail Marys. Three on four. Two on three. Three v two situation in favor of Jumpman and King Urban once again gets the camouflage. Three v one situation here. Jumpman are jumping around there. Oh my goodness! As they celebrate taking the lead in this game, four three. They need one more win. Round ten. Wait, is this the final yeah, round? That was not the best round for Battlefield. Because if if the Battletoads win this, it's a tie game. Oh, I was, I was making sense. I, I, I didn't see that. It was a couple of ties, yeah. so. Go from Buck. We might see a replay on this map. Unless Jumpman can say otherwise. <laughs> We're currently down two right now. The two players, that is. D-Man, thank you for the host. How you doing today? You're having one. a good swatter day, as everybody else in the chat is too, hopefully. Two on one. Leche all by himself. He has a 1v2, the sign, and buck tender in order to take this round. Yeah, Dubby. They clawed through the loser's bracket. They're feeling it, and they're up 2 0 in this series, Dubby. Desso says, uh, no, it keeps going, okay. or at least it does on pub. Might be different from turn. Uh, just we got one sure. left. We'll find out. We'll find out. Protect our carrier. It'll be a surprise. Oh, yeah. But Leche has the Hydra. Danny, oh. Leche has the Hydra. They need to get this kill on Leche. They actually do need to kill him. I like this play, though. Force Leche to move. Yeah, what's up, B-Man? Oh, it does keep going. Nice. 4-4. Four, four. Round 11. Oh, boy. What's up, P.O.? Ain't no ties around here. Who are we going on board with? Let's see. Uh, we haven't seen uh, much King Urban. Let's go on board with him. All right. Way over to Camo, as usual. Dodging some grenades. This is a huge round. Whoever wins this round advances. I mean, goes another. gets one on the board in the series. You really not know Breakout at all, zombie? <laughs> if Breakout was in Halo 4, that was perfect. 4v2 situation now in favor of Jumpman right now. Hold on. on That's another 4v1. Four 4v1 four right now. Jumpman could go up 3. Oh, in the series. That's wow. The match. Wow. Tony. The Battletoads are sitting pretty in the grand finals, but now they have to get a reverse sweep or else we're going to be seeing a second best of seven. Crazy. Lecce showing up here in game three. 11 kills. And this is obviously not the same Jumpman squad that were in the winner's bracket finals before. They are now rejuvenated. Uh, they must be warmed up here, or or, or maybe they were throwing. Maybe, maybe they were throwing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Jumpman looking hot. Battletoads 
aka the Battletoads, as someone would say. Oh my goodness. I already know Nafberger's a big fan of the Battletoads. What do you think, Tony? I, at the moment you said Toes, he, he literally freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to update you guys on some things. Uh, we're currently looking at the bracket, uh, the gr uh, and it's the Grand Finals. The Battletoads, Harzo, Panexel, Bucktender, and The Sign taking on Jumpman, Hate of Shay, and King Urban. Battletoads were here first. Uh, Jumpman had to climb through the loser's bracket. Let's look at their journey through the loser's bracket. They were sent to the loser's bracket in round two. They had to take out SMGs only, Rather Play 2.0, The Cappers, Bad Kids, and then The Stray Kids. All the kids. <laughs> and now <laughs> they're in the grand finals up 3-0 in the first best of seven against the Battletoads. I mean... I like SMGs only. That's a good... That's a funny squad name. Um, so, yeah, uh, just to go over some announcements today, if you guys missed, you could type exclamation mark tourney and sign up for some tournaments, but let's go over the announcements. Jack of All Trades version 2, September 10th, the second Thursday of the month at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thursday, guys, I repeat, it's in the week, uh, but it's going to be a little bit later, so hopefully people from work can come home and play in a tournament, not even on the weekend, in the middle of the week. Let's go, baby. Also, if, in case you guys missed it, we also announced... Before Sunset, this is the second installment of the 1v1 trilogy. Uh, Legend took the first one. Who's going to take that crown from him? September 24th. That is the fourth Thursday of September. Uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, you can sign up at MidnightHalo.com. What is up, Warrior? Veronica, it's good to see you guys in the chat. You guys can also sign up for that one. Guys, I'm just waiting for them to set up the lobby, by the way. I'm not milking them. Or am I, Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> the first Thursday. I mean, the, f the first Saturday of the month if you guys missed it swat nation announced the 3v3 throwdown september 5th not too far away tony september 5th at not 2 at p.m all. eastern 3v3 throwdown pick your team of three and sign up at swatnation.net slash events also the third installment of the uh challenger series headshot harvest 250 dollars on the line no uh winners of the past three months can compete also, no HCS players, so September 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern. There's four tournaments in September you can sign up between Midnight Halo and uh, SwatNation.net. Uh, get on it, guys. Type exclamation mark tourney in the chat. Sign up. Lots of tournaments. Uh, hopefully that helps with the journey to infinite. We love hosting tournaments yes. for you guys. As uh, Without further ado, guys, let's head into game four of the grand finals here. Let's see if the Battletoads can put one on the board and itch towards a reverse sweep. Who you guys got taking this one? Type one for the Battletoads. That's going to be the red team. Two for the Jumpmen, who are currently up 3-0 in the series. One for the red team, two for the blue team. Tony, do you see the right Battletoads now. getting this reverse sweep, and, and are we seeing a back, second best of seven? I mean, it, it's tough for me to say that's possible. I mean, the way Jumpmen are playing right now, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody stopped them. I don't know if Tox stopped them. I mean, the con oh, <laughs> this this is actually the map that King Urban came into the chat and said, take high rise out of the tournament. Because Battletoads sent them to the loser's <laughs> bracket via this map. Watch the nades that come out out of uh, the Battletoads. They got nades for days. They got Hail Marys, uh, Tony. Yeah, so this map is very big, uh, very, very different than the normal breakout setting. So Battletoads might actually be able to put one on the board with this map alone. What, are currently down two? They're currently down one player already. 3v3. 3v3 situation. Look, to miss the melee. All right, guys, I'm not getting enough hype in the chat. We got to know. Type 1 for the Battletoads to become your summer breakout champions. Type 2 if you want to see the Jumpmans become your summer breakout champions. 2-1-2. Two 2v2. Two. Two two. And so far, we have a 2v2 situation right now. Hative hey, getting into a little bit of engagement against Panexo. This is interesting because this was an absolute slaughter in favor of the Battletoads last time they played Rise. This is a different Jumpman squad. They've warmed up through the loser's bracket, and it shows. And now we have a 1v1 from Leche going up against Buck Tender. Shots being exchanged. 40 seconds on the clack. Did I say clack? What is wrong with me? Clack! Clack! On the clack! <laughs> Let's get it. Just 30 seconds. Wait. Buck is casting. Or the Buck announcer and Buck Tender? What am I looking? What is this? <laughs> Buck commentating on his own gameplay here, Cosmo. How you doing? 
Ten seconds. I think they're just opting for the tie here. And it's funny, they were actually, they were momentarily just side by side, but had no clue. They were so close to each other before. Round tied. <laughs> Indeed, it's gravity. Uh, a jumpman was coming out of the loser's bracket, but as of right now, they're looking like they came out of the winner's bracket. They're, they're looking absolutely incredible right now. Um, round one tie there. Play smart, let's show them Watch, time. let's go on board with the sign. He throws some juicy grenades. Like he's actually holding yeah, up. Yeah, two grenades on his in his back pocket right now. Buck oh, ten, they're opening things up by taking out King Urban. Four on two. Alto's looking good. Four four v two situation here in round two. Three on one. And looks like Hative all by him loads right now. We have a 3v2 3 v one situation. Excuse me. And there we go. Pnexel taking out Hative. 1-0 lead now in favor of Battle uh, Toads as far as rounds go. Arzo going to lead the squad with three kills. Three. Zombie says Battle Toads have been lagging behind, but they are coming in strong on this map, Bob. Definitely are. Zombie, you feeling like casting the rest of this tournament with Tony? Let me know in the chat. Three on four. <laughs> You gotta get. I'll let you call. You gotta me get up. zombie on the the casting couch one of these. Days. For for we do situation now in favor of the red team squad right now. and and let's it goes down. Let's it goes three. down. The shots from Shay. Two v one situation staying alive. Two v three right now. Going solo. They all alone taken out and the battle toads showing why they are so good at this map. They look like an absolute unit. They absolutely do. I'm pretty sure one of the players to come back into the chat wishing that we take it out of the playlist <laughs> or out of the tournament, excuse me. On board here with Shay. Approaching the 50-yard line. Sign taking out Three on four. taking out King Urban here. Another good kill for the Battletoads. Lecce going to answer back. Three on three. The kill feed. Three back and forth three. action here. Oh, I think Sign wanted the Spartan Charge there. Shut down by Hative, though. <laughs> and we got a 1v1. <gasps> Pinexel takes out Hative. And look at this. Battletoads up 3-0. They really love this map. And Jumpin really doesn't. <laughs> Round five. <laughs> they absolutely are. Yeah, that's 3-0 right now. Only two more uh, rounds for them to take this game and finally put something on the series board. On board here with Shay. Nice. Oh, actually might have naded his teammate there. King Urban tries to stay alive, gets punished by his own teammate. <laughs> Still by sign. Sign pushing up into the enemy base. It's going to be shy. I mean, sign versus... I think that was Leche, right? On board. Yes. Arzo. The high ground. Nice work by Shea and Leche to take down Sign. Two members of the Battletoads high ground right now. This is the grand final, Zeng, and uh, currently Jumpman are up 3-0. So if they win this series, they force a second best of seven. <laughs> King Urban in the chat again. <laughs> <laughs> we got one minute left. We have a 2v2 situation right now. Oh my gosh, and Leche taking out Harzo. Now we have a 2v1 situation here. <laughs> and that player just falls all the way down to level one. We won the round. Oh, and it looks like the Jumpman showing some signs of life here. Yeah, finally putting a, a round on the board here, but they're still down by two. Strat here by King Urban trying to get an angle, opting to go to the back of his base. Trying to play a little uncharacteristic, re strategize. They know this is the map for the Battletoads to win. Two on four. Took the flag. 
and just like that, jump in or down to just King Urban and Leche while Red Team has all their players up this round. Interesting, because on this map, you actually have to capture the flag by bringing it to the enemy team base. And look at King Urban right now. Going solo. I think he kind of put himself in that situation, Tony. He just might have been. Yes, King Urban actually currently by himself. Arzo, Pedexo, and the side. Uh, enemy scored. That round's a loss. There you have it. Yo, Battletoads are up 4-1 in the specific game right now. Round seven. We're going on board. Let's uh, let's watch someone from the red team here. Watch some Harzo. That's a solid pick. Harzo was disgusting. He had, a, he had a really good round uh, last game. Three on four. Four on two. And battle to way down two players. I'm gonna have a 3v1 situation. Jumpman has three players on the board here. I mean, definitely do have the numbers game. And they're gonna capitalize. The round. Stay alive in they're this game. Chopping block. Round eight. I'm on board here with Buck Tender. Let's see what he does as he approaches the high ground left side of the map. Looks like he fell low. I don't know if that was intentional or not. He might have uh, misplayed there. Nice shots. Helping out Harzo to get that first strike. Answering back, it's going to be King Urban. Great teamwork, baby. This switch come out of battle tool, but they're still in a 3v3 situation. So uh, let's see if they can gain the edge in this nice round. Nice angle from Penexel. Trying to get those flank shots to help out his teammate over on tower side of the map. Three on two. Let's chase. Stutter step in his way for a flank, trying to get that element of surprise. The jumpmen do have the advantage in this specific round as well. Are they bouncing back? We're about to find out. Leche winning a big one. battle up against Penexo now, putting his team in a 3v1 situation. The side, the singular person left on his team. Left. Up, Ocean flies. Yeah, this is the grand finals. Jumpmen are staying alive here in round number four with the 3 0 series lead. On the chopping block. Wow, Tony, could they do it? Could they actually win high rise? Round nine. Hey, it's definitely a possibility. I mean, I, I, Battletoads only needs one right now, but Jumpman have a whole lot of momentum in their favor. On board here with Shay. Three members of the red team pushing over to tower side of the map. It's exactly what they needed. They have the advantage now. Leche answering back to equalize it. <laughs> Maybe three situation here. The next one, King Urban are down for each team. Oh, but three on two. Ooh. Buck Tender getting the perfect kill on Shay, but Hayden goes out with a 2v1 situation in favor of Battletoads. I know Electra, they know where Electra is dead. dead. Jumpmen were just... It's just 3-3. Now they're fighting for their lives here in this game four. Battletoads might get some momentum in this series with this win. We got one minute left. Can let Jay yeah, do can't it. Can't let Jay milk for another. <laughs> That's oh. what I was about to say. <laughs> Great dipsy doodling, <laughs> bamboozling. It looked like he was trying to go for the time. He was able to milk for another forty seconds. He might have gotten it. Battle Toads take high rise in game number four, and now it's a three-one series lead in favor of Jumpman in this first best of seven. Just a reminder, guys: the Battle Toads only need to win this series to win the tournament. However, Jumpman need to finish this series. They need to put. Battletoads to bed before this reverse sweep to force the second best of seven. Tony, not only is this series getting hot, no, no, not only is the summer breakout getting hot, but my room is getting hot. <laughs> I'm starting to melt. I can't see straight. I mean, I've actually heard that you are so good looking. You raise the, the, the room by 10 degrees no matter where you go. Tony, I'm going to have to pay you to say things like that. <laughs> Whew, it's hot. You know what? I might bust an energy drink here. Sorry, what are you busting? An energy drink. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. What is up, Joshua? Yeah, we got the summer breakout, dude. A breakout tournament. <clears throat> You know what, 
Sony. I'm gonna crack open a beer. What do you think? It's so hot. I got that Budweiser. Dark Beetle, we appreciate the vibes, dude. <clears throat> Tony makes the any casting couch look good. I appreciate him. I hate him. <laughs> Uh, w, we appreciate the vibes, dude. W, you're a legend in your own right, dude. Thank you for uh, filling in today. Leche, gonna, uh, you know, live up to his name and milk a little here. <clears throat> so, Danny, says this this tour might be ending kind of soon. Are, are you gonna stream? Are you actually gonna stream? Oh, no, this? no, no, no. It's so <laughs> hot, dude. Oh. <laughs> are you gonna stream after this? Uh, I'm considering. I mean, I might have a little raid for you or something like that. If you, you know what I'm saying? I, I am considering. All right. Saturday <sighs> night, bro. I gotta redeem another twerk. I, I will. I will literally. <laughs> I, I will quit both. I will quit both Midnight Halo what? and Nation. All right. Type one in the chat if you want to see Tony twerk. Type two for the Battle Toads. Three for Jumpman. Four. If you absolutely don't give a fuck. Five for Toe Nudes. Six to Spark Charge Beth Bear. Seven to Ben Naff. I could go on for days. <laughs> Hayden said we wanted to give them some hope. But next response said it didn't work. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <clears throat> Yo, Mio, welcome back. What's up, Thunder? Vitamin D. We wanted to give them some hope. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, tough guy. Battle toes. Will they come in hot with the reverse sweep and not see a second best of seven? Type two for the red team. That's the battle toads. Three for jumpman. We want to hear you in the chat, guys. Let's get some battle toads hype. Let's get some jumpman hype. Let's see some chance in the chat. Round one. <clears throat> Tony, who's taking this game five? Um, uh, I'm gonna say Jumpman. Let's go. I'm gonna They're gonna seal the deal and force that right second now. best of seven? I All think right. so. And they, they've been playing, outside of last game, they've been playing absolutely lights out. And you said they just didn't like that bat. <laughs> See what happens. I mean, they got the starting first strike. On board here with Shay. Making his way downtown. He's gonna run into Panexo. Panexo gonna make him back down. Leche helps him up. Helps him with the nade. Wow. Jumpmen are just. This is an entirely different roster from what we saw earlier. That round's a loss. It must be. I mean, they were in the losers if, bracket if round two, Jumpman, Tony. It, it, it's round absolutely two. insane to me. It, 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 it doesn't make any sense. It happened the last time we did a breakout tour, uh, breakout tournament, and it like Jumpmen's trying to uh, try to replicate those. I mean, uh, those they same got results. second place in the last breakout tournament. They're fighting for first place in this tournament. This might be the team to beat if they really do seal the deal and take this W. Oh, Lech! Oh, <laughs> Lech getting taken out by a nade, or taken out buck tender with a nade. Sorry. Four on two. That was a beautiful nade, but, but hold on there. We have we have two down for battle toads. Three v two, three v one situation now. We won the round. Dumbman are on fire, Tony. What is up, Mr. Motor Gnome? How you doing? Round three. Welcome back, Sir Bandos. Hey, what's up, Sir Bandos? Bandos. Oh, don't say Nandos. Now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh my god, I've been eating. Three on four. The Jumpman currently down in numbers. As I say that, back and forth action in the kill feed. Jay trying to stay alive on blue side of the map here. Can we buff Tender pulling the flag using the numbers game to his advantage? That is just scary. Wow, beautiful star. Oh my gosh. Buck Tender is absolutely on one right now. That was incredible. I mean, uh, you missed the first part of the tournament, Tony, but when the Battle Toads are shooting together and they're climbing those assists, they are scary. Let's check that was some AW. I, that that day three. definitely like broke right. <laughs> Four three lead in favor of jumping as far as round. Shay with a perfect. perfect kill. Three on two. Having the flag too. Got to be careful though. Any mistakes, just like that, equalized. 
Kadev has five kills so far, but he's already trying down. Trying to get this cleanup on Harzo. Harzo gonna stay alive. King Urban gonna clean him up through the cheeky window play. Shay taking out bottom mid. Can sign. Get this clutch handicap situation. It looks like the flag is gonna be run home by Lecce. <laughs> Enemy score. That round's Almost. Lost. And who got there like a couple seconds earlier? That that Hydro had been absolutely disgusting. 3-1 lead uh, as far as uh, as far as this game here in favor of Jumpman. And mind you, this elimination uh, game as far as the series. If Jumpman take this, we're going to a second best of 17. Gotta win two more rounds, just like you said. 3-1 in the game. 3-1 in the series. Two rounds they need to win to force that second best of seven. Four on three. On board here with Bucktender. Anticipating a cheeky flank, but King Urban with the flank. Three on three. And the perfect from behind. Kill. Three on two. Lecce has been playing phenomenal he, all series long, Tony. He has. Wow. He definitely has a nice arm board here right now, putting some good shots down. He lets him back down and maybe and let his teammate finish him off with the Hydra. 3v1 situation. Uh, Harzo's currently by himself. Jay gonna pull the flag. I mean, it's 3 1. He's just trying to secure this round here. We got this one. is a nail in the coffin. Oh! Does I say that? Harzo was trying to kill him. Enemies up for elimination. <laughs> this is it. One round away. Round and the Battletoads. They might take a breather here. They we potentially move into the second best of seven. I think they might need to, Tony. Yeah, you know what? They, they might they might need a little bit of a breather. They might need to take, take a step back. Wow. Oh my gosh, we're well, Penexo opening things up with a beautiful name. The beautiful Hail Mary first strike. Penexo watching all the cheeky... Uh, Angles on top mid. They put some shots into Ada, but he gets flanked. King Urban just constantly flanking the red team here. Being not able to put his shots together to, to You're on the chopping completely block. clutch that round, though. It is getting so hot yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, that was a beautiful play by... Oh! <laughs> it was a beautiful play by King Urban, but either way, he was by himself in a 4v1, takes out one player. He was still down a 1v3. Hold up. Knapberger is online. Nice nade from King Urban. Four on three. Two on three. Battletoads are gonna have to close this out. Right. They want to stay alive in the series. They can't lose any more rounds. They have the flag. That might be all she wrote. Indeed, King Urban watching the cutoffs right now. I don't know if anyone's gonna be stopping that flag from going in. Excel last man standing. Nothing he can really do here. Yeah. Game over. Tough break. And the Jumpman take your first best of seven. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not over. We're seeing a bracket reset. Wow. Bracket reset begins right here, right now. No more chances. Everybody's on an even playing ground right now, but Jumpman actually not only were able to win that first best of seven series, but in my opinion, they actually have a nice little uh, uh, a nice little momentum going into the second one. They've already beat them in one, so why can't they Definitely beat them? Definitely confidence going in favor of Jumpman. Battletoads, I mean, they're just not looking as hot wow. as they were earlier, Tony. They were shooting more together. They were just, they had ice. I mean, they were looking unstoppable. <clears throat> and now Jumpman are looking like the team to beat. <clears throat> this is the grand finals. Uh, this is going to be your last best of seven. Uh, you play the maps in reverse, by the way, guys. So if we're taking a look at the bracket... The maps are in reverse, so we're actually going to be looking at Trident Game 1, Gamble, Altitude, High Rise, Canal, Trench, and then Crossfire for Game 7. Why do Breakout have the best sounding maps? I mean, the, the best names for maps on Breakout. <laughs> yeah, that's absolute facts. You think they'll have a Breakout in Infinite? You know what? It might, it might have been like Extraction on Halo 4, a good game type, but they might just... You think so? I was surprised they didn't bring extraction back. I know Zombie loves extraction. Dessel, these are facts. <clears throat> Both teams have won a series of their own. 
against each other. The map count is definitely in favor of um, Jumpman right now. Actually, it's 4-3 in favor of map count over the cross of two series. What's up, Moosh? How you doing today? <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. Last series, ladies and gentlemen, this is the absolute grand finals of Summer Breakout. <laughs> Penexel with Observer? Penexel's going to be <laughs> casting with me. I'm okay with that. I'll fill in for Penexel. I mean, they might have a better chance. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just Jeez. kidding. Penexel is a breakout legend. He'd fry me. He does fry me in a 1v1. Who do I got taking this? Ah, oh, man. Why you got to put me on a spot like that? Sign, you got to play the maps in reverse. Let me send him a message. Tony, who you got taking this? I, I guess I'm gonna go, I have to go with Jumpman. They're, they're playing absolutely incredible. I, there's no way we can, you can go against them. I got to go for the Battle Toads here, Tony. Really? I think wow. they're uh, the comeback kids. They're the uh, you know backs against the wall. They're gonna you know nut up or shut up. Well, you know, you did get to see them in yeah. the winners bracket. I, I know what they're capable of. They, they, they were absolutely rinsing their opponents. They just gotta, you know, rise here. This is this is their opportunity to claim the throne. Uh, they're all avid breakout players. They just gotta, you know, they gotta make the name for themselves. This is the, for the bragging rights. This ain't about the money. What? It's for the bragging rights. <laughs> they're not playing for the money. Are you kidding me? Not, not even a little bit of no, both? Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. So how about I take the prize money and they, they enjoy the, the bragging right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let us know in the chat who you guys got taking this second best of seven. One for the Battletoads, two for Jumpman, three for Tony, and four for Tonids. <clears throat> Nah, but like like Nap said, I mean these, these guys, these guys obviously they're, they're playing a little bit for the money here, obviously. But you know, it's also about it's also about the bragging rights. It really is. Like, to say that you've won a tournament, an online tournament, for over a hundred people watching right now, it's a big deal. It's an absolute big deal. Hopefully, ninety teams get nervous. We're starting on board here. This is the second best of seven series. No more chances. Battle toes hype in the chat. Can we get some jumpman hype in the chat? And Axel with the first strike, the battle toads. It's all equal now. Arzo gets an important trade. One on three. Battle Toads get the first round. My gosh, I, I, I guessing this is the Battle Toads. The Toads, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> the Battle Toads that we saw in the winners bracket final. Going on board here with Buck Tenner as he makes his way over to the objective side of the map. Watch this GB pre nade. Oh yeah. Look at that, Tony. Imagine if Lecce just walked up that ramp. I'm gonna assume these guys like trying. <laughs> that, that was an amazing. Oh, I, I never seen shuts like down that. sign. Bug tender with a huge reversal onto the man with Hydra. Shay gonna fall. Lecce in a 1v2 situation against Penexel and Harzo. He tried to isolate one of those players right there, but ends up now gets taken out by Penexel. Oh, we got the battle toads. Can jump in getting nervous? I wonder. Penexel right now currently has five kills and the system is. Wow, Penexel. Five kills? Are you kidding me? We gotta go over his POV. Signed with a GB nade of a lifetime here in round three of the second best of seven. Oh my goodness! This is what I was talking about, Tony! When they're shooting together, they're unstoppable. Well, they are certainly shooting together right now. They're they're playing. Look how many assists out. they have they already. They already have seven out. assists. Let's, go to work. <laughs> Let's see what the blue team can do. Let's go on board here with King Urban. And they just they don't know what to do. All these nades are coming out, but they actually did a good job surviving the initial uh, barrage of grenades, Tony. Let's see if the jumpman can capitalize. 
They currently have numbers right now. King Urban trying to watch the cutoff. The flag already being moved back towards the blue base. I like Sign's positioning here. And look at this. 1v2. The Sign going to be going up against King Urban and Lecce. Lecce shuts him down with the wow. DMR. And they put one on the board. 3-1 series in favor of the Battletoads. I didn't even know the DMR was used on, on, on short range maps like, like this one. I mean, it's still, to my knowledge, it's still a three shot, and it kind of only gives you advantage of a really far range, in my opinion. Arzo getting some good pre fire in. Looks like three members of the blue team pushing the objective side of the map. Looks like the Battletoads are going to match with three of their own. Lecce with an opening nade. Pinexel. Tie things up. Three on two. It's just so hard to cast breakout gameplay. It's so fast. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Won the round. Oh, and look at this. The jump in. Two back-to-back -back rounds. After three uncontested from the Battletoads. We're just seeing some back and forth. Both these teams, you know, despite the 4-1 series victory, are so close. I'm telling you, this red team squad goes where Penexo goes. Well, if Penexo is, is going off getting at least two kills a round, they're winning. But if he's only getting a, a zero or one kill a round, I, I don't know. I feel like it's all on Penexo for the red team. Interesting positioning by both teams. Penexo is on fire. Seven kills. That was a huge kill to equalize this match right here, this matchup. Absolutely, yeah. It's really, it's really a 3v3 situation right now. The side currently one shot trying to be able to finally get the shields back. Beautiful kill by Harzo here. And look at this flag play. <gasps> that capture was the most clutch thing I've ever seen, Tony. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was a fantastic play. We have a Lecce. 3v3 as far as rounds in this game number one out of this best. I don't even think I've ever seen Lecce play breakout before this tournament, Tony. And this man <laughs> has six kills. Was popping off last series and that huge flag position that he. My goodness, Tony. But let's get it taken out by Buck. Actually, Buck Tender dropping the double kill right there. Unfortunately, Yafith, I won't be playing some SWAT. I gotta make dinner and some stuff like that. But uh, I'll be hosting my man Tony and he might be playing some SWAT. Enemies up for elimination. Capo. We, 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 we doing a SWAT right? <laughs> I, I think we Look at this! The Battletoads up 4-3 in, in this game number one. Who you on board with, Tony? I'm actually on board with Buck Tender again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't get away from Buck Tender. He's playing, he's making you might a have play. a man crush on Buck Tender. I do. Oh, oh. It's, a, it's a great name. Okay. Buck 50. Three on four. Buck Lau? Buck 50. Buck Lau? Buck Lau? Buck Lulu? <laughs> Buck Tender? Oh my goodness. Buck Tender is making some plays right now. Going solo. He's by himself. Oh my goodness. One on two. Oh, but look at this. Look at this teamwork out of the blue team here. Not much you can do there. They played that bait and switch perfectly. The time. We're in round nine. Sudden death, Tony. And this is only game number one of his best of seven series. Board. We haven't seen much hate of this, this uh, game one here. Pre fire. If anybody was down that hallway, they're in trouble. Sign <laughs> takes out Shay, and this is the clutch factor we need to see out of either team here. Sign clutching it up with two kills. Hey, is in trouble. And the Battle Toads take game number one. Battletoads, they, they gained one of his best of seven, really showing some life on this map. Now to see they can carry it, and I mean, who knows? What, was it just luck? Is it just this one map that, that, they're, that they're good at? Or they, can they carry this over to game number two and maybe even turn this to a series? So Battletoads was the team that came out of your winner's bracket finals, and they're actually showing it right here, right now. Damn, Penexo coming in with the double-digit kills. Wow. Now let's take a look at the assists coming out of the Battletoads, and they've shown and uh, expressed that as their strength, the team shot. That's 17 assists coming out of the red team. 
and it's funny because when I think of breakout 1.0 settings, I don't think of assists being that important. To be honest with you, I feel like I feel like getting that three shot, having your individual shot uh, on lock is, is is really important. But you know what? If, if you're that team that goes in with, with hyper aggressive teamwork, you can 100% be successful. Uh, and obviously, Battletoads showing it in that game number one. Uh, Mio, is that a 1.0 map from like back in the day? Uh, this is like more like an old school breakout tournament. What is that map? Is that a 2.0 map or an external map? I don't, I, I'm, I know, I, I might have forgotten about that map. <clears throat> uh, Dan, I'm gonna see myself yeah, no worries, for a second. Dude. Yeah, people love breakout punch. All right, guys, moving into game number two. Let us know who you guys got taking this one. Jump in. Showed uh, why they were looking dominant uh, in series number one. Battletoads answering back in series number two with a 1-0 series lead. Who do you guys got taking this one? Type one for the Battletoads. Type two for Jumpman. One for the red team, two for the blue team. Let us know in the chat. Oh, I see Mio. <laughs> Break out. Let's get serious. <clears throat> Round one. All right, let's go on board with Penexel. He deserves it from last series, uh, last game. Like he's immediately rushing to high ground. We know Camel's there. He's getting those pre-nades, but King Urban gonna get some shots into him to take him out. Good start for Jumpman. I might have said that, be there. Shots being exchanged for both teams. Currently a favor in towards of Jumpman here. Hate with a nice flank. Sign might be taken out by Shay here. Shay doing an absolute wonderful job staying alive. And look at this! Body disrespect coming out of Shay after being an absolute nuisance right there. Round two. <clears throat> King Urban with two kills to start this game. Go on board with him. See what he's doing. You got your classic pre nades with Harzo with a perfect. Are you kidding me? Go on board with him. Battletoads need this. They need this clutch. These next seven games are so important for bragging rights here. This might be the last breakout tournament before Infinite. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see another breakout tournament? We have a fall breakout tournament. I mean, we did the spring breakout, we did the summer breakout. Should we do a fall breakout? Or will be this be the last breakout tournament for Halo Infinite? Unless Halo Infinite has breakout tournaments. Breakout, sorry. Three on four. King Urban with a beautiful flank. I mean, they may, may have been down one kill, but King Urban, that flank literally sealed the deal. But we got a 1v1 situation. It's gonna be Shea versus the sign. With the advantage and the camo with a minute left on the clock. It's not looking pretty for sign. It's a 1 1 game right now. For the go ahead lead in this left. specific game here. Tony, you back? <clears throat> yes, back, sir. Uh, I'm board here with Alex. Oh. I'm board here with Shay. How does he have camo? He has camo, but sign just put some a nasty two shots into him. Ooh, Shay with a nice play. Takes game number three single handedly with that 1v1. <clears throat> Now, is, is Gamble, is this map still in, in breakout rotation? Vitamin D, did you miss the announcements today? And sorry, say that again. Oh, I was, I was asking, is, is this is this map still in the breakout uh, rotation? I think so, yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know, actually. I think so, yeah. I think it might be 2.0 on this map in the playlist. Oh, yeah, well, I remember because the, the shotguns are really annoying when you go for camo. Four on two. Three on two. Yeah, no worries, Vitamin D. If you type exclamation mark tourney and you go to MidnightHalo.com, you can actually check out we announced the second installment of the 1v1 trilogy. And Battletoads looking good here in round number four of game number two. Oh, wow. <clears throat> if 
Nice on boy Hearts will just do a fantastic day taking out Hayden right there. We are two two tie as far as rounds go in this game number two. Round five. Oh, little dance for us here. The sign. Game is all tied up. Battletoads have the one zero series lead. Let's see some sign here as he makes his way over to shotgun side of the map. Actually, let's go on boards with the uh, with the camo action. Connects with a beautiful nade. Shade taken out, and the Battletoads have the three two lead here. Last player alive is going to be. Who's mad? That's hate of, right? Oh, made of the constantly spark yeah, charging the battle toads. Taking out though. The master of the Spartan charge. <laughs> yeah, guys, we uh we announced um Jack of All Trades 2, and we also announced Midnight uh 1v1 before sunset. Both on a Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. They are late tournaments, but that's because we wanted to have the tournaments in the middle of the week. Because the weekends are booked pretty hard <laughs> by a bunch of TOs. Yeah, oh so we don't want to cluster. Uh, tons of Halo 5 action across the board. Tony out here casting every day at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. The last week I casted, uh, I casted two tournaments one oh day. <laughs> oh, Buff trying to stay over the camo, but the jump in might tie it up here. The side constantly being left by himself. I, I, I wonder if the question of his teammates not staying alive, or maybe he's not playing aggressive enough with his teammates. Are you kidding me, Dub? How are you doing today, man? Happy right. Swatter Day to everybody in the chat. Dub, this is the Grand Finals. It's a currently a 1-0 series lead in favor of the Battletoads. On board with Penexel here as he pushes top camo. Nice pre-nades. Got three members of Jumpman pushing top camo, though. Three on four. Uh oh, he's gotta be careful here, top camo. King Urban with a nice little play to top camo. Connect can't finish him, and then he gets help. Next one might be himself here. 1v3. Can he win this 1v3? Not much he can do there. That round's a loss. <laughs> Jumpmen were uh, looking pretty in unison right there with the teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's funny. I mean, he, said, he said the teamwork is battle toads is bread and butter, but they need to do that consistent. King Urban with eight kills. Let's go on board with uh, Harzo. Let's see. They're currently down 4-3 in this game. They need to win this opening push to top camo. They need that camo. King Urban got, went for camo, but got punished by Penexel. Three on three. They trying to stay alive bottom mid. I saw him board here with Shades. Had to get a little cheeky. Finally finding the side, taking wow. out the side right there. We have a 3v2. Interesting. Awareness coming out of the jump in there, bottom in. <laughs> this is a sticky situation for Shay, and he still managed to get a kill. <laughs> Tony. <got> one minute left. <laughs> Took the flag. Harzo and Buck Tender got there. I have some extreme teamwork right here. They're actually, they can't, they can't die at all. They can't, if, if they die, that means uh, jump into taking this game. I didn't watch it, Mio, unfortunately. I'll definitely watch the past broadcast. Curious. Two v two. And look at this. They're staying alive. Oh, the battle two. toads. Two v one versus Shea, but they gotta capitalize here. Thirty seconds. Beautiful play to pull that flag. Is he running into the He's wrong place? Shay is the right side. But, oh, Shay is watching it. And this must be that teamwork that you were talking about before. They were able to 2v3, bring it down to the 2v1 right now, leaving Shay by That is actually a huge clutch in favor of the Battletoads. To be down 2 3 and be up 2 1 now. And look at this flag. Oh, but Harzo got Shay anyways. <laughs> Harzo still a and another game nine, Tony. Another game Round nine. Action. Wait for it. Yes. Xbox Insider one. Thank you for the four months, dude. Another game nine. Oh, Tony. That's my local. That's my local. I bet about the another game story. nine. What's up, Xbox Insider? Another game nine. That's crazy. This second best of seven has been unreal. Eight of opening up on the first sign. I'm on board here with Harzo trying to push top camo. 
Hate him with a huge kill for his team in this game nine. Buck Tender answering back, and that's huge. King Urban taking up Buck Tender. Pinexel answering back on Hate him. Are you kidding me, Tony? <laughs> a 2v2 situation. We have Harzo and Pinexel going against King Urban and Shave right now. Board here with Harzo. Gonna be unpredictable here. Working side by side with Pinexel. King Urban fries Harzo. Now Pinexel in a sit sticky situation. Especially with camo in the hands of King Urban. Probably one of the least players you want to see with, uh, with camo flies, but Pedexel's pretty nasty. He really is. Oh, he has a shock. He tried to do it. <laughs> what a clutch that would have been. He, Jumpman tied up. He he definitely did. Yeah, Jumpman finally putting a point on, on the board here. Tied things up in the best of seven series. No more chances. This series, I feel like, is going to go the distance. I mean, two back-to-back -back sudden death rounds. Wow. We're in for a treat, Tony, I must say. Speaking of treat, I'm hungry. Who's bringing me food? Ooh, Leche. Talk about someone who's been popping off. Only one kill on Gamble there. That is, honestly, Gamble is one of those, like, um, bread and butter breakout maps. You gotta be a breakout ca mm -hmm. uh, a player to really understand that map. <laughs> like, I still don't understand. <laughs> There is, it's gonna be there's gonna be those those certain maps that uh that just you you, you can't for example like I would say like, if you don't play twos and you play a a good team of two yeah. no matter how yeah. good you are in the fours if you play a good team of two on regret you're gonna yeah, lose. That's exactly you're it. gonna lose every time regret is just a twos map and you have to know how to control it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great analogy, Tony. Ten out of ten. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, moving into game three. <laughs> We're looking at a 1-1 series tie. This is the last series of the tournament. Who do you guys got taking this one? Type one for Battletoads, two for Jumpman. Let's hear it in the chat. Let's break out. Let's be <clears throat> serious. Tony, you ruined it. You're welcome. Altitude. All right, here we go. Round one. Altitude's an inch. I, I, I think another one knows. I would say break out bread and butter you. I will never understand how this is another one. Of I can't. Maps, I you know? can't buy a win. <laughs> I'm on board here with Leche. Throwing a nade into the red BR. Nobody home there. It's going to be actually the sign who backs up. Three members of uh, Jump and Tom Ed. Harzo getting the first strike. Three on four. Two on three. <laughs> Jumps out. Takes out the next one. Two v two situation. Order with Buck Tender. Buck Tender and the sign. Went head to head with King Urban and Leche. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you heard that flank a little bit too late. Going solo. Two on one. That's double. The sign by the himself, round. and that's all we want to be. Not in between King Urban and his teammate right there. Baiting and switching all day. 1-0 lead in favor Round of two. Jumpman. King Urban. He's been an absolute annoyance to the Battletoads on this map. He loves flanking through bottom mid. They need to shut that down, Tony. And actually, we're actually on board here with, uh, with King Urban. He really wants to get, get started with him. Let's see if he goes for that bottom mid uh, push eventually. I think he does this opening play, and then he immediately opts for bottom mid once he realizes that something oh. needs to happen. Going solo. 1v2. <laughs> Killing spree out of King Urban. One on two. Great shots. And we're bringing it down to 1v2 situation. We have Pinexo and the sign going up against King Urban this round. And there you go. That's bottom mid flight that we were talking about before. Now gonna stutter step over towards their side. You have the flag. Oh, he gets spotted. <laughs> oh, he got spotted right there. Great, <sighs> great awareness. Don't come out of King Urban. You, you were right. Yeah, he 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 plays the opening strat, and three. then once the and once the game slows down, he goes bottom mid and then stutter steps over for the flight. That was a great play by King Urban. Let's see if he does that again. If it, and if it works. Check out Buck Tender here. We're all tied up here, completely evened out. 1-1 one, one series, 1-1 one, one game. Nice cleanup by Bucktender. Good pick. For the first strike. Oh, look at this flank by Bucktender. A flank through Real top three. mid. You will. Nice job staying alive, wow. Mm. Now 3v3 though. Hey, let's actually double back to his side. Team shot out of the Battletoads is impeccable, Tony. 
And now we have a 3v2 situation oh, in favor of Battle Beat Tool. by Harzo. <laughs> wow. Leche, he kind of got dipsy doodled there, Tony. Oh, that Hydra, but he he's urban, dude. He loves that Hydra. And he clutched this 1v2 right here. We got one minute left. Well, he's already weak right now. Connects with the head, sees the opportunity. He gets the flag pull. Oh, oh. <laughs> if he would have missed that again, hides it. That would be crazy. And the Battle Toads have taken control over this game with a 2 Battle 1 four. lead. And look at King Urban right now. Six kills for his team. The rest of his team has two combined between the other three players. It's made by Shea. And uh, push back Harzo. On three. Nice nade to finish off hate of sit and sign. I mean, across the board in this tournament, I think sign's TOD is the grenade. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Just as I see that. <laughs> he is making plays right now. And he, so oh. The sign is almost single handedly what? King oh, Urban. This game on this round. Always the last man standing making plays. <laughs> He's got seven kills right now. He's trying to keep the jump in, in this map. Round five. I, I would say King Urban right now is the MVP of the game, but that last round definitely goes to MVP goes to yeah. the side. Beautiful play. On board here with Hate of Hate of working that blue tower. Apps trying to get the BR. Now looking uh, to top mid to help out his teammates. Look at this. Buck Tenders actually bought him mid this time, forcing King Urban to back down. Match are getting a clutch kill. King Urban taking out Buck Tender. Now we have a 4v2 situation, and a little like Jumpman is going to want to. Oh, jeez. Maybe those backs were down. As we win in favor of, uh, of the That's Jumpman. To now 3 2 in favor of the Battletoads. Jumpman will put another one on the board here. Round six. Who do you want to watch, Tony? Uh, I'm gonna say this side again. Let's see if he has another breakout uh, round, if you will. Eh? Okay. Eh? 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 That made the bottom in might have told everyone where he is. Now this lift is... It's gonna be on King Urban. <laughs> he likes this lift. Yeah, he really does. This lift clear, but he's not getting to the top mid like he wants. No opening first strike yet here in round six. As I say that, Shay's gonna get the perfect on Harzo. Finding his top mid like he wants, and now gonna just clear. He he's so well versed on this map. He knows his map yeah. like the back of his hand. Four on one. Deliver the flag. Jumpman, I think they're tying it up. Left on the zone, so I guess the entire Jumpman squad. We got one minute left. That's a round to remember. Oh. That Shay with the SMG body disrespect again? Round seven. Interesting how different players turn up on different maps. This is definitely King Urban's map. For sure. For sure. Now it's all tied up. Just had a two round lead over Jumpman. What is going through the minds of Battletoads right now, Tony? I mean, honestly, I, I, I'm not sure. I, 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 at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I, they're probably in their minds thinking, who are these guys? <laughs> who are these guys? <laughs> this can't be the same team that they played in the, in the enemy right. Been wow. Uh, enemy score. Jumpman with a cheeky enemy cap score. right there, Tony. You're on the chopping block. <laughs> Battletoads. They just had a two-round series lead, are now against their backs here in game number three. King Urban currently has 10 kills That nade right from Sun was to go. incredible! And we might see a third game, our third round nine, Tony. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Well, who no? Hold on, uh, shake, shake and clutch this out. <laughs> Holy jumpins! Are we taking every game the distance here? I guess so. We started the grand finals at six fifteen. We'll take this with one more 
Grand Finals, I didn't know they could take, you know, <laughs> two to three hours. I guess so. I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? <laughs> Four on three. Not at all. Right. Not at all. It's been a very fast tournament. King Herbert currently with a hydrant hands right now. Will he eventually go oh, for that fight? He's got to stay alive. That nade almost connects three with Lecce. 3-3 three. Three, three now here. 4-4 four, four in the game. 1-1 one, one series. It's literally all tied up. Sign. Time and time again, we're seeing him clutch up. And now King Urban and Shang have to work a 1-2 combo to take out the three players. That is Harzo, Penexo, and the Sign. Sign! Three on one. <laughs> I mean, the comms on Battletoads must be just like, Sign. Just match. do it, Victory. baby. Like, I mean, he just clutched that last round single-handedly. <clears throat> My gosh, and, and, and here we are. The Battle Toads has just taken the 2-1 series lead right now, taking that game number three. Wow. And this series is definitely not like the last one. I feel like Battle Toads are warming back up, you know? I mean, they got iced a little bit in the grand finals. Jumpmen were uh, pressing through the loser's bracket. Now both teams have had their chance. There's no complaints, no excuses. Better team will win here, Tony. Absolutely, and, and as of right now, it looks like it actually might be Battletoads with, the, with their teamwork coming out. Now, again, let's see if they, they can replicate this and, and put a whole series together. Because so far, we've seen Jumpman be able to win a best of seven series against Battletoads, and we're playing that exact same series, however, in reverse. <laughs> so many assists coming out of the Battletoads squad. Equal efforts across the board, it looks like. Like, King Urban was really trying to keep Jumman in that map. Oh, we lost the player, I guess? He quit. Let's just say I'm out. <laughs> and Gravity says the side has the KDA of a diamond one. Jeez! He's, he's making he's making plays like a champ one at gravity. These are facts. <laughs> <laughs> and Harzo's not having. He's got to defend his teammate. <laughs> Tony, I mean, you're always in the grand finals, man. I keep trying to tell people. I, I'm one, I, I mean, I have been involved in every <laughs> grand finals that I've ever been a part of. Haven't missed one. Oh, it's high rise. It's high rise. Oh my God, that's Jumpman's favorite map. No. <laughs> it's Battle to its favorite map. Let's see if Jumpman can shut them down. They need Didn't to Didn't Hayden have come into the chat and said put high rise in every single tournament? Is that is that what he said? Yep. Had a boy, Tony. <laughs> 2.8 and proud. Isn't 2.8 high in breakout? Like I would imagine so. All right, let's go. Moving into game four. Let us know in the chat who is taking this high-rise map. Break type up. one for Battletoads. Type two for Jumpman. Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. Them boys up to something. Jump, jump. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go on board with Sign, dude. I got to see those GB names. We're together and we'll take this. Oh, just as they say that, he takes a different route. But an interesting route, nonetheless. Okay. Nice flank. Traversing the map like he knows what he's doing. Urzo gonna open up with a grenade for the first strike. That's good for the Battletoads. Hey, 
Hayden, the first player to go down the side, automated towards top mid. His teammates are already, already towards the 50 point of the map. Let's see if they're gonna let to push in and put the pressure on jump, jump mid. See the jump mid falling apart here in round number one of game four. Day trying to stay alive. It's now 1v4. Last man standing is Lecce. Can he do it? I'm going to say probably not, and there we go. Harzo taking him out right now. Round number one going in favor of Battletoads. We already have a 2-1 series lead. Round two. Tear him up, Spartans. Octander with a nice grenade. Going to connect with it and get some hit markers. And they're weak on the blue team right now. Octander versus You're King okay. Urban right now. Two on two. I'm liking it, and, and Buck Tender not letting him get away. King Urban trying to yeah. raise it away. And now Buck drop up on the go with the shots and takes him out. Wow, he did not Buck let King Tender Urban was get away. He really did. He was absolutely committed to that one kill. Round three. Alto is looking good to potentially go up 3-1 in the series. They're looking hot on high rise like normally they always do. I'd be frustrating if you're a fan. Uh, ooh, wow, that's the GB Nate I was talking about. Why can't we watch it? <laughs> oh, did he just back a, bank a grenade off his teammate's butt? Oh my! Four on one. Yeah, those are plays these <laughs> battle toads. That's a round to remember. Wow. My gosh, 3-0 uh, 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 lead right now in this game in favor of Battletoad. They're two, they're actually already two rounds away from actually taking this game number, uh, this game number four. Four on three. Um, and finally three answering three. back here at the start of the round. Seems to be what they struggle with here is two the opening three. strat on this map. Going solo. Oh my. Three on ah. one. Shay and Hayden are struggling just to even get a kill on the board right now. We won the round. Enemies up for elimination. I mean, we got two goose eggs over there on the jump, and they do not like this map, Tony. I mean, they, 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 I was joking before when I said this, it was their favorite map. They have made it very clear that they were not happy that High Rise is in this tournament. And, and, and clearly the game, the gameplay is showing it too. Buck Tender opening things up by taking out Hayden right there. Three King Urban going right back at Buck Tender. And then King two. Urban getting taken out by Harzo. Wow. Jeez. Three on one. And just like that, Shay being left all on his lonesome. Two on one. Nice. So I'm bored here with Shay. He's already uh, towards bottom mid right now. Uh, at this point, just just hide, hoping to isolate one battle. And there we go. Harzo taking about 5-0 in favor of Battletoads. They have a 3-1 series lead. They are now one win away from becoming your grand champion, taking that lion's share of this $300 prize. You hear that, I I couldn't hear you. Say it again for the for the people in the back. Sorry, my, I was having some audio. <laughs> oh, when Wynot was against the wall, it looks like he's clambering. He's clambering. Canceling. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I was just saying that Battletoads are currently one win away from becoming your grand champions. Uh, they're currently at three one right now in this series, in, in, in this best of seven series. Uh, Battletoads wow. are they one won that away. Lot. It's not three zero. It's three one. Whoopsies. They want that lion share of this three hundred dollar prize. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how. To, I don't know why didn't they bring the same energy in the first best of seven? But I guess it doesn't matter because they're bringing it right here, right now. All right, could this be the last map here? Will the Battletoads take home the grand prize for one series? Or will the Jumpman bounce back?
Force a game six, and then force a game seven. I mean, things are looking obviously very, uh, very well if you are a fan of Battletoad. I'm not going to lie, uh, Danny. I, I was down in, after that first best of seven. I was down in the bed. I, I really was. But I was just showing that uh, they're, they're a force to be reckoned All right, here we go, Canal. This is the map all about the Camel Tony. Wait, Camel Toe? Ten <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. The Hydra and the Scatter Shot. You think it's Break all up. over here? Let us know in the chat. Type one for the Battletoads, two for Jumpman. Guys, this might be it. The Battletoads need to win one more game here. Round one. What's up, Prodigy? Move fast and stay low. On board here with Shay off the rip, Tony. Making his way over to the objective side of the map. Gonna put a nice nade, potentially connect with Harzo, but it's nobody home. Gonna be Lecce and Shay versus. I think that was Sign back there. Let's check gonna clean up Sign. Jump in, do have the advantage. Buck Tender with a nice melee to stay alive. <laughs> Let's check answering back with a melee of his own. Harzo needs to connect that shot. Might be in trouble. And it's 1v2. Yes, he needs to isolate Let's check quick before. Uh, and there we go. Oh, that was a nice teammates shot. Are Won the round. Yo, what is up, Roz? Thanks for coming out, man. Hope you're having a wonderful swatter day. Round Please win so I can get some takeout. Takeout sounds amazing right now. Everything awful and high in carbs sounds amazing. I'm talking McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's milkshake. Oh my goodness, for this hot summer day. It's been a long tournament. It was a short tournament, but now it's becoming a long tournament, Tony. <laughs> <Two on three. laughs> We're going to have a three hour grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kieran with the camouflage in hand. Buck Tender actually left all by his little Let's say come in to clean them up, and that's a round number two now in favor of Jumpman. They are looking pretty good on this map here. Yeah, we can touch to see game six if they can keep this momentum. The Battletoads need to change it up here and shut down these camo plays. I'm bored here with Buck Tender as he pushes the objective side of the map. He's trying to look over to camo. Perfect, Perfect into King Urban, and that is exactly what you want to see, Tony, if you're a fan of the Battletoads. Uh, yeah, absolutely, but just like that, and Chumman are down to the last player, that Leche, trying to go against Harzo and the sign. There you go, Battletoads, put around. one on the board. <laughs> What's going on in this chat right now? <laughs> and Leche, currently five kills on the board already. I think he deserves our respect here. Take a... <laughs> Harzo completely on fire here. Triple kill from Harzo. Four on one. No. Battletoads showing up here in game number five. We won the round. Absolutely tying up the rounds here. You too. Wow. Jumping, opening things out with uh, going 2-0, but here we go. Battletoads right back in it. Going board with King Urban. He's he's usually the man to lock down camo. Let's see what he does here. Very true. Very true. Oh, but Penexel <laughs> with the Hail Mary. He's going to celebrate by picking up Campbell for free. Oh, we'll see if Hayden has, has something else to say about that. Oh, nice nade by Hayden. And now it's 2 2 all of a sudden. Going solo. Sign versus Lecce in this tie breaking round here in this game five. Currently a 3 1 series lead for the Battletoads. Uh, yeah, Battletoads not taking uh, advantage of that initial pick uh, coming out of uh, uh, Penexo. And now, uh, let's say could possibly get that camouflage, but the sign locked on it with Hydra. Got by Leche. Trying to get that camo. He got it. That is huge. Hey, Prof. How you doing? One minute left. I don't know if the Hydra even means anything if you don't get any uh, auto lock uh, reticle. Oh, <laughs> he spotted him. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Camel will prevail. It was a good job spotting him by the by the side, but it, it's very tough to hit camouflage. You get uh, you get a lot less auto aim uh, like you normally would in Halo Five. All right, let's see if uh, King Urban can dodge this grenade this time. Three. 
Battletoads are getting all the right picks here. Pinexel with two of his own. Shay chasing down Three. side, bottom mid. Pinexel, did he just get all four kills there? I, I, he got the ace. He got Pinexel dropping the ace right there to tie up the round. The both teams now two rounds away from taking this game number five. Shots by Harzo across the map. Trying to shut down those camel plays from the jumpman. Currently 3-3. Three, three. Three nice nade from Harzo. Three on one. Harzo trying to finish off Lecce here. Trying to bait him out. Nice play from the Battletoads. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lecce just did fuck dirty there. Kill. Harzo cleaning him up, though. And the Battletoads are up 3-2. Or 4-3 in this round. If Battletoads okay. win one more round, they are taking your entire tournament. Wow. And they do it. They're, this is the last round, like you said, Tony. Holy crap. It, I just put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> well, not if not a jump make a force yeah, a yeah. round number nine. Three on what three. if they're just super unpredictable right here? King Urban taken out. Couldn't grab the camel, and that's huge for the Battletoads. Don't Melee go. comes out. And the last man standing is Shay Tony. One on two. He's the last man standing to keep their tourney lives alive. Spotted the enemy flag carrier. Good hit markers, but also got a little hit markers on himself here. One v two situation for the Shay. Enemies grab the flag. Good play by the Baltos to pull up the flag. Try and draw the Shay, but Shay with the Hydra. <gasps> head to head. Tony. It's a 1v1. And can the Shea clutch things out? This would be the biggest clutch I've ever seen. We got one minute left. Going down in shots. Sign versus Shea. Sign gets this kill. They win the tournament. Oh, the stutter step. Oh. <laughs> if this wow. time, if time draws out, Tony, We'll see in, uh, just a redo. This could be the yeah, biggest one v one of Sign's career here. <laughs> Seriously, but the Shea also kind of wants to okay. tie. It. I, I think he wants to tie things up. Twenty seven seconds left. If he could tie things up and force a, a, a game number nine, he'll feel real confident as opposed to playing for the draw. And he still has two bullets in Hydra. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Oh, both players want it bad, willing to accept the tie here. That's fine. That's fine. Round I mean, I think that's, that's good for Jumpman. They, they were, they were down in numbers. Shea literally saved it. Round nine. Pinexo and Lecce both with 11 kills apiece in this game. I think Shea deserves the POV here, Tony. What do you think? I agree. I 100% I, I agree. Fuck with a huge first strike with a nade. Pinexel on camel right now. King Urban trying to put a stop to him, so is Shay. Buck Tender with another kill. Solo. Buck Tender! Pinexel inside did it! They did it! <laughs> and there you have it, Battletoads taking that round right there very quickly. And that's it. That's your grand champions right there. Battletoads have won the lion's share of this $300 prize pool and are your summer breakout champion. Wow, congrats to the Battletoes. Jumpman will get second yet again. Uh, GG's to them, always showing out and putting on a performance. Battletoads have proven to be the best breakout team. I mean, they run the playlist. They run the tournaments. What more do you want? Tony, thank you so much for casting with me today. Can we get a shout-out to my man, Tony? Absolutely, it was absolutely my pleasure. My pleasure. I, I love it. I, I'm just upset I couldn't be here uh, sooner. Wonderful performance. Pinexel with the 12 kills. Buck Tender coming in clutch with the two opening first strikes in that round number nine. Wow. Tony, breakout attorneys are a lot of fun to cast. They're hard to cast, but they're <laughs> you know they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Yes, oh, they, they, they are hard to cast. It's a lot of in-your-face action, a lot, a, a lot of back and forward. But but man, did it create some amazing moments, incredible moments.
Yo, subject. subject Toad, thank you for the 50 bitties. Cheer one, 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 cheer one. Thanks for the cheer ones. Cootie, thanks for the kind words. Couldn't do without Tony. <clears throat> You could. Just to be <laughs> Thanks for the tournament and amazing <laughs> content. At nap times at why not underscore be underscore casting. Big legs, thank you for the hundred biddies and subject code for more biddies. C1. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tournament. In case you guys missed it, let's go ahead and update it real quick. So game one did go to Battletoads, jump and tied it up. And then the Battletoads did run away with it. In the second best of seven. But it's interesting to see that Jumpman 4-1 Battletoads and the Battletoads 4-1 Jumpman in the second best of seven. Let's go ahead and end the tournament together, guys. And then we'll go over the announcements that we, in case you missed any of them today. I think Tony's going live pretty soon here. If, if you're not, you're not. But if you are, you are. It's up to you, Tony. No pressure. <laughs> and there you have it. There is your top seven. You can see all the results there on the page as well. <clears throat> In case you guys missed it, we announced Jack of All Trades version two. A 2v2, but this time we're including Breakout and Fiesta. So 2v2 Fiesta, 2v2 Breakout, 2v2 Snipes, 2v2 SWAT, 2v2 Slayer. You can sign up at midnighthalo.com slash upcoming tourneys. Not only that, if you guys don't want a duo, well then sign up solo for our second installment of the uh, Before Trilogy. We got Before Sunset coming up next. It's going to be happening on the last Thursday of the month, September 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can sign up for this 1v1 HCS tournament over at Midnight Halo as well. And just a reminder, guys, that other Jack of All Trades tournament is also on a Thursday. We're trying out Thursday tournaments for Midnight Halo because we understand the clusterfuck of tournaments <laughs> in September on the weekend. So we wanted to give you guys some options with some Thursday night tournaments. Hope to see you guys sign up. I mean, they'll run late naturally, but we'll do what we can to run them short and smoothly. Uh, maybe reduce the, the bracket size and all that stuff. Not the bracket size, but the series size. So like best of fives and best of threes more so they don't run too late. Yeah, GG's. Uh, huge congrats to the Battletoads. Second place, Jumpman. Third place, Stray Kids. And fourth place, Bad Kids. What a wonderful tournament, guys. Uh, in case you guys missed it, during the last SWAT Nation tournament, SWAT Nation announced the 3v3 throwdown. You can sign up at SWATNation.net slash events September 5th. That's uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. At 2 p.m. Eastern, you can sign up for that. Sign up as your trio at SWATNation.net slash events. And if you want to play in the next, the third installment of the Challenger series, you can sign up for that also at SWATNation.net slash events September 9th, 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern. If you are a past winner of the last three months, or top three from the last three months, you can't compete. Or if you're a pro HCS player. Uh, guys, that's it from me. Uh, we won't do any interviews today. It's really hot. Um, Tony, are you going live? I think Tony's egoing me, guys. I'm sorry, what's Are up? Are you going live or not? Nah? Yeah, I'm already. Oh, let's go! Guys, we're going to send it off to Tony. If you guys want to stick around with Tony, hang out with the after party. Saturday night, summer breakout after party. Let's go ahead and raid Tony, guys. Have a wonderful night.